Ready, but do not
truth fade away This is bigger than ourselves We won't let the world burn Hello, 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 hello. I was trying to uh, to get into, uh, you know, in, in, in the middle of the song, at the end of the song, I was trying to already come in, but then I, I, I lowered the volume. I, I was doing too, uh, too many things at the same time and it didn't work out. So that's what you get for trying something. Well, not necessarily new, but trying something different, I guess. Um, anyway, though, it can, anyway, we're coming in. Hello, hello. It is good to have all of you on this uh, on this Monday. It is a brand new week. The weekend has come and gone. It's been a busy day for me. I'm not going to lie. It's been a, a somewhat of a busy day for me, but uh, we're going to talk about that in a little bit. Before we do that, of course, um, I'm going to we're going to listen to what um, what what uh, Steve Jobs has to say. So let's let's wait for that because I'm not sure what he's going to. Well, I do know what he's going to say, but you I know, I've seen the pretty streamer. Yuck. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, well, let's start the countdown then because Steve Jobs wants to see me, I guess. Pop Omega, hello, how are you doing? Hello. Hello, hello. And everyone else, of course, as well. Hello to you guys. Welcome in. Good to have all of you. Welcome, welcome on this brand new week, this brand new Monday, uh, in which I'm going to say the following, which is good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good time zone to all of you. How is everyone doing today? My name is Mr. Delicious. Welcome to the stream on this Monday, September 5th, 2022. Hello, hello. Uh, also, Noyx. Uh, I hope I pronounced that properly. Uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, thanks so much for the follow. Welcome to the delicious people. How are you doing today? Hello, hello. Hot. Hot. It is kind of hot. Yeah, it's 27 degrees out, so it is kind of hot. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good as well, uh, Papa Mega. I'm doing good as well. Thank you so much for asking. Uh, and good to hear that you are doing good as well. Um, so yeah, wait, we got more bits. Hang on. Hang on. I'm going to I'm gonna wait for, for those. You are. Oh, I am. Oh, okay. I didn't get that. I didn't get that. Uh, thank you for the bits, though. Thank you for the bits. No, just kidding. I totally knew that. I just wanted to get more bits. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I, I didn't. I didn't want to get more. I mean, I always like bits, but you know, I wasn't trying to necessarily get any more. So, so yeah. Um, Dragon of Ma, how are we doing? Welcome in. Hello, hello. Doing good. Just scored a free vintage painting. Oh, nice. I also scored something free today, but we're gonna talk about that in 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 a little second, I guess. First work day after the holiday today. Oh, hopefully it went well, uh, Dragon of Mar. Hopefully it was it was okay. Uh, that's always tricky um, when uh, you know, like when you had your, like your holiday and you you didn't have to work for a while, and then you have to go back. That's always there's always like this moment where it's like, oh, I need to go back, but I don't want to, but I have to, but I don't want to, you know, like that feeling. Or did, were you excited to go back? I mean, sometimes people are very excited to go back to their jobs, of course, which is also an option. Um, so yeah. Happy National Be Late for something today. Hello, Martin. I, I mean, you're not necessarily late if, if you were trying to say that I'm too late for the countdown. Yeah, you are too late for the countdown. That is true. The countdown has already been, uh, but you are not necessarily too late for the stream because we, we well, we literally just begun. Um, it's only just begun. 
Um, so welcome in. Hello, hello. How is everyone doing today, chat? How is everyone doing? Hopefully you guys had a nice weekend, um, a nice Saturday and Sunday. Uh, and hopefully all of you that, you know, that live in a bit, a bit of a similar time zone for me, uh, I hope you had a nice Monday as well. I mean, some of you, maybe your Monday is just beginning. Uh, so then I hope you're going to have a nice Monday. Uh, but for all of you that are like, you know, in a, in a bit of a time zone where it's already evening or like late afternoon or something like that, I hope you had a nice Monday. Uh, like I said before, my Monday was pretty um, busy. I had a pretty, uh, well, I mean, I don't want to say it was a hectic. Um, I don't want to say it was like a hectic day. It was just like a busy day and like an unexpected, unexpectedly busy day. Let's just leave it at that. Um, I was I was doing a lot of things. Um, so so let's 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 catch up on that. I might have to get to work soon as well. I want to earn money for driving lessons by doing freelance work. Oh, nice. Hopefully that's going to go well. Uh, hope, I hope that's going to go. Uh, that's going to go well. Yeah, uh, driving lessons. I mean, I have no idea how things are these days, because when I took my driving lessons, that was many, many years ago. I don't even know how many how many years ago it was, how long I've had my my driver's license for yet. But uh, when I did it, it was already kind of expensive. Uh, and, you know, with the state of the world as we are in right now, I'm sure that it only has become more expensive, um, like not just with like COVID and with, you know, the economics and inflation and, and, and all those kind of things. But I, you know, like with the years, I'm sure that it has become, um, you know, more expensive as well. So hopefully that's going to go well for you. That's how you did a bike ride today. Yes. So I started my day today kind of in an active way. I'm not going to lie. Um, I went for a bike ride, which was nice because I haven't rode my my bike. I mean, I did ride my bike, but not like my my you know my road cycling bike. I haven't rode that in a while. Um, so today was like the first time in like several months I think that I've uh, rode on that. Uh, but it was really nice, you know. I didn't go too far because I was like, let's you know ease into it again. Uh, but you know, the weather was nice and it was like nice outside. It was a little bit warm, so I was kind of getting sweaty. Um, but other than that, it was it was really nice. It was nice to be back out on the bike again. So I might do that again. Uh, we, you know, when if, when the weather is still this nice, I kind of want to go out more often because it's it's also good for my for my body, of course. Uh, I wanted to go for a run, but my knee has been acting up the last couple of days again, uh, which I am not very happy with because I was kind of like it was kind of like over that, to be honest. Um, and now it's sort of seemingly coming back, like the issues that I had in my my left knee. So. Um, I didn't go for a run because I didn't feel that would be a good idea. Like, you know, running and landing on my knee and then it bouncing together the entire time. I was like, yeah, that's probably not a good idea when it's already acting up. Uh, so I went for a bike ride because my physical therapist back in the day also when he was, you know, looking at my knee, he was like, uh, riding bikes is like perfect um, for, for like, you know, the injury that you have because, you know, it's not really, you're not like putting a lot of stress on like your, your muscles or your joints or anything like that. Um, so it's perfect. So that's why I, I opted to go for my for a bike ride today instead of a run. But hopefully I can run soon again because I really do miss it. Like I always love running, and it's such like a it's such a good feeling to be able to go out for a run. Uh, so I hope that soon I will be able to do that again, um, so that I can enjoy the freedom of running once more. I hope. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that was that was my morning. I, I went at like 10:45 ish, I think like 11 ish, something like that. 11 a.m. I went for my bike ride, which was uh, was kind of nice because it wasn't too warm just yet. It was like a nice temperature. Um, so yeah, it's going to be an uphill battle, but I want to own a motorcycle and become a free daddy. So I actually wanted to. I always wanted to own a motorcycle myself as well and get motorcycle lessons. Uh, I don't think it will ever happen anymore because like you know my age and like. Um, you know, like it's like I said, it's not very cheap, but I've always wanted to be able to ride a motorcycle because I always think it looks so cool. Uh, a friend of mine actually got her motorcycle driving motors, motorcycle driving driver's license. There we go. Um, and she actually got that a couple of years ago. Uh, and whenever she's like, oh, I'm going to go out with my with my bike, I'm always like, oh, man, that looks so cool. Um, but at the same time, I'm also like, I, I also feel that I might be kind of terrified to ride a motorcycle because it's like you know you're on two wheels and you have to keep your balance and those kind of things and that like you know weaving in and out of traffic like i sometimes see those guys do i'm always like yeah that that's that looks not very safe but then again you know i mean a lot a lot of people do it so i guess if you know what you're doing then it's probably is safe i think that is that it's kind of like that is the thing of it all like if you know what you're doing then it's all fine um and I, of course, don't know what I'm doing because I've never had driving lessons for like a motorcycle. So I have no idea what what to do. So, yeah, 
I did once. I was at Gamescom and there was like a motorcycle simulator game thingy um, where they had like an actual motorcycle that you had to get on. Uh, and then you could like, you know, you had to like steer and then if you steer the actual motorcycle, then the in the game version of, of it did like the same thing. So it was like a simulator. And I was like, oh man, I can't wait to try that. So I waited in line for like, I think like 30-ish minutes, for fi maybe 20, 20, 30 minutes. I waited in line for that game. I went on the thing and it was like a total bust. It was a total bust for, because for some reason, this guy asked like, do you want automatic gear shifting or do you want to do it yourself? And I was like, I'm going to do it myself. How hard can that be? Uh, so I went on the thing and it was like, vroom, vroom. And I, I was trying to steer and then I rode into a wall and I didn't gain any speed and I didn't know how I was going to shift. And it was like, yeah. So then he was like, okay, let's let's reset and try again. So I did it again and it was like, vroom, vroom. And nothing really happened. And I, I felt like the line behind me poke their eyes, poke in my back. So I was like, okay, well, this was fun. Um, it's kind of a bust, but this was fun. Thank you. And I got off the bike and I went away. And I like, I waited in line for like, um, you know, 30 minutes. And I think I, I did it like maybe not even five minutes. I was on the bike for like not even five minutes. So that was kind of a bust. <laughs> that was kind of a bust. Drio, how are you doing? Welcome on in. Hello, hello. Lovely face to boop. Well, you can always boop my face. I always love it when people boop, boop me. So you can always do that. On a normal bike, you need to do the same, but less painful when you fall. Yeah, I guess that's true. I guess that's true. Like, I also have that somewhat sometimes when I'm riding my, um, like, my road bike when I did this morning. I, I also sometimes, because I'm clipped in, you know, I use one of those pedals with, like, shoes where, you know, you know you're, like, clipped into your pedal so you can get more speed and you can have, like, more uh, stability, I guess, in a way as well. Um, but I always fear, quote unquote, fear that when I get to, like, a traffic light or I need to, like, stop my bike or whatever, that I don't clip out of them in time and then I fall over like it happened in the past especially when I just started you know started cycling with those pedals uh, it, ha it happened in the past where I forgot to clip out or I wasn't fast enough or anything like that and then you know boom there you go <laughs> um, now obviously on a motorbike you know a motorcycle you're not clipped in but you know still uh, if I disappear I died in a thunderstorm it's a lot a lot of noise outside. Oh, really? There's nothing here. Uh, I, I did notice it was getting dark earlier, but I did see on like the weather report that we might get like some thunderstorms and rain in the evening. So I guess that's what's happening for you right now, I guess. So hopefully don't die. Please don't die because I still love you. So don't die. That wouldn't be nice, but be safe. <laughs> uh, I know everyone's going to talk me into getting a car since it's more practical, but that's also why I lean more towards owning a bike. It has more of an edge to it. And the only cars I could afford are probably not going to be the best of quality. I mean, listen, we we have a car. We I, I mean, we've never had um, anything other than like a secondhand car. Um, and they, you know, they haven't been like, you know, the bestest of cars, but like as long as it has like, you know, steering assistance or whatever that's called. So you don't have to do like, you know, when you want to make a corner and it has like, you know, air conditioning and like maybe electrical windows, that would be nice. But other than that, you know, like as long as it has those features, then we're kind of happy with it because it takes us from A to B. Um, so, you know, I mean, I guess quality is also a little bit like, um, it's, it's like, you know, yeah, what is quality? Like some people own a Tesla and then they say like, yeah, Tesla is like terrible quality, but you pay like so much for them. Um, so I guess quality is also a little bit like, you know, what do you want? What do you need? But I I, I mean, I, and I'm not saying you should get a car, but I'm also saying like, you know, it's not cars are not only like all that bad, um, I guess. And you can definitely get like cheaper ones secondhand that are still pretty good. I mean, we, we didn't pay, you know, like the... Um, the, the you know the, the highest price for the one that we have right now and it's 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 a good car you know it's not a bad car i know what game you're referring to it's made by sega if i'm not it's been so long i honestly don't know like it could have easily have been like a indie studio or like a studio like i i don't believe it was on like a big name brand um like you know like show floor area what are those called like booth it wasn't like on a i don't remember it being on a sega booth um, but it could have been a Sega game. I actually don't don't really know, to be honest. It's been so long ago. Um, I want to live where you don't need a car. I mean, I guess that also kind of depends. Like, you know, do I need a car? Well, I mean, I wouldn't say I need it because, you know, a lot of times you can go places with like public transport. But then, you know, like I just went somewhere with my car. And if I wanted to go there with public transport, I had to go there with... Um, 
Like I had to go, I had to take a train, then I had to take a bus, maybe like and yet another bus. And then I had to walk for a little bit. So, um, you know, owning a car is definitely like easier to just get somewhere without having to rely on public transport. I have a rent car in front of my door that I can rent if it's still there. Wait, is that like a um, like one of those um, like you have like bike share or like scooter sharing s s stuff where you can like, you know, just like ride sharing where you just scan like a scooter and then you take it and then you leave it wherever you're, you know, when you're done with it. Is that like one of that those but then with cars? Because I don't see them though that often, but apparently they do exist, which is very interesting, like a very interesting concept, I think. Teslas are boring. Every Tesla in Finland is either white or gray. Yuck. Listen. Wait, 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 we have something for that. Hang on. We have something for that, Vili. Um, wait, where is it? Where is it? Um, every Tesla that is a white or gray. We we have something for exactly that. <laughs> every Tesla that is white or gray. Yuck. Yuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought that was very funny. I thought that was very, very funny. Uh, Miles, welcome back. Welcome back. Um, just green wheels. I have to reserve it via the app first. Okay, so we have to actually reserve it. Yeah, I think I, I've heard of green wheels. I've never used it myself, but I think I, I know it exists. Um, so, um, so, 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 yeah. What I would love is a Piaggio ape. Wait, what is a Piaggio ape? What is that? Is that like an actual, like, monkey? Or like, what is that? Um, so yeah, so my, my started, uh, my, my, my started, my started, uh, my day started with uh, stream with me. Stream is peace that don't work. Yuck. Stream is peace. Yeah, stream is peace that don't work. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. So, okay, let's talk about the rest of my day. So I started my day with um with um like with a bike ride, which was nice. Then I came home. Uh, actually, before my bike ride, I decided to do another one of those memory testing things because I did that earlier this weekend, but it didn't properly work for some reason. Um, and I wasn't home because I was away uh, on Saturday. Let's talk about that in a second. But I wasn't home. So I did one of those memory testing because we like a lot of people have told me, like, maybe the BSOD issues that you're having stem from your memory. So I tried to do that on Saturday. It didn't work. I did it again today. Um, so I came home, lots of errors. And I decided, like, OK, if I get lots of errors again, I'm going to take out one one by one. I'm going to take out my memory sticks and then I'm going to hopefully be able to narrow it down to one stick that might be the comrade. So I started in the back or, you know, like closest to me, probably my probably a bad idea. I don't know why I did that, but I started closest to me and then I went ma went my way backwards. So I did the first one, still got errors, like after two minutes, got like a lot of errors. So I, I reset, did again, took out the second one, same thing, took out the third one, same thing. And now by that point, I was kind of like, OK, listen, I'm sure there's multiple sticks with issues because I, I just felt like I keep getting these things, you know, it's there can't it can't be that there's just one. So I'm sure there's going to be multiple, which would have been annoying because at that point I was like, OK, if that's the case, I'm going to take out all of them except one. Um, and then I'm going to do the test again. If that is fine, if that test succeeds, I'm going to put like another one back in, do the same thing. If that test succeed, I'm going to put like another one back in. If then there's going to be errors, then I know it's that one. Leave that out, put like another one back in so I could sort of like, um, you know, trial and error, basically. Uh, but I didn't have to come to that. So because when I took out the last stick, the last one that I was going to do, I took that one out and all of a sudden the errors were gone. It was like completely flawless. I did like one and a half hour of testing. It was completely fine. Uh, so I was able to rule out or I was able to to deduct basically which stick was most likely the faulty one. I, I don't know what's wrong with it because I mean, I have no idea how memory works. Uh, so I have no idea like what the issue is. Um, the only thing that the app said um, was that um, basically they said like, I'm expecting this and I'm getting that. And I was like, OK, why are you expecting this? Why are you getting that? You know, how does that work? The, the app doesn't tell you me that, but at least it told me that there was something wrong with that one stick. Um, so yeah, so that that was something that I did most of my afternoon. Uh, I was able to learn some of my my um, um, my theater lines as well because I had to wait for the test anyway. So I was like, well, I'm while I'm waiting, I might as well make myself useful and you know memorize, study my lines a little bit more. Uh, so I did that, um, and then in the end, I was able to rule out you know which stick was was giving uh, the issues. Did you move dims as well? What do you mean that I move dims? What are, what are dims? I know dim sum. But I didn't move my dim sum. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, so I did that. So then after that, I um I was like, okay, well now I know that one of my sticks is broken or at least, you know, is malfunctioning. Um, so now I was like, I can look for a new one. Now, unfortunately, apparently, um, apparently they, they sell them all by two. Or, you know, I mean, you can get them by one, but the one that I have, you can't get them by one, or at least it's very, um, like it's very hard to do that for some reason. I don't know why. Um, so I was like, okay, so I probably have to buy two because I can't just get one. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a bummer, but at least then I have another one if like another one breaks later down the line, I guess. Um, Cal Nikoala, thank you for the host. I appreciate it. Did you put a ram stick in the same port? Yeah, I did. I didn't. Yeah, no, I didn't do what you said. Uh, I didn't or what you said, what you are implying. I didn't like put them in different ports. Um, maybe I should have. Well, I kind of want to test. OK, well, let me let me let me let me get to the point, I guess. Just see it as a fridge. You put it in milk and when you want to get it out, it's cream suddenly. <laughs> I don't know why, but I love that. I love that explanation. That that makes a lot of sense. You know, I put in milk and I want to get out cream or I want to take it out and all of a sudden it's cream. That's kind of, you know, I, yeah, I, I understand. So so th so the test is is expecting milk and all of a sudden they get cream. I'm like, wait, that's not what I put in. That's not what I want. So, yeah, that makes sense. I don't know why that happened, because why did it turn into cream? All of a sudden, overnight, like what happened? Why did my milk turn into cream? But okay, that's neither here nor there, I guess. <laughs> um, wapow! Wapow! Kel, how are you doing? Welcome on in. Um, so then I tweeted out, I, I tweeted a photo of like the, the faulty memory stick, and I was like, this is the culprit. This is the guy that's most likely giving me the BSODs that I've been having uh, like the last couple of uh, weeks or months, I guess. Um, I dried milk in the memory and then it did not get the same back when it reads it out. Ah, okay. Kind of weird though that that happens, but okay, I, I think I I think I get it. I just got home from getting quick groceries and having a barbecue today. Ooh, lovely. I love barbecues. Are you having like a barbecue with like yourself or like a significant other or like family? Or is it like a bigger thing where you have like multiple people that come over and you're all gonna, you know, enjoy a barbecue together? That's lovely though. I haven't had a barbecue this entire summer, even though I always love it. With family, nice, nice. I hope you have a good. You're gonna have a good time. I hope you're gonna have a good time and you're gonna enjoy it. Um. So yeah. So back to the story. So I tweeted out a photo of that faulty memory stick that was, you know, causing issues. Then I got a DM. I got a DM from a Twitter friend of mine. Um. That said, like, hey, listen, I, your I, I saw your tweet from your memory. Um. Is it a like is it desktop memory or like what what are we talking about? So I, I was like, I explained the situation like, yeah, this is what I have. I got four times eight gigabytes, you know, all those kind of things. Uh, he was like, OK, listen, I have four sticks of eight gigabytes lying around, still new, like, you know, newly in the package, never been used before. And I don't need them like I have them lying around. I don't need them. Would you like to get them? So I was kind of like, OK, do I want to get them? I mean, you know, kind of, you know, sure. I mean, I, I figured like I only have to change out one. But like if someone is offering me, you know, four sticks, basically like he didn't need any. He was like, you can just get them, you know, for free. Like I don't need anything in return because uh, they're just lying around here g gathering dust anyway. I was like, well, OK, you know, that seems like a pretty good deal. I mean, I can I can at least try them and see, you know, if they work and if they work, then great. If they don't work, then, you know, nothing's really lost, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, so I contacted them. I was like, yeah, that sounds good. Thank you so much. That's really kind of you to offer. Um, and then he was like, would you like to come pick them up uh, or would you want me to send them? And he actually lives relatively close to me. Uh, so I did something that is very unlike me. I was actually surprised by myself, to be honest, like it was very unlike me. I told him, I was like, listen, if you have time now, I could go and come over like right now to you and pick them up. He was like, yeah, sure. So I was like, OK, I'll be there in like half an hour. But that was like, I was surprised by myself. I was like, wait a minute, am I actually doing this? Because that is so unlike me, doing something spontaneous like that. That's not me. That's not me. <laughs> but so, yeah, I, I went over there. We chatted for a little bit and I got the RAM and I came back home. I had to get dinner because, you know, dinner was already in the oven. So I was like, OK, I'm going to go there quickly. And Peter, Peter said, like, yeah, dinner needs to go in the oven for like 30 minutes anyway. And then it needs to cool down a little bit. So you're totally fine. So I went there. Came back home, had my dinner, put in the RAM sticks, and now we're here. 
Uh, so at least they work. Otherwise, I mean, I, I, I was kind of wondering what happens if you put in no RAM sticks at all in your PC? Like, does it even boot? Like, what happens? Because uh, I didn't feel like trying that because I didn't want to, you know, break things. Um, but like I put them in and they all seem to work. So, you know, it's all good. I am going to do like a, a I, I think I'm going to do like one of those tests that I did earlier on those as well. Um, just to, you know, just to sort of rule out anything. Um, but I don't expect since they were like still in, 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 you know, like the packaging and they wasn't like unopened and everything. Uh, I figured, you know, it's all going to be good. But I still wanted to do like one of those tests just in case. Um, but I haven't had time to do that yet because, you know, I was live or I had to go live and, and, and those kind of things. So I'm probably going to do that, um, sometime tomorrow. I'm a little bit nerve, excuse me, a little bit nervous about that though, because I'm fearing like, what if it still gives or it again gives issues? Um, you know, what then? But we'll cross that bridge once we get there, because I do have three sticks that I know are fine because they didn't give any issues. So if this, if these memory sticks are going to give issues as well, um, I can just get like, you know, one or two, I guess, new ones of the ones that I already had and then just put those in and then it should be fine as well. Um, but I'm going to do that tomorrow. But at least, you know, I got some new memory now, so that's good. I, I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, and it's the same speed and like the same size and everything. So it's, um, um, it's, it's, yeah, it's perfect. It's perfect. I love it. Um, what did Peter say about the spontaneous things? He actually said the same thing. He was like... Uh, because I said to him as well, like, yeah, I'm, I'm actually surprised by myself that I'm doing this. He was like, yeah, me too. But, you know, good for you. So why don't you just go? Because I asked him, like, do you think I should ask him if I can go right now? He was like, yeah, why don't you? I was like, yeah, I don't know. Why don't I? <laughs> um, so, yeah, maybe it starts beeping, but it won't do anything. OK, I kind of figured, uh, but I was just curious. Like, I was like, what happens if you don't put any any memory in? Like, is it going to explode or what, what's going to happen? Um, so, so yeah, so yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. I'm, I'm, I'm excited though, because, you know, I, I have good hopes that it's going to be good. Um, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I mean, like the, the thing that I, I, I normally would do and I'm low key doing a little bit, but not too much is like worrying about it now because I'm, I'm, I, there's no guarantee that this is going to work. Um, but like. At the same time, you know, like if something happens, then we'll cross that bridge once we get there. Um, so, yeah. Better ask what happens if you pull the RAM out while the PC is running. I feel that I've seen that before. Oh, no, wait, I think I've seen a YouTube video before where they pulled out the GPU while, while the PC was running. I think. Anyway, like they did something like that while the PC was running and it, they, they, it didn't like that. It didn't like that. So I'm sure that if you pull out the memory, I think you, if you pull out anything, while the PC is running, other than like, you know, a USB drive or like, you know, a, a USB connected peripheral or anything like that, but like anything on the motherboard, if you take out anything while it is running, I don't think that's like a good idea in general to do that. Like same thing, like what happens when you take out your CPU while the PC is running? Yeah, I don't think that is a good idea. <laughs> it's like the, the one thing that my PC is Basically, you know, the central processing unit, you know, that's what the thing is. And I'm going to take this out. So I'm going to take out the brains of my PC. You know, that's not a good idea. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So anyway, so that that was my Monday. Um, and um, um, yeah, I, it was it was a good Monday. Like I said, it was it was very busy, but um, definitely, definitely good. And, 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 and yeah. Yeah, it was nice. It was nice. And I'm very happy that uh, I was able to, you know, get this this new memory on such short notice. Uh, and super thankful as well that I was able to get that, um, you know, that this friend of mine on, on Twitter was like, you know, saw my post, send me a DM. That was like super kind uh, and very unexpected as well. Like I, I was like, wow, that is so kind. Um, so, yeah. 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 Um, don't suddenly pull out, you might risk getting your PC pregnant. Yeah, we don't want that. We don't want to get my PC pregnant. I mean, I'm sticking in all kinds of things as well without protection. You know, I got like USB drives and 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 my keyboard and all those kind of things. <laughs> um. Oh, hey, Marcel. Speaking of the devil. Hello, how are you doing? Must have run the ram. Hope that everything is working out. Yeah, I mean, I'm still live so far. So, so far, so good, I guess. <laughs> I was, I was literally just talking about you. That's, that's so awkward. But welcome on in. Welcome on in. Yeah. Thanks again. It was so kind of you to send the message. I really appreciated that. Um, yeah. So like, like I said to you as well, like when, when I was at your, your place, 
Um, like, it, it wasn't as if I was getting, like, constant blue screens, but it was, like, very randomly that all of a sudden it was, like, I was just playing a game on stream, and all of a sudden I got, like, a blue screen. And every time, that's one thing that I noticed, every time it happened when I did something in-game. So, like, for instance, in Fortnite, when I opened the chest or I picked up a new weapon or... Uh, in DBD, for instance, when I played that, you know, when I started working on a gen or something like that. Um, so, yeah, every time when I did something like that, it, it kind of happened. So, um, yeah, I guess we'll 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 see. We'll, we'll see what's uh, what's going to happen next. Might probably blow a fuse if you do something like that. Well, take out what take out my CPU while it's running. Yeah, it's probably not not a good idea. Not sure if there's hot plug memory. For CPU, you have hot plug functionality, but only on server hardware and you need more than one. Yeah, that makes sense though. Like, I, I mean, you can't just take out, you know, a CPU and then expect it to just keep running if you don't have like a second one. So yeah. Um, sounded like memory uh, leaks or something. I hope it's not your motherboard. Yeah, so I'm going to do like a memory test tomorrow just to be sure. Um, Because I had specifically one stick that was giving me issues and as soon as I took out that stick, everything was fine. Uh, so I just want to like do a, like a double test to see if it wasn't like the port itself, which apparently can also be faulty. But um, yeah, I have I have high hopes that it's going to be good. When the memory usage usage peaked, I think. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I always noticed that it was as soon as I did something. So I wasn't just walking around. I was actually like opening a chest or picking up a gun or, you know, doing a generator in DBD. Like as soon as I started like an action, that's usually when um, all of a sudden I got like a blue screen. Uh, very randomly out of the blue as well so um yeah we'll see we'll see but uh, again thank you so much i really appreciated it um so yeah so that was my monday and then over the weekend i had a very good weekend as well hopefully you guys did too uh on saturday my saturday was mostly the the best one because i went to um uh to bark and play again which is the peppy event that i talked to before um and it, it's uh, it was it was so good i i mean it wasn't as if i haven't been in a while i mean i've, I've been there like two months ago uh, but it was so much fun to to go again and to see, you know, some of my pup friends that I haven't seen in a while, uh, to see them again as well. Let's go. Good luck with the stream. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank, thank you so much. Um. So, yeah, so that was that was my my Saturday. So I went I went there uh, because I hadn't seen. I mean, I, I did see Miles and and and, and Abba Jesus, his boyfriend. I, I had seen them, uh, you know, recently because I went to their place and we went to um, Amsterdam Pride together as well. But I hadn't seen them. Uh, at Bark and Play in, in like, you know, several months. Um, so it was really nice to see them again. Uh, and then I also saw, saw some new pups that I never saw before uh, that I have chatted to, like, you know, on, on Telegram and whatnot. I did talk to them um, before, but I never actually met them in real life. And I was able to meet them now as well and, and, and play with them, which was super fun. Um, and then uh, Mike Paz from... Um, that we've seen before on, on stream, that I've played games with before on stream as well. Um, he was also there. He came over from, um, from, from, from the UK. He came over to, to specifically, you know, experience Bark and Play as well. Um, so I was able to meet him in real life for the first time as well. So that was also really fun. Um, so yeah, lots of like, you know, lots of new sort of new faces that I was able to meet. Uh, some old, some old faces or like familiar faces that I was able to play with. So it was really a lot of fun, um, to be there again. So I was very happy with, with that. Um, so yeah, I was, I was mostly very happy that I was able to meet some new, well, not necessarily meet some new pups, because like I said, I, I've been talking to them, um, you know, I've been talking to them before, but like see them for the first time in real life. That was actually very fun uh, and very nice as well. Um, so yeah. Um, uh, and then Sunday, my Sunday was basically very chill. I didn't really do anything too special, but it was just a very chill Sunday and I played some games and, uh, that's basically it. So, um, Yeah. It was fun. I, I I really had a good a good weekend. So hopefully you guys did as well. For memory test, PC, repeat these five words. Person, woman, man, camera, TV. And I do it. Well, I mean, you need to do it like in in like, you know, an hour, I guess. Uh, and, and see what happens next. Um, or we can just play, you know, Do Dr. Kawashima's uh, brain training. Let's see how my PC is dealing with that. <laughs> Maybe that would work as well. I have no idea. Master Kudos to knows those who know what what I'm referencing. Is it the uh, what is it called? The uh, what is that Alan Turing thing called? Didn't Alan Turing make like a test? Oh, it's called. I think it's literally called the Turing test. 
didn't he make like a test to see whether or not a PC was like whether or not like a PC was like a PC or it was like a human behind it? Wasn't it something like that? I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that was my that was my weekend. Um, also, I didn't have time to make a schedule for this week, um, which is kind of OK, though, because I wasn't necessarily sure what I wanted to play, to be honest. Um, because there's a couple of games that I want to play. Like, I, I definitely want to maybe play some more DVD, like maybe some some more killer games like we did last week. I want to continue with Spider-Man. I was thinking about maybe also playing again some uh, GTA 5 because we haven't played that in a while. Um, so I kind of wanted to play that as well at some point. Um, but yeah, I haven't had time to actually properly make a schedule. So we're going to skip that. Um, we're going to skip that for, for now. Um, and yeah, I was also thinking because one thing that I've been struggling with the last couple of weeks is that I don't necessarily always know, um, what game I want to play on which day. Like sometimes I'm like, I want to play game X this week. Um, but then I don't necessarily know, like, do I want to play it on Wednesday or on Monday or on Friday? Like, I, I'm not necessarily sure. So what I was thinking about, maybe I want to change the way that my schedule has been made a little bit. Maybe I want to see if I can make it in such a way that instead of linking my games to specific days, I just put on the schedule the games that I intend to play. And then we're just going to see on each day which game we're going to play. Um... I feel that might be like a, a good idea because then I can just say like, okay, we're going to play DVD. And then if I want to play that on Wednesday, we're going to play it on Wednesday. If I want to play it on Monday, we're going to play it on Monday. Uh, and it kind of gives me a little bit less of like, um, like a strict sort of schedule that I need to adhere to, if that makes sense. Um, so I was trying to see, you know, I was thinking about maybe changing it up a little bit like that. Um, cause then I also don't feel as bad, quote unquote, if I, for instance, play um, two games on one day, like, you know, if I put on the schedule, if I put one game um, and then I decide like, oh, I want to play like another game today as well. I always feel kind of bad because it wasn't on the schedule. And if I do it like that, then, you know, it's not on the schedule linked to a specific day. So I can just play, um, you know, like two things on one day if I want to. Um, so, yeah. Also, another thing that I wanted to mention today, I'm not sure if you, uh, you know, which of you were here last I think it was last Friday when we talked about my internet issues. I was also able to fix those over the weekend. Uh, like a little recap for those of you who didn't know. Uh, I had I finally connected my PC straight to my modem. Um, or to like a switch that's connected to my modem. You know, well, that's kind of important for the story. So I connected my PC straight to a switch that is connected to my modem. But somehow I kept getting... Uh, internet speeds that didn't go above like 90 megabytes a second, like 80, 80, 90 uh, megabytes a second, even though I should have like 350 megabytes download speed. Um, so I did like a lot of testing. I looked at my PC as well. Like, okay, are there like settings that are broken or anything like that? Then I went to my, my breaker closet because that's where all my, you know, my switch and my modem and everything is. And I noticed that my modem was connected to one of the I have two switches it was connected to one of the two switches um and then that switch you know connected to the other switch so that like you know the, that one switch switch was like the main switch and that gave the internet to like all the other devices and I was like maybe that switch only handles like 100 megabytes a second so I looked at the bottom side and indeed that is the case. That one switch that was connected to my modem only handles like 100 megabytes a second uh, of speed. So I decided to make the other switch that is like a gigabit switch. Uh, I decided to make that the main switch. And when I did that, all of a sudden the issues were fixed. I was able to plug my PC in that one. Uh, and indeed, I get I instantly got like speeds that were like 350 um, download. So exactly what I should have. Um, so I don't think that's going to change anything necessarily on streaming because we don't necessarily do a lot of things with like downloading. Um, but we were talking about this last Saturday or last Friday. Um, so I figured, you know, let's give an update on that as well, that I was able to fix those Internet issues um, on my own, too, because I first tried to plug it into different ports in the same switch that didn't do anything. Um, and then I was like, OK, let's have a look at, at these switches itself. Like maybe there's something wrong with the switch. And indeed, I mean, there wasn't necessarily anything wrong, but like there was definitely something that was causing those issues. So 
Um, yeah, I'm happy that we were able to uh, fix that as well. Okay. Um, as of games, for today, I figured I wanted to play some more Spider-Man. So we're going to play some more Spider-Man. And then I think later we might do again um, some DVD. So I think it's going to be the same as we did on Friday where I started with Spider-Man and we're going to switch it up to DVD like maybe after the break, something like that. Uh, so we're going to do some killer games. So yeah, I think that was a good idea. That's a good idea. Uh, I was like, yeah, that's that's definitely uh, something good. So I'm going to switch it up to Spider-Man for now. Um, so let me boot that game as well. Um, let me get my controller. So if you, any of you did something nice over the weekend, also feel free to, uh, to let me know. I always like to know what you guys did over the weekend, if you did something fun. Uh, so feel free to let me know. I ordered some bubble tea. Ooh, lovely. What kind of flavor? What flavor did you get? I love bubble tea. I haven't had it in a while though. Even though there's a bubble tea shop in my city, I don't go there too often because it's not very cheap. But I do love me some bubble tea. Absolutely love me some bubble tea. Because it's it it is delicious. All right. Um. Mm -mm -mm. Espresso milk tea, nice. I usually, I usually don't. When I get it, I don't necessarily get like a lot of like a lot of milk tea flavors. I usually get like, um, like fruity flavors more. Like, although then again, the last time I think I did have a milk tea flavor, which was also kind of nice. I have to do my homework today. Ooh, hopefully that goes well. So you got like a little homework treat, basically, a little treat to go with your homework. We went for some ice cream yesterday, me and Peter. Like it was at the end of the day. We just had our dinner. Well, not just, but like we had our dinner. Um, and then we, um, we, he was like, I kind of want to go for some ice cream. So we went for some ice cream, which was nice. We sat on the bench I in the sunshine the and we ate that. From who I think it was from. I hope the message wasn't from who I think it was from. It definitely was. It definitely was. All right, let's see. Where are we? We are here. We have to go there. Um, can I do something else in the meantime? Oh wait, there's a, uh, a research station all the way here. We might as well do quickly do that. Uh, so we can cross that off the list since then we've done a lot of them already in this sort of neighborhood here, this area. Coffee and jelly boba. Oh, nice. I was planning to join y'all at BNP, but I, I, uh, I've noticed that I'm very out of energy lately. Oh, heck. Yeah, and Miles actually mentioned, uh, mentioned that. Um, or at least he saw your message. I, I haven't, I hadn't seen it yet because I don't check that Telegram group like all the time. Um, so he, he saw your message. So yeah, it, it, I think it's good that you chose for yourself. You chose to kind of, you know, take it easy, get some more energy and, and stuff like that. All right, uh, where are we going? We are going to go that way. Work some more on my scarf, halfway done. Nice, so you're definitely going to get it done before, you know, fall winter time is going to be here. At least that's what I sort of assume now. Alright. The coveted nod of respect. What level are we? Uh, we are level 15. I think at 19 we could get a new suit, right? Yeah, 19. So we're not there yet. Wait, what was happening? Why, why did I get my... Um... Hang on, something is happening here, I feel. I don't know what, but I, I got my, um, the UI came on screen. I feel that was that something was actually happening there, but I have no idea what it was. Okay, maybe it wasn't anything. Oh, wait, there, wait, there it is, there it is. We 
Wait, who are the bad guys? Are they down there or are they up there? Oh, they're actually up there. Okay. Can I take them out? Wait, let's see. Can I take them out from like a distance? Let's go to this building first. Doesn't... Oh, crap. They already saw me. Okay, never mind. Okay, bye. Nothing like an RPG to wake you up. Right, let's get rid of that rocket launcher. I right, crap. I, I wish I was able to knock him off the building because then at least you know I was done. I was done with him. Wait, let's throw it back to them. Let's take him out. Are they always fight on top of the buildings? I don't know. I was wondering the same thing. Like, why do they always fight on top of buildings? Like, first of all, how do they get there? And then, like, second of all, why why is that the place to go? Because, I mean, I'm Spider-Man. I can swing two tops of buildings. So, like, it's not as if they're safe there. There are better ways to spend your life than shooting rockets at dudes in spandex. Exactly, yeah. Don't shoot rockets at dudes in spandex, you know? Just admire them. All right, let's see. Where's that research station? Shots fired. You are the bad guys, the companies. <laughs> Yuck. Wow. Demons are getting worse than Fisk ever was. There was literally no, like, you know, pause in that message. Who are the bad guys, big companies? Yuck. Real talk, guys. If destroying New York stick is getting old. All right, let's take out some of these bad guys while we are at it. Ouch, stop shooting me. Give me your gun. Ooh, wait, there's one more. Kick him in the air. There we go. Perfect. Demons are down. I'll let you take it from here, officers. I'll let you take it from here. Yeah, I mean, I, I basically did everything. But yeah, take it from here. I did save your butts. Exactly. Can you put the mail back in the post box, please? I'm not sure if I can do that. I mean, I'm not, you know... I'm sure the post office will, will, will take care of that. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm sure it's, it's going to be fine. Your function. Yuck. Yuck. Find the esoteric, but this station monitors the city's cell tower network for potential vulnerabilities. People will never think about it, but those cell phones are we all carry in our pockets. Pretty simple for a rogue agent to weaponize them if we're not careful. All right. This seems like a fun mission, I think. I think this is going to be a fun one. I always thought the cellular network was vulnerable to terrorist attacks, so I set this up to monitor it. Can you do me a favor? Look for anything suspicious. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. not terrorists, but there's a glitch in the system that's causing interference. And if I don't fix it, it'll bring the whole network down. Oh, no. It's funny how they, you know, like, normally you can't see all these, like, radio waves in, in, the, in the air, of course, but, like, now they sort of visualize it. my lenses to show me the danger zones. Gotta Steve the Jobs swinging around the city in a Spider-Man suit. Danger zone. Yuck. Sally, hey, how are you? Welcome on in. Fluctuates. I need to be ready for a sudden change. Have you told yourself that you're a cutie today? I have not, actually. But you guys always do that for me, so, you know. Alright, so we have to go there. Oh, wait, I have to stay. Oh, crap, I have to stay. Gotta get out of here. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I have to stay above the, uh... That's the downside of all the tech in my mask. That hurt. Okay. 
It's gonna be tricky to stay above yeah. that level, I think. We'll need to fix three more to solve the problem. Bet I can use those helicopters to swing. So much depends on cellular networks now. A crash would affect police, hospitals. Wait, I can use the helicopters to swing? I don't think that's a good idea, though, is it? Ouch, 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 ouch. Ouch. Okay, run up, run up. Okay, I thought this was going to be a fun mission, but not so much. Okay, let's wait for this stuff to go down. Wait, I, wait, how did I die? What did I do? What did I do? Bet I can use those helicopters to swing. So much depends on cellular networks now. A crash would affect police, hospitals. It'd be as bad as a blackout. Gotta hurry. Soon the whole system's gonna go. All right. Come on, helicopters. It felt like my eardrums were gonna burst. And soon that'll happen to everyone. All right. Good. Made it to the second one. Or at least almost. And boom. Got it. The job's only halfway done. Someday I'll get you to say yes to self-affirmation. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you will. Oh, man. I wish there was a way to fix this for everyone except people who use their phones in movie theaters. Oh, yeah. People who use their phones in movie theaters. Yuck. Qu quick, run up, run up. Quick, quick, quick. Okay. Not do that again. Okay. Got that one fixed. Well, gonna have to keep asking. Can't slow down. I mean, who knows? Maybe one one day. But it, it, listen, it's that surprisingly it's surprisingly difficult, you know, to 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 do that for some reason. Don't ask me why. Okay, don't ask me why. Ooh. Okay, made it to that one. Made it to this one. Crap! Okay, I need to go to the top of this building, I believe. Oh wait, I'm a oh crap, I'm above. Oh wait, I was above the line. That was dumb. Okay, that was my mistake. I thought this was gonna be easier, but it's actually not really that easy. It's kind of Kind of an annoying mission, not gonna lie. Ooh, 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 there we we made it out there perfectly. Nice. Hey. All right. Oh, I'm too high. I'm too high. Jump down. Jump down. Jump down. Oh crap, I need to go oh crap, I need to go further. I thought I was already there. Okay, wait. It's coming down, it's coming down. No, 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 no! Ah. <laughs> Why is this so annoying? No waste taco, take your time. Can't waste a second. All right, swing, swing. Okay, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Oh, wait, maybe not, maybe not. Okay, no, we're fine, we're good. Okay, let's not go too high. Oh, too high, it's too high, go back, go back. Okay, I'm already dead almost. Okay, keep running. No, oh, no, no, no. Quick, quick. Oh. <laughs> now New Yorkers can share their domestic disputes on the subway again. Okay, that was and very close. Services are safe, which is, you know, also important. That was very close, but we did it. If the network had crashed, it would have cost Oscorp a bundle to fix their comms. They'll want to keep this station up and running. Harry's yeah. project should be safe. Yeah. All right, that was very close, but we did it. 
Oh, look at that view. Oh, Brooklyn Bridge, wait, can I take another one of, uh, what is that? Another bridge? Let's see, Brooklyn Bridge, so that might be the, um, Manhattan Bridge, maybe? But I can't, I can't zoom in on that, unfortunately, so. Because I know there's one here as well. Yeah, Manhattan Bridge, there we go. And then is this Williamsburg Bridge? It is. Um, so I need to go a little bit closer to actually take a photo of the Manhattan Bridge and then get a little bit closer over there to take a photo of the Williamsburg Bridge as well. Um, so we might as well do that real quick. Although we also have the um, a Fisk hideout here. Which I don't like doing, but we do have to do them. So I might as well do them right now, or at least try to. I'm not a huge fan of those Fisk's hideouts, not gonna lie. Oh wait, we can actually look inside some of these apartments here. Look, they all look the same though. Look, they have like a, a closet with like, you know, a fax and that's it. All of these rooms are literally just a closet. Oh wait, there's also a, uh, Folks, a copier. Unsettling reports of Spider-Man in our public parks where children play. Where children play. Stalking pigeons. Yes, wild pigeons. You may wonder if he's gone insane. A perfectly valid question. But have you heard of the Goliath bird eating spider? I'll spare you the gory details, but it's a spider big enough to devour birds. Now, Spider-Man sticks to walls like a spider. He jumps like a spider. What else does he do like a spider? <laughs> Wow, I mean... Yuri, this construction site's about as legit as the watches they sell in Times Square. I don't have evidence for a warrant. You go in, you're on your own. What else is new? Yeah, what else is new, dude? Are you safe? You are safe. Perfect. How about you? I might as well take you uh, like this. All right, so I'm going to try and take most of these guys out stealthily, ideally. Uh, wait, do we have more snipers here? Oh, wait, there's another sniper over there. Let's go there then. See, are you a sniper? You are not, but I can take you out safely though. And then you, I can take you out safely as well when I'm here. Oh, achievement! Arachnophobia. I'm not sure what kind of achievement that is, but maybe taking out guys stealthily. Like certain amount of, of, of bad guys. Ah, oh, you are safe too. Perfect. Come here. Boom! I wish that, you know, you can just take out all of these bad guys and then that's going to be it. But no, unfortunately, when you take them all out... Uh, when you take them all out, you know, more bad guys are incoming, so it doesn't, unfortunately, doesn't end with, with these guys. It's for your spot. Yeah, I know what arachnophobia means. I'm just not sure what the achievement means, I, I meant. Like, what, what did I do to get that achievement? Okay, he's, okay, this guy, though, is pretty safe. Still, still, still. Okay, come here. Now, he should be fine as well. He is. I think there's one more guy over there that we might not be able to get from a distance. Oh, wait, actually. Can I swing to that crane? Oh, wait, never mind. I can just do this. All right, wave two incoming. Okay, so now the bad, more bad guys are incoming, I guess. I'm not sure if they've seen me yet. To be honest. Oh, maybe they haven't seen me yet. So maybe I can let them... Okay, never mind. Strike that. They have to definitely see me. I was like, maybe I can just let them come in. I am fighting like a man, a Spider-Man. All right, where's the guy with the rocket launcher? He needs to go first. There he is. That's not fair. Dude, you have a rocket launcher. I am a person. 
I mean, don't talk to me about fairness, please. Oh, wait, 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 let's... Wait, 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 what's what's the button? Uh, web bomb. Yeah, let's get that. That's a cheap trick. I tend to disagree. How do I do that? By being awesome. Oh crap, I didn't want to do that guy. I wanted to do this guy. There we go. Alright, as long as I can keep them sort of separated, you know, as long as they don't get, like, all at the same place. I might be able to take him down better. Wave four of six, okay. Ouch, okay, I didn't expect that. Hit. Well, I mean, not for long. I'm also kind of stuck here, so. Okay, where's the guy with the rocket launcher? He needs to leave. Okay, you need to leave as well, sir. Please go somewhere else, if you don't mind. I'm in an ass-kicking mood. What do you think of me? Oh, great. More of them. Guys, Fisk isn't here. You could have just bailed. I can't punch him if he's in the air. I can't punch him if he's in the air. Well, that's the beauty of being in the air. You can't punch me. That's exactly the idea. Okay, right, let's take this guy out with his rocket launcher. Ooh, achievement. Another one. Alright, so far so good. Final wave. Okay, I thought this was already the final wave, but apparently there's more guys incoming. Mr. Fisk says hi. Well, say hi back. Stay away from, web. Stay away from my webs. Yeah, that's kind of in general a good idea, I guess. You know, not just for now, but in, in, in general, that's not a bad idea. If you don't want to... Boom! In your face! In your face! And another time in your face. There we go. Okay, last guy, I think. Oh, we did it! Nice! Ooh, okay, that was... that was... That was rough. Oh, we did it. I got a bunch of incapacitated criminals and designer narcotics all wrapped up and waiting for you. Great. I'll just consider this an anonymous tip. Sure, yeah, because nobody's going to give me the credit that I deserve. But, you know, that's that's OK. I, I don't do it for the fame. I do it to keep New York safer. Obviously. Wait, what is that? Oh, wait, so I can do it again? Yeah, I don't need to do it again. I mean, one time was definitely more than enough. How many of those are there, actually? Let's see, we have... One there. One, two, three, four left. Four of those left. Okay. Because I don't necessarily love doing those. Because they take a very long time and they're kind of tricky sometimes as well. But they are something that, you know, I do want to do because I want to see if I can 100% this game. So get like all the collectibles, all the, um, all the side missions and all those kind of things. Which also means that I have to do more of the, um, um, like, you know, random crimes that pop up. Hang on, I need to leave a chill out of the room. There we go. He was sleeping next to me and he was done with it, which, you know, sometimes happens. When he's like, okay, I'm done sleeping. Wait, let me actually open up a window as well. Give me one second, chat.
Because the annoying thing is we can't sleep with the windows open tonight because um, they're going to come to our apartment building in the morning and they're going to take care of all the spider rag that is like everywhere. Uh, and apparently we need to keep our windows closed for that. Like our doors and our windows need to be closed. Uh, but they're going to do it like pretty early in the morning. Like I believe like 7.30, 8 a.m. Something like that. Um, so yeah, we can't really sleep with the windows open because then, you know, we won't be awake in time to close them. By claiming Spider-Man was providing a public service, plugging leaks in water towers. Let in water towers. This itsy bitsy brain spider was climbing this particular water spout, people. Because he tampered with the water pressure system. He was seen earlier messing with a valve that only qualified workers are supposed to use. Wake up, America! Spider-Man creates the problems he then solves. Then expects you to reward him with your adoration. The sad thing is, all too many do. Fortunately, you know better. Thanks to me. Thanks to me. I mean, I, I do see his... I mean, as much as I don't agree with it, of course, I do see his way of thinking. Alright, let's go to the Williamsburg Bridge as well, and let's do that. I'm curious... I don't remember the Williamsburg Bridge looking the way that it does right there. Then again, maybe it does when we get closer. So we did both cross the the Brooklyn Bridge and the Williamsburg Bridge as well when we were in, in New York City. Um, Brooklyn Bridge was definitely busier, like way more people there. The Williamsburg Bridge was not as, you know, sexy, if you will. But it was way less crowded, so that was actually kind of nice too. Oh yeah, maybe it was kind of like this. Yeah, we were walking on this walkway. Yeah, okay, so maybe it is, yeah. Fairly similar. I just don't remember there being like cars above it, to be honest, but I'm sure maybe they were there. And then like indeed the subway was running. Oh wait, this, these are cars? Okay, so this should be a subway, I think. Like the subway was actually going in like next to the walkway. Anyway, let's see if we can take a picture. The Williamsburg Bridge. A convenient route to someplace else I can't afford to live. <laughs> someplace else I can't afford to live. Oh wait, landmark Chinatown's for... Oh wait, there's another one here, Confucius Pizza. I don't know why that's a landmark, but it, apparently it is. So let's go and check it out. Uh, I don't know where it is, though. Oh, here? Okay. I didn't see a pizza place, but I guess it was there. Alright, so we did all the landmarks here in Chinatown, so that's good. Demons robbing an armored car. You can bet that money isn't going to someone's quinceanera. Let's take out the guy with the shield first. I love how they all speak like either Korean or or like, you know, some Asian language. I don't know what it is, but like, I love how they all speak that because it makes, you know, it makes them more, I guess, believable because I think that's also where they like originate from. Wait, are we just going to leave the cash on the ground like this? I mean, that's a lot of that's a lot of money. We're just going to leave that hanging here with like the dollar bills floating away. I mean, I can also take it with me and then keep it safe in my bank account. I wouldn't mind that, I guess. In theory. Hello. You want to get a high five? You're the man. <laughs> yeah, you are. yeah, you are. I am the man. I am Spider-Man. It's true. All right, let's see. Where do we go next? We have another research station here. Smog alert. Ooh, those smog ones I usually don't necessarily like, but I have to do them anyway. 
then again, I might keep some of these stations. Um, I might leave them for what they are now. Because I don't want to, like, do all the side missions first. And then only have, like, you know, a couple of things left to do later. Um, oh, wait, this is... Okay, wait, let's go here. Let's go all the way to, like, the top of the island. Because I believe there's another achievement to be getting there. Um, so that's going to be a long swing, but that's okay. I like swinging. On webs in the city of New York's... Yeah, before people are going to be like, wait, what? Um, but I believe that's the, uh, the cemetery over there where we are going now. And I think that's also where the grave of, uh, Ben Parker is. Which was, uh, Peter's uncle, of course. Now, I know it's also kind of tricky to find. But we're gonna see. We're gonna see if we're gonna, if we can find it easily. Because I believe there is an achievement to be, to be had there. Wait, robbery? Right here? Okay, I didn't want to do this just yet, but that's okay. I would say, uh, what is that, a jewelry store? Oh, this web bomb is actually quite quite convenient. That's it. It's it, a special kind of crazy to rob a storefront in the city Spider-Man protects. Exactly. Yeah, that's kind of dumb. Don't do that. How's everyone doing today, chat? Hopefully you guys are all having a good day today. Thank you for being here. All units, officers are pinned down by hostiles and masks. Rhino almost killed me until I broke this chip off his horn and figured out what his costume's made of. Still wasn't easy to beat him. My back still aches just thinking about it. I gotta do manual cataloging for this class. Oh, what do you have to catalog though? Like anything in particular? I mean, well, I'm sure it's anything in particular. I'm sure you're not just randomly cataloging. I don't know, now sneakers. Welcome know so my first one. Oh, nice. On on Library far, books? Ah, okay, gotcha. Shut up about it. I agreed to a Officer, welcome. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so, uh, so me and my guys went to shoot out with some desperate characters who had nothing to lose. I mean, they didn't care if we all lived or died. And somebody would have, trust me, if Spider-Man hadn't helped us. All right, fair enough. I'm not saying he never does anything good. Oh? I'm saying he causes more problems than he solves. You had to go to the Academy, right? Be thoroughly trained? You have rules to follow? Sure, but he seems to know what he's doing, too. It worked out for the best this time. Next time, how do we know Spider-Man won't cause the deaths of all concern? Well, he, he never has before, has he? I believe we'll just have to agree to disagree. Agree Thank to you disagree. For your service, goodbye. <laughs> Thank you for your service. Goodbye. Working on the library assistant degree. Ah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. I didn't know you could get a degree in that, though. That's very interesting. Didn't know that was a thing. I'm sure that swinging through the um, the trees like that isn't always, you know, the most convenient. But yeah, it's in the USA. Not sure about the rest of the world. Actually, no, me neither. Maybe maybe it's like a regional thing or something. I don't know. It's a two-year degree. Nice. So which year are you in? Are you in your first or second year? If you don't mind me asking, of course.
All right, almost there. Oh, another one of Fisk's hideouts. Gonna do that now, though. I'm on my millionth year. Oh, boy. <laughs> I have 17 credits out of 66, and most classes are three credits. So you have to take them like again, or you have to like do do more of them, I guess. Excuse me. All right, so here we are. Trying to do the rest of the classes. And right, so we can first get this backpack that is right there. costume designs not bad but i think the white spider was definitely the way to go definitely way to go even though there's a lot of amazing designs here as well i love this one i'm not sure oh yeah there is a mouse one i love this one i think that looks really cool i love this one a little bit i think it looks really cool as well i don't like this one i think they made sort of something similar like this for the amazing spider-man series and yeah, definitely some good designs all right, let's find the grave of Ben Parker, which if I remember correctly from the, my time playing this on PlayStation is not super easy, I think. This is not necessarily mentioned anywhere like on. Um... Like it's not necessarily like on the map or something that you can see where it is. But I believe you do get an achievement when you find it. I think it's like a bachelor degree here in Sweden. Oh, wait, maybe the one here with the flowers? Ooh, it might be this one. Yeah, there it is. Hey, Uncle Ben. Miss you. Doing my best to make you proud. There we go, achievements. Nice. Okay, so it is the one with the flowers. Maybe they made it easier to find because I remember looking for it forever on PlayStation, even though I had like a guide that set like where it was. I still couldn't find it. Wait, what does it say? Excuse me. Ben Parker, beloved husband and uncle. 1952-2010. I wonder if those uh, gears match with the lore in like the stories. Maybe not 2010. But I wonder if he was always born in 1952. I guess it would make sense if he was. Alright, let's switch uh, car uh, costumes for a bit. Let's see. Let's go with Spider-Punk for, for a bit. I think that's a cool one too. All right, let's see. What do we have next? We got another backpack here, but let's not do all of the backpacks already. We have a side mission here, Spider-Man. 1500 XP, so we could do that. Since we are pretty close by anyway. We should find out what that mysterious stranger was talking about. Wait, is this the uh, the mission for Black Cat or is this just a side? I think it's a side mission, I reckon. Sugar Hill. One thing that I was thinking about today, actually, when I was thinking about this game is I wonder how um, how he cuts off his webs, because we know that, you know, his webs are at least like, you know, in this game and like, you know, in, in the more recent movies as well, his webs are not necessarily um, Objective obscured. Wait, where is the where's the thing? Perfect. Bar with no name. Um, so his webs are like you know he has web shooters that he uses for um, shooting the webs. But I wonder how he like you know cuts them off. Like he shoots them. But then what? You know, like then how does he? 
make sure that they don't keep sticking to his uh, his web shooters, I wonder. Speaking of webs, the other day we saw a spider making a web outside of our building. And it was fa pretty fascinating. I actually made a video of that that I wanted to tweet out, but totally forgot to do that yet. Um, I thought it was super cool seeing like, you know, how he makes his web, how he goes around and, and you know, takes a piece of web, then connects that to another and then keeps going like that. It was super fun and super interesting to see. I'll share that video on Twitter, like maybe later when I think about it. But it was very interesting to see you know, it's an actual spider making making his way. I mean, I've seen it before, but still, it's still very interesting. Hello. Is something wrong? Oh no, no. I just had to thank you for saving my daughter from those muggers. Uh, when did this happen? Just now. Busy guy like you. I guess it all blurs together, huh? Near the theater on 126 and Powell. She just called and told me. Right. Sorry. Uh, happy to help. I'm glad your daughter's safe. Wait, that wasn't that wasn't me though. I didn't do that. That wasn't me. Someone is impersonating me. Which can be dangerous. There's the theater and the crime scene. I better find out what happened. Still alive. This police officer doesn't Rogan care that I'm like a lethal protector. That's promising. That I'm like checking out the body here. He, this police officer is like, oh yeah, that's totally fine. Sorry, I missed the action. Thanks for keeping us safe, Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah, do you know which direction I I went in? You're back already? I thought you were checking out that fire. Right. Uh, on my way now. Which way was it again? Last time you went that way. South. Thanks. <laughs> Got a little turned around. <laughs> yeah, which way did I go again? Okay, so apparently there's a fire. It does smell like there was a fire in this direction. Was or is? Oh yeah, there there was a fire. There we there we go. There's the fire damage. Looks like it got put out quickly. You came back. I can't thank you enough for saving my friend from the fire. I thought she was dead. My pleasure. Look, I want to make sure everyone's safe, but the smoke kind of got to me. Do you remember where I went next? <laughs> Sorry, I was helping my friend. I think you went back up there. Thanks. I give your friend my best. Also, whoever foe Spider-Man is, he's helping people. But what he's doing is dangerous. Hello, cool gas him. mask. Firefighters. Where's other me left anything behind. Hi. You look kind of cool. Don't mind me, just focusing my camera on, on you guys. Yeah, don't don't mind me one bit. Just keep doing what you're doing. Okay, so wait. He used the fire escape. Guess he couldn't copy my web shooters. Where should I go up here or where should I go? Okay, I don't think he's here. Investigate fire. Oh wait, there's something here. He used a fire extinguisher. What type of suppressant is in this? I don't know, just regular fire extinguisher suppressant maybe? Oh wait, some fragments contain overlaps, they cancel out. Okay, makes sense. Uh, this one. It's probably just ammonium dehydrogen PPP. phosphate. Pretty standard and easy to track. He got fire suppressant on him. If I key my lenses to track its chemical signature, it should lead me right to Spider-Man 2.0. He's walking normally. No webs, no powers, which makes what he's doing suicidal. Quick thinking with that extinguisher, Spidey. Fire extinguisher, huh? Wonder where he left it. Oh, I mean, we already found it. I think everyone's out safe now. Nice work, Spider-Man. Yeah, thank you. I didn't do anything, but thank you. 
All right, let's keep following this uh, trail. Oh, and he went a long way. Get the hell out of me. How far did he go? Heck. That guy looks like he's been in a fight. Maybe he knows something. Wait, which guy? Oh, this guy. Come on, man. Lay off. I told you everything. The deal's going down on the roof. No lie. Right. Just you stay out of trouble. <laughs> you, you stay out of trouble, okay? My doppelganger's got some skills. And he left the drugs. Seems like his intentions are good, even if his methods are nuts. Where'd you learn to fight like that? Fight school? Knocked out, but breathing. That's him. People seem to like him. Yeah, I mean me. I mean, oh, this is weird. <laughs> Pleasure, citizens. Excuse me. I hear someone in need. Okay, I do not talk like that. Nobody talks like that. Let him go. Yeah, right. We'll get even more from Mr. Fisk when we bring him your hand. Oh, hey guys! I'm not the real Spider-Man. Not anymore, you're not. <laughs> Time to even the odds a little. I'm not the real Spider-Man. Yeah, of course. That's what they all say. Kill them both. I've got this. Go. You miss a chance to team up with the real Spider-Man? No way. Are yeah, you sure this is a good idea, dude? I'm a black belt. Teach at Chikara Dojo. I just wanted to help spread the legend, you know? Yeah, but when you dress like me, you inherit my enemies. And I've got a lot of enemies. Yeah, dude, don't dress like me to impress me. I'll take the ones with guns. You get the rest. Oh, wait, more of them are coming? Oh, yeah, there's one. Bye. That's the last guy. I oh, know there's more guys over there. You know, if you want to help your community, there's a beast shelter nearby. And I'm sure folks would appreciate free self-defense classes. Good idea. Gotta admit, I'm starting to see the downside of the suit. You're starting to see the downside of the suit only just now? Are more guys over there? Heck. Why do they all have rocket launchers and why do they shoot them so easily? Like, those things usually don't just shoot like, you know, tiny bullets. Ouch. Ouch. And right, where's the last rocket launcher? I didn't see where it shot from. Wait, where and where is that guy? Oh, there he is. Hi. All right, I think that's it. Yeah, there we go. Man, that was intense. How do you do it? One bruise at a time. Look, your heart's in the right place, but if you keep this up, you're going to get killed. Yeah, I see that now. Don't worry, I'm hanging up the suit. Spider-Man, no more. Good call. Besides... You don't need a costume to make a difference. Hey, that's a good line. I'll remember that. 
<laughs> That's a good line. I mean, it's not necessarily a line. I guess it's true. You don't need a costume to make a difference. You know? Wait, let, can we can we follow him? I'm kind of curious where he goes. If the game is clever, they're going to send him down the into, into the subway over there so he can just despawn. Which I think is also what's going to happen. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's definitely going to go down into the subway and then despawn. And then we'll never see him again, most likely. There he goes. Bye! Wait, is he a bad guy? Right, I think he was like a random bad guy on the streets like that. By the way, have you guys noticed any um, like loss in quality of the stream anymore? Because I feel that today it's been quite stable. Maybe me fixing my internet issues actually has helped with the quality as well overall. Because I haven't noticed myself any uh, any drops in quality. Which doesn't mean necessarily that it's like instantly fixed, but it kind of feels like maybe it has been fixed. Wait, what is this? Roxon? Roxon Gasoline. Oh, wait, can we go inside here? We can. Oh, there's nothing here, though. That's a bummer. Then again, I think this would be a perfect place to take some shots with, like, you know, like, dark background and light and everything. Let's see if we can actually, if that is true, because if so, then I need to remember this place. Uh, let's see, if we take out natural light. Yeah, it's basically, it's basically completely dark. Then we could put like a spherical light over here. It's not perfect though, because there's like, you know, lights or there's like a wall pretty close by. So it's definitely not perfect, but good to know that this is at least a good location to take some shots if we want to. Wait, you want to take a, 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 you know, a photo or something like that? Now there's some bad internet. No, it's not the internet. It's you guys. <laughs> You guys are playing with 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 my effects. Oh, look at that! Avengers Tower in the distance there. That's pretty cool. Apparently, the new uh, or well, new the um, remake of The Last of Us, The Last of Us Part One, also has a pretty good photo mode, where you can also add your own light sources, like up to three. I think it's fairly similar to this photo mode in this game. Bring your children into the room. Which, again, I can't wait for that game to come out on PC. They are developing it for PC. It's just kind of like a, a question when it will appear on PC. Let me stop you right there because I think the salient point has been made. Emulate Spider-Man in any way and you will die. Don't do it, kid. Don't do it. Uncle Jonah's life lessons. Jared, trademark that. I'm waiting for the Expense Telltale game. Wait, what is the Expense Telltale game? Which which game is that? Latest post on that account is more than a year ago. Yeah, I know. I haven't really been active on that account. Um... Because I didn't play a lot of games with photo modes, I guess, for a while. So I might just try and stick to Twitter. With, um, like, photos that I take. I don't know. It's based on TV show Expanse. Oh, I've never heard of that. But didn't I'm not sure if it's going to come out, though. Because didn't Telltale go, like, bankrupt? Because I know that they were also working on a game, uh, The Wolf Among Us Part 2. Which I believe is going to come out sometime next year. At least that's the latest that I know about it. I think it's sometime next year. Um, but that was also up in the up in the air for a little bit because I believe 
demons are getting bolder. Um, like some other company took over that. That back, sorta. I think someone bought them. Oh, really? Because I, I do know that some that another company was gonna make the um, Wolf Among Us game. Crap! No, I wanted to take out the guy with the rocket launcher. Okay, well this works as well. Uh oh! Uh oh! Oh! Something went wrong with the game. Explain the problem. Okay. Okay. Well, the game crashed. It wasn't my PC. The game crashed, which, you know, also not great, but at least, um, at least it's not my PC. Because <laughs> for a second, I thought that was going to happen. I was like, uh oh, things are crashing, but it's just a game. Did Elon Musk bought them and then got out of the deal, as he always does? Um, because that's kind of what he likes to do, I guess. Um,. Stream is still alive. Yeah, the stream is still alive. The game is not, however, but the stream is still alive. So that's good. Which gives us some time to uh, do our Dutch word of the day, I guess. Um, so let's go ahead and see what our Dutch word of the day is. Wait, let me also quickly check one thing. Um, um, thank you for the host. I appreciate it. Um, ba -ba -ba -boom. all right. I forgot the host. No worries. No worries. It's all good. Uh, let's see. Dutch word of the day. Here we come. Now let's see. The Dutch word of the day is going to be drum roll, please. It is to where? Wait, no, that we had that one before. Oh, this is an interesting one. We have the word mammal. The word mammal, which translates as zoogdier, het zoogdier. So we have a mammal, which translates as het zoogdier, het zoogdier. Um, I'm not sure how we're going to put this one in a sentence. Um, what could be a sentence with the word mammal? I wonder. Oh, mammal. I didn't know that word. Well, there you go. You actually learned a English word for the Dutch word of the day. Um, yeah, can we put that in a sentence? In the zoo, a mens is a zoogdier. Okay, humans are mammals. Wait, is that true though? Is that true? I guess I guess it might be true, yeah. Humans are mammals, which translates as a mens is a zoogdier. Now you can actually see the sentence in chat there as well. Um, so yeah, a very, uh, very interesting Dutch word of the day, but still one nonetheless. Thanks so much for that, Redeem. Um, and let's go back here. Let's see if I can reboot the game again. Hopefully we didn't lose too much um, like, you know, gameplay time or hopefully the game did like an autosave recently. I hope. Because otherwise we've uh, we might have lost some stuff, but we'll see. We'll see. PlayStation. Insomniac. What do you get when you uh, when you reverse the name Nixus? Yep. 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 <laughs> Hoping that message wasn't from who I think it was from. Okay, let's see. I think it's saved. Yeah, I think it's saved after we did the um, the fake Spider-Man mission. So that's okay. That's totally fine. Uh, let's actually go to um, stakeout mission. The uh, one of the main mission or the next main mission. Let's do that one. Okay, let's go around Central Park because that makes it easier. My dad called because they are putting two fiber cables on his home for free. He was wondering, do I need it? Do I want them both or just one? That's actually a fair question. What did you say? 
I wonder when, when they're gonna do construction on like, you know, our city. Or like our neighborhood actually. Because I believe that we're gonna do it sometime... Well, I, I thought sometime before September, but clearly that's not gonna happen. Um, so I wonder when they're gonna do it now. Don't do it. As much as I understand that, you know, like for gameplay reasons, they kind of need it. I feel that the way that he swings isn't always very realistic because I feel it should he should move more towards a building when he likes, you know, when he has like a wire like that. Like he goes, he keeps going straight. I don't think that's how it works, especially when you have a wire that is at like a very big angle. I don't think you can just keep swinging on it like that. I think you will always do like, you know, you have it and then you go like this and then you keep going straight. So like this and then go there. But of course, that wouldn't be fun. Capian and Delta are deploying the fiber cables there, so just take them both and you can always switch. Yeah, that's definitely true. That's, that's definitely good advice, I think. Uh oh. Another rooftop. Bad guys on a rooftop. Oh, in your face. Bam. And who has, who does that all the time? Or do all of them do that? Oh, I think all of them do that. The ones with the shields at least. Stop doing that! Oh crap, he got me. Oh, so close. So close. I like to have two fiber internets at home. Always a good idea to have a backup. Yeah, I guess that's fair. That's definitely fair. Then again, you do also need to have two subscriptions, I think. You can't just be like, oh, I did the one is not working. Let's switch to the other one. But yeah, no, I see your point. I see your point. I wonder when when they're gonna do it like for our place and also I kind of wonder how like how that's gonna work um like I'm sure they also have to drill like a hole in like our outer wall so they can actually get like into our um like apartment with like the cable but I wonder how that's gonna work like how are they gonna drill like where is it gonna come in because our, our breaker closet is not necessarily right next to our door there's actually some space in between so i wonder how they're gonna do that are they just gonna like pull a wire and then there's gonna be like exposed wire there or are they gonna have something that is you know connected to like the outer wall of our building or like the you know the inside on the inside to the outer wall of the building i wonder how they're gonna do that because i don't think they're gonna like go underground because then that would mean that we would have to open up our floor so that they could come in, which I don't think is actually what's going to happen. Well, no, I know that's not going to happen because I'm not going to open up my floor so they can do stuff. Hello, spider. Hello. I've been thinking about you a lot lately. Oh, well. We were good together, weren't we? Maybe it's time to reignite the flame. Reignite the flame? Black cat. Don't tell me she's scoping out places to rob. She promised she would give up that life. <clears throat> it's the same as phone coax, I think. Where does that come in? Honestly, I don't know. I think it's also in the breaker closet. Um. But I think somewhere like from the ceiling. 
Because I we have like in the breaker closer we have like these pipes, these PVC pipes, and then everything comes out of there, I feel. So yeah, I don't know. Are you on the first floor? I am on the floor. Yeah, like on the ground floor. Yeah, on the first floor. What was she looking at? Anything look out of place? Or that, but... She wants me to find something. I need to look harder. Anything look out of place? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. There. One of her cats. She packs those with range extenders, then harvests nearby... They don't use the same pipe, they also did it here. Oh, yeah, but I wonder, I, I don't know where... How it like comes in. I mean, I'm sure they'll find a way. Smart to be putting yourself at risk like this. She must be desperate for some reason. But I just wonder where it like it's gonna come in. But again, I'm sure there's gonna be a way. I believe they said something like, "Oh, achievements." Yuri, you still have black cat suit and equipment in the evidence lockup, right? I think so. Why? Is she back at it? Maybe. Just double check and let me know if her gear is still there. We'll do. Um, like I remember when they uh, when we signed up, I sh I'm sure they said something like, you know, there's not gonna be a lot of disruption. Hey, what's up? I thought we were gonna meet up for dinner tonight. Oh, right. I'm sorry, I forgot. It's been a hard day. We lost funding at the lab. Oh, Peter, I'm sorry. I also kind of got evicted from my apartment. What? Do you have a place to stay tonight? Actually, no, not really. I hate to ask, but any chance you have room at the shelter? Of course. Feel free to use the couch in my office. Thanks, May. Aww. I can sleep on the couch in our office. How sweet. That's actually manual safe before things crash again. We have to get it or else the upstairs neighbors are also unable to get it. Oh, really? Oh, that's kind of annoying. Because that puts, I, I mean, I would hate that because that would put sort of like pressure on you guys. Like, I'm sure you guys were going to take it anyway. But like, if you didn't plan on getting it, then you're kind of, you know, screwing up your neighbors. And you also don't want to do that. So it's kind of like, yeah, well, even if, even if we didn't want to get it, we are now getting it because, you know, otherwise other people can't get it if they want it. But yeah, I mean, no, necessarily not like in a hurry to get anything like that. Like, if they're gonna do it, fine. If they're gonna wait for a little bit, also fine by me. Oh, gotta be Black Cat. Are you jealous I'm visiting my other man? I hope so. But you should know bad boys aren't my type. I'm not a bad boy, though. Am I? Am I a bad boy? Wait, is it over there? No. Oh, wait. Huh. There it is. Why are you doing this, Felicia? No one's gonna catch you. I think it's interesting how there's still like, what is it? Like some, some fries and some meat and some food here that she left, apparently. Interesting. Oh, wait, we leveled up. Level 17. Just give permission to pull the wire through the breaker closet. All cables are in the PVC pipe to upstairs. Yeah, I guess that's also true. Like, if you did, guys didn't get it, you could also do something like that. I guess that would have also worked indeed. Is it breaker closet? We settled on the name. I, yeah, I guess I we kind of settled on it. I'm not sure if it's that, like the official name, but I feel it sounds okay. I feel it sounds about right. <laughs> All right, before we move on in the game, um, I, feel that I, I feel that I spilled some of my drink. Before we move on in the game, let's go take a break um, so I can get something to drink. We've been live for two hours, so I think that's a good idea anyway. Um, so yeah, let's go do that. Um, the Plinko game still hasn't been fixed. I, I tweeted out to the company that makes it or like to the team that makes it. Um, but it still hasn't been fixed. I, I haven't had a reply from them yet. Um... So yeah, I'm kind of waiting on that. I did and I did initial, uh, I did like, you know, add it again, like manually. Um, but like, I, I feel that it still doesn't refresh. So 
Um, yeah, the reset thing is still definitely broken. Um, so yeah, not a lot of winners today. I mean, we have four. I feel four is still quite a good number. You know, it's it's not like you know a lot, but also not like not a lot. Um, so yeah, I'd love if someone made a lingo game. I believe that is a lingo game, though. I mean, I know you can play it online. If we're talking about lingo, like the the word game, which I I, I thought it was always like a Dutch thing. Uh, I'm not sure if we're talking about that. Um, oh, you wanted to type OMG? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of winners already. Yeah, definitely. Um, anyway, anyway, Wordle is a knockoff. Oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. There you, yeah, that's kind of... Like, I know in the, in the Netherlands you have, like, a lingo game, but that's, like, Dutch, so I'm sure you won't be able to play that yourself if you're not Dutch. Um, so, yeah, anyway, chat, I'm gonna take a break. Uh, I'm gonna be back in a couple of minutes. Um, so you guys play some Plinko. It doesn't reset automatically, so I'm sorry about that still. Hopefully that's gonna be fixed soon. Um, but, yeah, I'm gonna do that, and then I'll see you guys in a couple of minutes when I return. Also, there will be an ad, so if you're not a subscriber, you will see uh, two minutes uh, of ads. Uh, but you won't miss a lot of things because, of course, I'm on my break. So, yeah, I'm going to be right back. See you in a little bit.
Well, um, hello, I'm back. And not just that, I come back to the game being crashed again. Um, which now makes me wonder if that is, you know, why the game crashed on me twice already. Especially since, you know, I didn't do anything. I was just on, you know, I was just, the game was just paused. Buy a new game. Steam, give me a new game. Um... And now my brain, the way that my brain works, is like instantly going like, oh, that's, that's my new memory. My new memory makes the game crash, which I doubt is going to be, is is that, you know, I doubt that's the case. But that's instantly where my brain goes. I do know there was an update to the game recently. So maybe there's something going on with that update. I don't know. Um, But yeah. I can I can do like a uh, verified integrity of game files. I have no idea how long that's going to take. Oh, that takes very not long. Okay, let's do that then, I guess. Oh, wait, it might take slightly longer, though. Okay, yeah, it, it takes a little bit longer. 1%, 2%. Okay, so I, I guess we're going to wait on that. I'm not sure if it's a good idea to play like a different game while we wait for the very for the integrity of the files to be checked. Uh, so we're just going to wait in that a little bit. So we're going to do some just chatting, I guess. It's very unlikely. Yeah, I, I thought so too. I thought like that would be weird as well if that's the case. Um, it's just it's just interesting that the game crashed on me like twice already. And like I never had that issue um, before. I did send a crash log twice to Sony or like to the developers, I guess. Um, which I never know if they actually do something with that or if it's just like send us information and then, you know, that's it. Uh, but I guess we're gonna see. We'll 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 see. Um, so yeah, yeah 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 yeah. So does anyone have anything they would like to share <laughs> with the class? <laughs> Since we're waiting on on our game files to be uh, to be checked and verified. Um, so does anyone have anything that they would like to share? I'm very happy that I went for a bike ride today because um, it's like I like you know I didn't go for like very long. I think I went for like 14 kilometers, which is not like super long. I was away for like 40-ish minutes, I guess. Um, so then you know like part of me is sort of like beating myself up over that that it wasn't very far and very long. Um, but at the same time, you know another part of me, which is luckily a bigger part of me, is thinking like, well, at least you know like. I could have also stayed inside and just sat on the couch or stay in bed or, you know, whatever and not do anything active at all. But I chose to not do that. I chose to actually go outside and go have a bike ride and, and, and be active, um, which I think is, is always better because, you know, it's better for like my health and my body and, and everything. So, um, yeah, I am glad that I did that. I am glad that I did that. Um, so, yeah. 27%. So it's not super fast, but that's okay. So I think if if possible, I want to play a little bit more of the Spider-Man game. And then after that, I think we're going to switch it up to um, DBD. Play some killer matches. I think that is a good idea. So yeah. Worst case, your PC will explode. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely... And I'm, I'm, I'm relatively close to it as well. Um, so, I mean, the good thing is, though, that the window of my PC is facing the wall. So, like, the, the side that is facing me is, like, you know, aluminum or iron or, you know, whatever a PC case is made of. So, I'm hoping that, you know, and all the components are also on that side of, like, on the side of the, of, that is, like, facing me. So, I'm hoping that if things explode, they explode, like, outwards and towards the wall that is next to me. So, that it's, at least it's not gonna, like, affect me too much. Um, which I guess in theory, you know, it kind of makes sense. Like if it explodes, it's not going to explode towards me. It's going to explode away from me. So at least that's a good thing. That's like, you know, a little bit of a silver lining. Uh, I don't see any smoke just yet. Uh, so that's good as well. I think if we don't see any smoke coming out of the PC, at least, you know, it's not smoking hot. Um, so, you know, there's that as well. I do have also Spider-Man. I'm mean, not sure if you guys ever saw that. Have you guys ever seen Spider-Man on my PC? Wait, let me show you guys. Um... Where is it? Where is it? The, uh... Wait, where is it? Oh, no, wait, where is it? It's not here. Did I disable that? 
Wait, did I disable the change perspective? Wait. Let me check in my uh, streamer bot. Change perspective. Oh, it's not active. Wait, that's weird. That is weird. Uh, well, let's make it active then. Enable, boom. There we go. I don't know why that was disabled. Um, No, not my background. No, I actually have Spider-Man on my PC. Look, there he is. Little, little tiny spider guy. Um, so, so yeah, that's also kind of, kind of, uh, kind of cool, I guess. So yeah. Oh wow, you can actually see the reflection of the light, like you know, in my hands of the the lamp on my on my mouse. Which I always think like there's a little tiny lights on my mouse, which is the Logitech G logo that lights up, which I think is kind of cool. But at the same time, I'm always like, what point is it to have a light on my mouse itself? Because my hand is always covering that, you know, like my hand is always on top of that light, so I never actually see it unless I take my hand off of it. But that's kind of defeating the point of. Um, you know, having a light on, on, on your mouse or, you know, having a mouse in general, I guess. Yeah, my background is also Spider-Man. I can't really show you guys that because then you will see my desktop and it's kind of cluttered and kind of a mess. But yeah, I also have Spider-Man on my background. I might actually change my background because I made some cool photos in... Um, I made some cool photos in the game. Uh, so I kind of feel like maybe changing that a little bit. Um, so yeah. Yeah. Oh wait, we got two change perspective redeems. So I'm wondering if it's gonna be doubling it up now. I wonder if it's gonna go back and then gonna go back to to this scene. Um. So yeah. I wanted to say something else, but now I totally lost track or lo lo forgot what I wanted to say. I don't remember anymore. Yeah, I don't know. Hey Sipsis, how are you doing? Welcome in. Hello, hello. How are you? How is Joy? Joy is doing good. Um, he was actually sleeping next to me at the start of the stream, uh, but then I had to uh, let him uh, get out of the hallway uh, for a little bit because he was kind of done with it, I guess. Uh, but he's he's doing good. He is doing good. Are we back? We are back. Good. I'm doing good. Nice. Happy to hear that. Happy to hear that. Um, also, later this month, I'm not sure if it's like officially been announced yet, but I guess I can sort of like soft announce it. Uh, later this month is going to be another edition of the Twitch Leather Pride weekend event on Twitch here, uh, for which I'm probably going to participate again as well. Um, I kind of I would love to do like a full weekend. So that's like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But I don't think that's necessarily like a good idea in terms of, you know, me having to do something the entire weekend. But I would love to do that. You know, part of me would love to do that. Um, but I'm guessing I'm going to do like two days again. So I'm most likely again Friday and Sunday. Um, but I have, I'll have to see. I'll have to see. Maybe I'll do three days. But then I might, if I do that, I might skip a day during the week. Because um, that would mean if I do three days, that would mean that I have four days of streaming in a row. So Because then I would stream on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then again on Monday. Um, so that would mean four streams in a row. Unless I change the Monday stream and change it to like Tuesday. But then I, I stream two days in a row again, Tuesday and Wednesday. So I'm going to I'm going to have to see whether or not, you know, like what is what is like convenient to do, what is smart to do. Um, but like I would love to do three days because then I have three different outfits I can wear because then I can wear like, you know, my harness, and nothing else like I did last time. For instance, I can wear my MX gear on one day and I can wear my rubber on like the last day, for instance. Um. So yeah, I'll have to see what is like, you know, smart and what is convenient in terms of uh, um, like timing and stuff. So 24 hour rubber stream. Oh, 24 hour stream. It, a 24 hour stream alone would be quite the achievement. I mean, when I did my birthday stream, uh, was it last week? Two weeks ago, I guess. Yeah, two weeks ago, two, one and a half weeks ago, something like that. Um, when I did that, I was already noticing that like at the end of the stream at like 2.45 a.m. ish. Um, or like 2 a.m. I guess I was already noticing that my brain was sort of starting to turn off and I was kind of done with like my energy levels of being like, you know, social and entertaining and stuff like that on stream. 
So let alone that that was like what 14 hours of streaming, 13 and a half hours of streaming, I guess, something like that. So doing like 24 hours is definitely something that I would have to I would still love to do that at some point. Um I would definitely still love to do that at some point, but it's something I really need to prepare for, I think, and like maybe have like more guests on and stuff like that, because um, yeah, I think definitely doing like a 24 hour stream is, is definitely very taxing on like, you know, the brain and stuff like that, because, you know, you do need to be also the verification is done. So let's go back into the game soon. You do need to be like, you know, turned on the entire time. Um, so yeah, even if there's like nobody in chat or like when people are sleeping or something like that, you know, you do need to be engaging and fun and entertaining. And I think that's something that I would struggle with um, most of the time. Boop chat, uh, enjoyed it. Did you know you're cute? I mean, people keep telling me that, Dottoro. People keep telling me that I'm cute. So um, yeah, I guess, I guess if you guys say so. So yeah, 24 hour stream. I mean, that would be quite some, quite like quite taxing. And then also being in rubber for 24 hours is also, I think, definitely, um, definitely quite something. <laughs> so I don't think I'm going to do that. I do definitely would love to do another rubber stream, though. Um, um, you know, like at during the uh, during the weekend. So I think we're definitely going to do that. Tago, welcome back. Amex gear with the shoes. I mean, I kind of would love to. The downside is you guys won't be able to see them anyway. So like I would love to do like the full outfits, like, you know, pants and shoes and socks and, and like, you know, my shirt. Um, but the downside is you guys won't be able to see the entire thing anyway, unless I go stand like right there. Um, but I might just do that just for the fun of it, because, you know, it's it's fun. So why not? Um, even though you guys won't be able to see unless I do like I go like, look at my shoes and then I lift my 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 feet and my legs. So, um, yeah. Are you allowed to sleep on stream? That, I mean, that's a good question. I have seen streamers do that. I have seen streamers that do like, you know, uncapped subathons that do sleep on stream. Uh, I think it's technically not forbidden or like not allowed. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like I, I've also seen streamers that, for instance, um, uh, like when they sleep during like a subathon, they just have like, you know, like they play, they have like a, for instance, I saw one streamer that had like the Twitch plays Pokemon thing where, you know, like chat input controls the game. Uh, so chat still had something to do. I've seen people that did like, um, like words on stream or they have just like clips of themselves, like, you know, clips of the stream playing in background. So yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know if there's actually like rules against watching someone sleep on stream. I'm not sure if there's like, you know, rules that say you can't do that, to be honest. I would be available to help you do 24 hours. Yeah, I think for me, like I, I like I said, I don't think I'm going to do it anytime soon because I want it to be like a special moment. So like, I don't want to just be like, hey, this Friday, we're going to do a 24 hour stream, not to celebrate anything, but just because I want to. So I want it to be like, for instance, like my birthday stream we did. Um, you know, last like recently. Um, but I think the, the most time when I would need like, you know, help is maybe a big word, but like when I would need sort of like people in chat is like basically during like the middle of the night. So like between like 2, 1 a.m. and like 9, 10 a.m. the next day, because I think that's going to be like the quietest. Um, and that's definitely when I would love some people to be here. Old camera in the corner with everything below the desk. I'm sure people would like that, yes, but uh, yeah, let's not do that. Let's not do have any cameras pointed at stuff below the desk. Because <laughs> I'm not exactly sure, but I feel that that is definitely um, not going to be allowed by Twitch regardless. <laughs> Who needs pants if you're a streamer? Listen, chat, I always wear pants, okay? I always wear pants on stream. I mean, today I'm wearing shorts, but they're still pants, but just, you know, shorter. But I'm not naked, okay? Just so you guys know. Okay, the game is, is verified. I don't know if they had to fix anything, but let's just go ahead and start it up again. This isn't that kind of stream. Exactly, this isn't that kind of stream. No, 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 exactly. Exactly. Do you wear underpants? I do wear uh, underwear. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I'm sure a lot of VTubers are naked. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, maybe. I 
All right, there we go. I was going to say game capture. Are we going to do anything? Nixus. Again, try reversing that. And then giggle. And Marvel. Or Leverum. Oh, wait, my controller turned off. Oh, crap, are the batteries dead? That would suck. Hello, controller. Hello, controller. My controller is not working. That's annoying. I'm definitely not going to play this game with keyboard and mouse. That's not going to work. I did see a thing that said like, you know, Xbox controller thing loading. So I'm not sure why it's not loading. Is it delicious as hand tracking so we can't make it a fun time? Well, that too. Yeah. Maybe the batteries are dead. Um, let's see. Let's try this again. Yeah, I do. I do see like a, a thing saying Xbox One controller configs loaded. But they're not working. Wait, let's reboot the game. Heck. Sorry about this, chat. Sorry about things not working the way that they should. Game crashing, controller not working. Hopefully we can fix it. I hope. All right, and now it's seen. There we go. That seemed to have fixed it. Let's see, continue. I'm sure you want to quit. No, I don't want to quit. Wait. Select. Okay, that was weird. I was pressing the right buttons, but somehow it didn't actually register those button presses, I think. TDD, Hoping that the uh, the crashes are now fixed, but I don't know. We'll see. Glad me. Um. All right, we can make it to our feast it's shelter okay, there. We'll crashing at feast. All right, let's switch our suits up again because you know why not? Um, I want to switch it to maybe this one. I kind of really like this suit. It's, it's very basic, but it's still a very classic one. Uh, what is this? Oh, yeah, the stock suit. Also a nice one. Definitely also a good suit. Um, oh, let's go with this one. I don't think we've worn this one too much on stream yet. All right, cool. I also love how they they added like so many details, like same as with um, like, for instance, the bottom of the shoes, you know, they, they added like details there as well. I love the improved suit. Wait, which one is that? Um, classic suit, advanced suit, stocks, which is the improved suit? Velocity suit, secret war, negative. Amazing. Upgraded. I don't have an improved suit, I guess. Wait, this one oh, is not available yet, even though I see I see the icon. I lost the Iron Spider. The first one. Oh, the first. Oh, the advanced one. The advanced suit. Yeah, that's a pretty cool design as well. Definitely a pretty cool design. Um. All right. I think we wore that at the start of the stream. We wore the uh, advanced suit with the white spider across the chest. T 
Wait, what is that green building? Is that like an Irish pub? Callahan's fine spirits and beer. Wait, is that another one over here? I think there is. Yeah. Another establishment of Callahan's. That's funny, like, I think they might have made, like, a, oh, wait, there's, like, two more on this side, or oh, one more on this side as well. What is that? Oh, no, this is something else. This is Little Apple Delicatessen. Like a deli. It's funny they called it Little Apple, because, of course, we are in the Big Apple. So it's funny that they have a store called Little Apple. do that i need to do more of these crimes because like i said before if i don't do them now i'm gonna have to do them later oh wait there's a big guy there let's take him out first there we go because those big guys are always very annoying okay those guys are annoying as well wait can i oh wait this button He's stuck. Come on! What the hell? Okay, now the game just crashed without, like, anything. Well, I guess the game doesn't want me to play it anymore. I guess that's a fair thing to say. The game doesn't like me playing it anymore. Okay, well, then we're gonna switch it up to another game, then. I mean, I wanted to do that... ...anyway. But... We're gonna do it now, I guess. Because, you know... Check a log. I don't think there's a lot. I don't necessarily think the game keeps like any logs. I mean, I can check in Steam, but I don't necessarily think there are any logs that the game keeps. Let's see. Local files. Um, let's see if there's any like log files. I don't think so. I mean, like I said, there was an update recently that I've done. So maybe there was like something with that update. Um... I don't know when that update was anymore, but like I know it was recently. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll look at that. I'll look at that off stream to see if uh, there indeed was an update or not. So annoying though, because I was still having an okay time. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. If if the if if the game doesn't want us to play it, then then I guess we're gonna honor that. You know, if the game doesn't give us consent to properly play it, then well, we won't. Um. Hey, friends, welcome in. Switching to DVD. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to play that regardless, but like you know, I, I kind of wanted to play it around like eleven, I guess, eleven my time. Not necessarily now, but you know, with Spider-Man crashing all the time, I guess now is, is as good as time as ever. So yeah. Also, did you hear that I fixed my internet issues, like my speed issues we were having last week? I think I, I think I, 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 I told you guys that. Um, so I think you already knew that. Um, all, yeah, I know, I know. I don't know anymore when that update was. I always delete, like, you know, updates that I've done in Steam. I always delete them instantly, so I don't know when it was anymore. There should be a general crash log in the logbook. Wait, there's a logbook in Steam? Wait, where is that? Settings? you think about the ramification that that fix will have 
Yeah, like I said, I don't think it necessarily has anything to do with that. It's just sort of coincidental to me that I add, I added installed new RAM and all of a sudden my game is crashing. But I don't necessarily think that is that has anything to do with this because that would be weird. I feel. Slowly becoming a DVD streamer, I see. No, I mean, well, n well, no. I, 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 listen, it will never be a main game because as much as I enjoy playing it, it will never be like a main game that I play all the time, I feel. Um, oh, a Windows log. Oh, I was checking out Steam. I was checking Steam. I didn't know Windows also had like a log. Um, I'll check that out later then. I'll check it out later. Um, Martin definitely didn't tell me the internet issue at all. Totally not that you had a 100 MB switch. Hey, listen, I didn't know that, okay? I didn't know that. That uh, that the switch was not, you know, sufficient enough. Also... Excuse me, I just suddenly got a itchy throat. It was itchy witchy. Um... I, I'm actually, I was actually very happy that I, I thought of that. That I was like, oh wait. Maybe that has something to do with that, because I didn't necessarily think of that. Um, and then it was like, oh yeah, that's the thing. Oh wait, let me uh, see an app of mine crashed. All right. Yeah, it is perfect. Or like another, like it didn't crash, but like it wasn't open anymore. But now it is. It's back. Perfect. All right. Um. So yeah, sorry about that, guys, for, you know, the game issues. I apologize. Um, but. It's funny, actually, um, uh, Trix actually tags me in a tweet that of someone that he that, that uh, he follows. Um, and um, that person, they they had like an issue that I also sometimes have. Um, where I don't know what game I want to play. Uh, so Trix tagged me and, and and said like, you know, maybe you have like any tips. And I guess my tips, my I, I mean, since I still have that issue sometimes that I don't know what game I want to play on stream, um, I think my tip, my main tip was to always have like a backup game, like a game that you can always fall back on. Um, and for me, I think that game, it used to be Fortnite, but now it's Fortnite and DVD, I guess. Um, which is a game that, like, you know, if I don't know what else I can play, what else I want to play, I can always just go back to that and still have a good time and still enjoy myself. Uh, and I think that's that's like a, a good tip in general. If you are like a streamer and you just don't know, like, OK, what do I want to play today? Um, having like a backup game that you always enjoy playing and that, that you know, doesn't necessarily have like a storyline. I think that's that's also sometimes kind of important, too, that there's no storyline. There's no like thing that you need to continue with you can just like you know jump in jump out of it again if you want to uh, I think that's definitely like a good tip in general um, because then you can always just fall back on that particular game the cat has the post crab zoomies oh wow like he took a dump and now he's like zhoo, zhoo, zhoo. game like lemmings I mean lemmings did have sort of like a story mode because, you know, you had, like, levels that you had to do. Has, okay, hands up, who here played Lemmings back in the day? I loved it. It was awesome. Um, it, 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 I wonder, is Lemmings on Steam? Is that, like, a game you can still play? I wonder. I don't think so. I don't think it's on Steam. Lemmings. No, it's not. It's definitely not on Steam. Um, but Lemmings was awesome. Back in the day, I used to play that all the time on, like, our DOS PC. Back in the day, MS-DOS. Yeah. But like the first level, that was super easy. Um, the crash can happen because of memory, but it's rare. More often you just get a BSOD. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I thought as well. Like it's weird that like everything works except for like one game. Um, so yeah. You can emulate it. Wait, Lemmings? Yeah, I'm sure you can still get it at places, but I was just curious if it was on Steam or not. Uh, but I'm sure you can still get it at, like, you know, other places as well. Um, uh, did I change my game already? I definitely did. Okay. Have you played the old Indiana, Indiana Jones games? I have not, no. I've never played um, Indiana Jones games. You can play it in your browser. Oh, you can? Wait, let's have a quick look. Original levels only. 
One for VGA game. Okay, let's just play one, I think. Wait, hang on. Let me, let me show you guys this. We're not we're not going to change categories or something like that, but it just it's just for people that have never watched this game. Let's see, two, I think. DOSBox. Let's go with VGA. I think VGA is better, right? For PC competitive, for high performance PCs, I think that would work. Oh wow! One player. F1. Oh wait, that doesn't work. But it doesn't work. F1. Yeah, that's. I I got new level. Enter code. I don't have a code. Let's go back. Okay, this is not gonna work. I don't have a code. Ask to show your cursor. Use the mouse. I can't. I, there's no back button. I don't think I can use the mouse. Incorrect code. Yeah, I'm sure that it is because yeah, I can't use my mouse. Oh wait, maybe I did. Just dig. Oh yeah, see this. We got sound, Chad. We got sound. Wait. Wait, why is this so loud? Okay, wait, just dig. Let's see, digging. This is actually kind of cool. Can we do F11? No, we can't, we can't, can't, we can't go full screen, I guess. Oh, we can. This is, this is like classic. Speed it up a little bit. Oh wait, no, that doesn't didn't speed it up. That only sped up how many people came out of there. What year did this game come out? And wow, Lemmings, that's a classic. Yeah, we're not actually gonna play this, but we were just talking about this game. I don't know how we actually got to this game, but uh, we were just talking about this. And then Miles was like, "You can play it online," and I was like, "I have to see that." But how are you doing, little pup? All Lemmings accounted for. Yes, we totally did. Oh man, the graphics are terrible though. Early 90s, yeah, definitely like somewhere early 90s. Oh, this one, we need to have umbrellas. All lemmings will need umbrellas. Ah, heck, I actually remember all of this. Like these levels, seeing them, I'm like, oh yeah, I totally remember this. It's older than me. Well, it's definitely not older than me if it came out in 1992. I want a full Lemming stream. I mean, if people would like that, we can definitely do like a retro stream at some point. Now I need to find like a sound button because this is way too loud. We did it! Alright, let's see. As a Lemming game. Oh, I remember this one too. Let's see, we have a stop one. Yeah, we need to have a stop one here. Then we want to have a stop one there. February 14, 1991. Alright, they can I keep walking this way. And then we're gonna have a stop one right there. I always thought it was funny how they were like, you know, like that, with their hands apart. And I think they make can make this drop. I think they should be able to make this drop. Yeah, there we go. And now we're gonna have to stop one there. All right, let's speed things up a little bit. I speed up the falling. Yeah, exactly. Hey, this is so loud. Crazy Lemmings is announced at Steam for January 2023. Wait, Crazy Lemmings, is that like the same type of game as this one? All right, now we have to explode all the other ones, which I think is uh, this button or this, the feet. Now that's pass, so it must be this one. 
But how do you explode all of them again? Which button was that? I think it's this one, right? But it doesn't do anything. Oh, there we go. Maybe I had to double click. Boom! Okay, let's leave it at that. If more people are interested in a game like this, um, we might definitely be able to, I mean, I'm definitely okay with like playing a game like this for like a bit of a longer period of time. Um, uh, all right, let's let's quit it over there. Um, but if people like something like this, um, if people like seeing me play some lemmings, uh, maybe we can do that like on Wednesday. I don't think I can do it like an entire stream. Like I don't necessarily see myself play this the entirety of the evening. Um, but like I can definitely see me play it for like a couple of hours. So if people are interested in that, um, we can definitely do that. I've been begging for a retro stream for whole, how long? I feel that you've been begging for me to play like, what is it, Earthbound though? Not necessarily for, um, for Lemmings. I mean, I I don't necessarily like, you know, not all retro games are, you know, the same. So that's why like Lemmings, I definitely have some good memories for. Um, so yeah. You save your friends, don't kill yourself. Yeah, exactly. I also own a Lemming sequel that is a field strategy game for some reason. Yeah, it's funny how I feel that Lemmings never got like a remake for um like like for instance Worms, you know, like Worms is also a pretty old game and that has got like so many different versions. Uh so there's like, you know, like old versions of Worms with like 2D and then there's like modern 3D versions of Worms. I feel Lemmings never got that. I feel it did get like an upgraded version maybe, but never really um like, you know, like with 3D graphics and those kind of things. As far as I know. As far as I know. We can do a poll. I mean, I definitely don't necessarily feel like doing it like tonight. Um, so yeah, we can definitely start with it on Wednesday and we'll see, you know, how long we're going to play it. I can make you something with a more uh, period accurate hardware. I mean, I don't necessarily mind it playing it via the browser. Actually, I like that because then I don't have to install anything. Um... So I think that I like that better. So I can just play that and I don't have to install anything. And then we just, um, just do that. Because it totally worked. I mean, it worked pretty good. The only thing that I didn't like was the sound. That was way too loud, but I can just lower the volume. So there's no issue in that. There's more people who want to see Mass Effect. Yeah, but the thing with Mass Effect, I can't just play that like, you know, just one stream. Like I can, I can totally play Lemmings one stream and then let's be done with it. Let's see if it's on how long to beat. Lemmings. 20... Wait, 20 hours? Whoa! I did not expect it to take that long. Apparently the main story of Lemmings takes 20 and a half hours. I did not expect that. Wow. That is interesting. That is interesting. I did not expect it to take that long. <laughs> Oh heck, 24 hours stream with only lemmings? I mean, I wouldn't even be able to make it 24 hours because it only takes 21 hours. Okay, if I do the main plus extra, it would take 24. Oh wait, apparently there is a Lemmings 3D. Lemmings Pinball, all new world of Lemmings, Lemmings Revolution. Okay, so maybe there has been more modernized versions of the game. Perhaps. Yeah, I knew that archive.org had more games that you could play in your browser. I actually, I mean, I knew that. It's just not necessarily something that's like on top of my mind, I guess, to play. But I knew there were more games that you could play in your browser. Um, yeah, we might we might have, fi have found something that we can play on Wednesday for like a little bit. 7,000 games. Let's quickly go through them, see if I recognize something else that I used to love. Oh, Doom? You can play Doom in your bro Prince of Persia. I used to play that as well. I never was able to finish it, though. Doom 2. Okay, nice. Wolfenstein 3D. I think I have that on Steam, actually. Wait, do I have Wolfenstein on Steam? 
I think I do. Yeah, Wolfenstein 3D. I totally have that on Steam. Let's see. Duke Nukem 3D used to play that all the time as well. Quake. I don't think I ever played Quake back in the day. Prehistoric. I used to play that as well all the time. Never played Tomb Raider, which is also on here. It's funny how many games I recognize. Oh, you can actually play Windows 95 as well. <laughs> Rayman. I think I used to play Rayman as well. Like the uh, the first one. It's funny how many games there are on this uh, on this site that you can play. Wait, there's even a Spider-Man game. The Amazing Spider-Man. Is it allowed on stream? I don't actually know. Wait, let's let's see. Uh, Twitch banned games. I know there's a list on Twitch. List of prohibited games. It's not on Twitch's list of prohibited games, so I think you can definitely play it on stream. It's not on the list of games that are prohibited. Um, so I feel that it should be okay. Um, yeah, no, I think it's I think it should be fine. There is definitely like on this list, I'm definitely like, whoa, what are these games? <laughs> what are these games? I've never heard of most of these, but like, well, I'm not going to name them because they're banned. So I don't want to like talk about games that are clearly banned on Twitch. But but wow, <laughs> there is definitely some interesting titles over there. Um, I remember playing Lemons as a secure old and getting stumped one of the very last levels. Yeah, there were definitely some tricky levels in that game, that's for sure. Definitely like some levels that were like pretty hard to get to. I used to snipe noobs on Quake 3 Arena as a nine year old. I got booted by so many pissy college kids who thought I was a cheater. I never played Quake. I used to play um, Unreal Tournament though. Unreal Tournament, I used to play that. I never played Quake. I, I guess I was an Unreal, Unreal guy when I was younger. I think you were either Quake or you were like into Unreal. Like either one of the two. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry if people were like excited to play, um, Lemmings, but yeah, I, I, I kind of wanted to play something else as well. So I hope I'm not disappointing people, uh, but I guess we can do some Lemmings on Wednesday. I think that's not a bad idea because I wasn't sure what else I would go, go and play. Like I said, it might not be the only game that I play, um, but I can definitely play it for like a little bit, like maybe an hour, hour and a half, maybe two if we're having fun. Um, so yeah. Retro Wednesday. Yeah, kind of. I mean... What else? I would love to... Part of me would love to play Wolfenstein 3D. Because I, I, I kind of liked that as a kid as well. Not sure how good of a game that would be to play on stream. Because even though it's not banned from Twitch. Um, I might Google if I can play that. Then we can then we might do like a retro Wednesday. That would be fun. I'll have to look at like some other games that I would love to play that I remember from back in the day. Because I don't want to like play random games. I want to play games that I actually have like memories from. So that I that I used to play myself. I think that's actually kind of fun. Um. Because then I'm like, oh yeah, I remember playing this. You know, like like with Lemmings just now. I totally remembered um like you know those first couple of levels. I was like, oh yeah, I remember playing this. I've seen this before. I still hate that voice. Dead by daylight. Wow, I think it was a pretty good impression, actually. SimCity 2000. I never played... I started playing with 3000. I never played 2000. My first SimCity was 3000. Uh, I remember that I specific... I, I, this is actually kind of stupid, but there was a bank. I don't know which bank it was, but there was a bank where if you signed up for an account there, you actually got SimCity 3000 for free. Uh, and I remember that I, I basically like, you know, hammered onto my parents that I wanted to get a bank account there just so I could get SimCity 3000 for free. And then finally, you know, like they were done with my whining, so they caved. They were like, okay, you can you can get it. If you want to, you can get it. And I never I never really used the um, 
I never really like used the account. I only just used it to um, get the game. SimCity. I mean, I would like to do at some point maybe as well. I would like to do um, SimCity 4 on stream. I actually got that a long time ago as well. And part of me would like to do that on stream as well. Um, so I might do that at some point, maybe. Hello? There we go. Alright, are we gonna play as Legion? I guess we could play as Legion. Why not? Let's let's do that. I think that could be fun. I enjoyed that last time as well. I still wanna get that Legion skin. I'm still looking at that Legion skin, but I'm kinda like, do I wanna spend the money on it? But look at how cool that skin is, chat. Look at how cool of a skin that is. I still wanna get that. But yeah. Am I gonna spend money on that skin? Then again, I did save some money by not having to buy new memory. So, I mean, there's also an argument there. <laughs> like, I saved myself some money. So, maybe I could use it to buy a very cool skin in this game. Finish Crash 1, Rayman 1 and Tomb Raider 1 in the last few years on actual hardware. Feels good to really finally finish games from my childhood. Yeah, when I was younger, I used to not finish games as well. Um, partially because they were like too difficult, but also partially because... Um, because, you know, basically I had a hard time finishing games because I was like, I don't want this game to end. So I just never played it again, which is kind of like, you know... I don't want this to end because I enjoy it so much, so I stopped playing it, so it still ends, you know, so I kind of discovered in the last couple of years that that was kind of like a weird way of thinking. So I started actually finishing games. A Sims 1 stream. Oh, heck, Sims 1? I I wonder if I have Sims 1 on Origin, if that is on Origin even. That could be a lot of fun too. I always played money spent on the game is round about what rate. I mean, I've, I feel I'm closing on 200 hours on the game. Uh, I think I've only spent 10 bucks on getting the uh, Dwight Sexy Spandex uh, Cycling skin. So that's, I think I spent like 10 bucks um, on that. So that's like the only time that I bought like in-game currency. And then the other money that I spend is basically on like DLC. Um, which, you know, differs from like somewhere like you know six bucks to like four bucks sometimes people have gifted me some dlc um so let's say maybe i've spent like 30 ish bucks on the game not like too much um so yeah sim stream in general did you know that sims is actually my most streamed game i used to play the sims all the time when i started streaming the sims was my main game the Sims 4, actually. When I started streaming, I only played that. Unfortunately, those videos... I don't have those vaults anymore. Otherwise, you could totally watch them back. I don't have those vaults anymore. They're not on the vaults channel because I didn't actually upload them back in the day. But it's still, like, to this date, The Sims 4 is still my most streamed game. Where's Red? Hey, how are you doing? Killer matches? Let's get it. Yeah, we're going to do some killer matches. I was playing some... Um, I was playing some Spider-Man, but then the game kept crashing, so I was like, okay, let's switch it up to another game that I also wanted to play tonight, so here we are. Want to do some stream again? Um, well, then I would have to install all the Sims again. Oh, wait, there's someone over there already. Oh, wait, there's someone over there already as well. Hello. I mean, I guess technically we could, but I used to have like a, like a big family that I used to play as. Um, but I guess I would start like a new family then if I would do like a Sims stream again. And I would have to log into Peter's Origin all the time because, um, all the Sims games were on his account. I would love to have them all on my Steam. But like, you know, do I, am I going to buy like basically all the Sims games again just so I have them on Steam? Even though they are on sale quite often, I think, but yeah, I would love to have the entire I would love to have the entire Sims collection on my Steam. Because I feel that if I had that I would play it more often. 
Which I know is weird, maybe. I'm glad I played TR1 as an adult. Wait, Tomb Raider 1, I guess? Because there's moments in levels that are jump scared me now. And would have scared, scarred me as a kid for sure. Wait, in Tomb Raider there's jump scares? I've never played Tomb Raider, so I have no idea. Hello! I don't know why I let the other one go. Gotcha. I don't know if there's a hook nearby though. Crap. I guess we're, we're gonna find out. Oh wait, there's one. Hi. Hi. Also, I think if I... Oh, hello. If I wanted to play The Sims 4 again, I, I think I would have to make some space. I would have to deinstall some other games because I don't think I would have enough space on my PC anymore for that. Oh, she hasn't healed herself yet? Oh, that's a bummer. I'm sorry about that. Oh, there's my hex. Totem, I think. Wait, which hex do I have? No, Ed? I think I do. Wait, no, wait, do I? I don't know if I have no Ed as a build on this character. With me going to that particular totem, probably pointing it out to them, so I'm sure they're gonna cleanse it. How dare you? I'm not installing SimCity 4 now. <laughs> Has Mr. Drillicious the influencer struck again? I think you do need to, like, if you have it on Steam, I do feel that you have to um, check out maybe some message boards because I feel there was something with the Steam version of the game that it didn't run properly on modern PCs. But I think if you Google, you can probably find, like, a fix for that. I seem to remember something like that. I think either SimCity 4 or SimCity 3000 was, like, the best SimCity game. That was ever made. Simply three thousand was honestly like so good. No version runs good. Wait, no like vanilla version of the game runs good on like on modern PCs. have to install some certain quality of life mods. Ah, okay. I did know that, you know, there were some uh, some some topics on Steam forums about like um like how you had to patch things or like had to change some settings, but Hello. I saw you. I see you there. What's her name? Ada. And they created one of the worst cities ever. Yeah. Still mad about that, how they killed SimCity with SimCity 5, basically. Still don't understand how that happened. Wait, what was she doing? Did she not see me there? I think she didn't. But you're gonna basically go to the hook? I mean, I don't mind. Thank you for getting closer to the hook, but kind of weird. There's a level, for example, that ends in a Roman temple. In front of the temple are statues of centaurs. As I walk near the entrance, those statues exploded, only to have screaming demons run after me. Or with zero telegraphing beforehand that those creatures exist. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, even though it was, you know, back in the day, it was just a bunch of pixels, I guess, that were, like, jumping at you from the screen, I'd still totally get that it was sort of jump scary. Ah! 
drop my controller. <laughs> you know what? I totally get that. I totally get that. Aw, poor thing. Okay, so she's gonna be dead. Bye! There's a 4 gigabytes mod. You need to start the game with the command to get 1080p. Yeah, that, that I did know, that you had to like add a... Like a... Um, like a command to like the Steam uh, version of the game to get it in like 1080p. Crap. Should have known. Should have known that. Oh, she didn't drop that pellet. Okay. Ooh, nice. Me lunging forward. I'm not sure if it, this is going to be her second hook or her death hook. Second hook. Okay. I feel I haven't really seen much of the other players, to be honest. I have no idea where they are. Almost on Telegram. Oh, nice! I'm not gonna ins I'm not gonna play SimCity 4 anytime soon. But thank you, uh, you know, thank you for sending them, so I can always look back on that message if I in do plan on uh, on installing it. She's somewhere close. I can hear her moaning. I can hear her. Where is she? Not here. Oh, wait. Maybe upstairs. Yeah, there she is. I was like, I can hear her moaning. I just didn't know where that was coming from. Okay, come on, Noed. I don't think they destroyed my totem for that, so... I think there was a hook there. Perfect, yep. Oh, she ah oh, come on disconnected really are you gonna are you gonna be that person come on disconnecting like that that's so lame that's so lame enjoy your five minutes penalty I should have let her underground to be honest should have let her underground Ooh, what is this? Bronze... Bronze... Three? Four? Bronze four? That's really what's the point, right? Yeah. You can't kill me when I'm disconnected? Yeah, I guess. I guess not. Only PC player as well. Like, all low poly models and all. After a long tricky level. level. No, I totally get it. That It, like, surprised you. I mean, I, I still, I feel that I still get points, even though someone disconnects, but like, you know, why? Why would you do that? Kinda lame, kinda lame. Do they have a sale on the uh, points? I don't think so, right? No. Oh man, I kinda totally want to buy them. I kinda want to, I, I really want to get that skin. 
especially since I'm playing, you know, not super often I'm playing killer games, but like I'm playing them slightly more often now. I'm kind of like, I, I really want to get them, but also, you know, do I want to spend like 20 bucks on just a skin? <laughs> That's always the debate. I understand disconnecting when the killer is an ass or playing really toxic, but right now the guy no reason. Right? Yeah, I mean, I don't feel that I was playing in like a very toxic way. Like, I don't feel that I was like tunneling or camping or anything like that. So, yeah, I don't know. Kind of pathetic if you ask me. Like, sure, you know, I mean, you know, she was on her death hook. Um... But I don't feel I was tunneling. Like, if I was tunneling, then I, I kind of get it. But I was, you know, she was just... Like, I people have been calling me out for tunneling before. But, like, if someone... If, like, one of the survivors is, like, in front of me, I'm not going to be like, Oh, wait, I have went after them before. Okay, let's just go after someone else then. Let's find someone else to go after because I don't see anyone else, you know? Like, if there's... Like, you know, someone... If I can choose, then sometimes I might as well go and go after someone else. But... What's tunneling? So tunneling is when a killer is only focusing on like one survivor. Um, so they only go after you. They don't go after anyone else. So they have like tunnel vision on one survivor, uh, which is really annoying because, you know, there's like more people playing the game, obviously. But if, you know, they only go after you and try to kill you, then, you know, your game is going to be over and everyone else still gets to play. So it's kind of like an annoying thing when you do that. Um... But, you know, sometimes it can feel like you are tunneling, but, like, if you, if I don't find any other survivors, then I'm not gonna, you know, be able to do anything about that. Maybe the person in... Yeah, no, that's also very true. Like, they could have, you know, that could have been an issue. However, the timing of things, I feel, is slightly convenient that it was just before I went to hook them. But, yeah, no, totally. Maybe that game crashed. That's very true. It could It could be... It could be the case. But like I said, I just think the timing is very convenient. Wait, what is she doing? Wait, is she does she have bad ping? No. What was she doing? Also, that way the other survivors has a way harder time since they are missing a person. Though if it's mid mid slash end game, a tunneling might be valid. It all depends on the progress of the current game. Yeah, right? Yeah. Like, I kind of feel that if, you know, I can't find any other players. But I do find you. I'm kind of like, yeah, oh, they didn't unhook her yet. Like, if, if I can't find any other players... Then yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna, you know, let you go just because you feel like I might be tunneling. Because in the end, you know, everyone is playing to win, obviously. At least I would say that they are. Oh, bad luck. That was bad luck. Oh, hello. Or someone else. I still hate this map. Even though they changed it, I still hate it. And boom! Shouldn't have turned around. Shouldn't have turned around. Is that a hook over there? That is a hook over there. I kind of like this new outdoor area that they've made in this map. As much as I still hate it, I think that little outdoor area that you can go around on actually made it kind of better. Ah, uh, did she disable the hook? She did disable the hook. Too bad for her, it's only gonna last a little bit. Wait, wait, why didn't I join her off the hook, though? I thought that was also a thing. 
Does, does she have no middle? She does not. Um, okay. I thought I could yoink her off the hook, but clearly I could not. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> Is that also some... Wait. Is that also what happened some time ago on Friday? Wait, the tunneling you mean? Or... Where does this, where does the guy go to? I'm sure they went back. Wait, was she on her second hook? I don't remember her hooking her before, but I guess I did. Hello! Haha, <laughs> you tried to do something and I kind of saw through it. Someone accused you of tunneling and toxic behavior on stream. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, see, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to join him off the uh, off the hook. There we go. Okay, she's going to be dead, which is kind of... Oh, no, they, she's not. Oh, she's lucky, I guess. She was so close to being dead. Okay, well, now you're going to be dead then, I guess. I don't know how she got off the hook, though. Ooh, no decisive. I feel not a lot of people run decisive, to be honest. I, I, I almost run it in all my survivors. Didn't want to hook her on that, that hook, but I didn't really have another choice, I feel. Hello. Going survive is only when you, you do not lunge, aka uh, charge your attack. Oh, there she is. Hello. To gain rage. Ah, okay. Didn't know that, didn't know that. So today we learned. Crap, why did I do that? That was dumb. Oh, wait, the, uh, the guy, the person that died also again disconnected. Why don't you just wait like five seconds? Like wait five seconds until the death animation is over and then just leave the match. Why would you disconnect when the match? I don't get that. Why would you disconnect before you, like when you die? Why disconnect? It doesn't make any sense. You're not using the frenzy at all. Yeah, I, I need to learn to use that properly. Um, that's true. I need to learn to use that properly. I'm not playing this killer very well, I think. I'm not doing a great job at playing this killer. I'm never sure when I should use it, though. It went upstairs. They did went upstairs. Wait, where'd they go? It's pretty fast at recharging, I think. I think, yeah, I think it might be. I think it might be. Maybe I should use it more often. I feel this might not be a great map for it, though, because it's like all the small corner, all the small hallways and such. I really hate how that one person disconnected after I, you know... Basically killed them. Like, so lame. Like, you know, don't do that. Like, I get it if you don't want to, you know, watch... You don't want to wait until everyone else is done, but, like... Disconnecting when you're going to be on death hook anyway? I don't see the point in that. Where are they? Oh, there's someone. Enjoy your time. Yeah, it's unfortunately it's only five minutes, unless they've done it before. I, I don't know like what the exact thing is, but like it's only five minutes unless you've done it like very recently again. <laughs> Poor thing. Poor thing. Any hooks nearby? Oh, there's a basement. That's even better.
I wonder if I get more points if they are if I hook someone in the basement. I actually don't know that. Does anyone know that? Like the turret, do you know that? Do do I get as a killer more points for hooking someone in the basement? Or is that not a thing? Oh wait, this is the same. Oh, wait, this is the same exit. I'm always lost on this map. Still. Like, I still have no idea where I am on this map. Oh, wait, there's a boon. Wait, where's the boon? I can hear it. I can hear it. I want it gone. Could be above me, I think. They got her. Okay. There's no way I can find my way back to the basement now, though. Oh, maybe I can. There they are. Ah, oh, poor thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not sure if this is going to be her death hook. Might be. Might be. No, oh, not yet. She still got a chance. Even though I only made one kill, or, you know, I mean, so far, I don't necessarily think this is a very bad match. Where is that boon, though? I want to get rid of that. I'm, I'm so lost. I didn't want to go back, but I'm so lost. I think that boon is above me. There's no staircase here, I think. She got her off. Nice. Well, I mean, not nice, but you know. Don't think it gives more point, but basement hooks might count as uh, scourge hooks. So those hooks don't despawn when someone dies on them. Yeah, I know that. I know that. Okay, wait, I wanted to get rid of this. Ah, there it is. Bye, Boon. <laughs> Wait, was I body blocking him for a second? I, it looked like I was. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, so I don't necessarily see what the point is in that. I think I need to hit him like five times before he actually... It actually has like any effect. Got him! Oh, he's dead? Oh, I didn't know he was going to be dead. Didn't realize that. Hey, Giz, how are you doing? Hello! Kind of sucks that this hook's, hook despawns now because it's kind of a nice hook, so it's a bit of a bummer. Yeah, I don't necessarily see the point in the frenzy. I looked up like what it did last week, but I don't necessarily see the point in it. Hi! Giz, I love your new hood. I absolutely love your new hood. I, I know I said it already, but I just wanted to say it again because it looks so cool. I'm really, I'm really, uh, I'm really in love with it. Where'd she go? I think she went outside. Oh yeah, there she is. Oh wait, she, she needs to mend now as well, I think. So I think that might be an upside of, um, of using the frenzy. Oh, she didn't use it? She didn't use it? Wow, okay. Oh, mm, clever girl, clever girl, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, that was clever.
Oh, they got all of them. Nice. Let's see if I still have Noed. Noed power. Not sure if I do. Do you do? I think it turned out great, better than I expected and very comfy. Yeah, it looks awesome. It honestly, like the, the, the combination of the pink and the green works so well. Come on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you shouldn't have done that. Not sure if this is going to be her death hook, to be honest. Yep. Right, so I'm sure the last person has the other door, because I don't think they went there. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to find them anymore. So let's just try. Let's try at least to go to the other door, but I'm sure they're not going to be. I'm sure they already are getting out. If I can make it to the other door, that is, because, you know, making my way over there is not easy when I have no idea where I need to go. That's what I hate so much about this map. It's such a it's such a cluster of, cluster F of, of like hallways and, and like it's such a maze. Wait, I'm back at the beginning now, see? Oh wait, there's a hatch. I can at least close it. I get some points for that. I'm back here again. How the hell do I get to the other door? Why is she opening that one now? Oh, there she is. Wait, she's not even opening the door yet? Ah, oh, crap, it still stunned me. I didn't think it would. I thought she would be opening the door by now, but I guess not. Playing DVD without me? Oh my god, Cheetah. I'm playing some killer games. If you want to play, Rex, I mean... No, no, no! Oh, she had a key. Good for her. She had a key. Heck, I'm kidding. Well, if you want to play, I mean, I'm totally okay with that, but I was just playing some killer games. But if you don't have to, you absolutely don't have to. But like, if you want to, that's fine. If, you, if you're like, nah, I'm good, then that's also totally fine. Oh, look at that. All, all red thingies. A fuster cluck? Yeah, it was kind of a fuster cluck. Gray subtle, but so soft and floppy, especially for the ears. Now, and not so sweaty. Not so sweaty chin strap. Wait, why not? Is the chin strap a different color as well? I didn't see that. I don't think I saw that. They're not gonna say something. Why do people never say something back to me? People never say something back to me when I, when I say GG. I'm trying to be a nice killer and they're always just like, you know, giving me the silent treatment. I hate it. Did you have fun? I kind of did have fun. Yeah, let's give it four stars. I, I kind of did have fun. Only if you want to. I'm not going to make you, lol. I don't know. I kind of enjoy playing killer as well, but I also don't mind playing survivor with you. So I'm kind of like not sure what I should do, what I want to do. Like, I, I, I do definitely enjoy playing some killer. But like, I'm also not going to be like, I don't want to play with you either. So I, I, don't, I don't know what I should do. It is a survivor with your weapon 50 times. Oh man, if I can do this one, then I can finally complete this compendium. Or this tome, whatever it's called. Because this has been open for so long. I'm going to play some DVD, and if you feel like it, I'll be here. Pat, pat, pat. Maybe I'm going to do one more killer game, and then I might, I might give you a, a little ping on Discord. How about that? How about that? The chin strap is great too, and because of that, it's thin and soft material. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the colored neoprene is uh, is slightly different. Yeah, yeah, I know. Nice. Um, I think that's a good idea. I'm gonna play one more killer game, and then after that, I might I might hit you up with like a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a message, unless I'm having way too much fun, unless I'm having like way too much fun. I like that idea. Um. Yeah. I have an evil Myers build, by the way, but don't know if you got all the perks. Oh, which ones? 
let's see. I mean, I might be able to. Let's switch to it for a second. Let's see if I have if the ones that you um you were talking about. I don't. I, I only have two pages of of, of perks, so I might not have or have all of them. What is my build now? I got Tinkerer, I got Ruin, I got Jolt, and I have Noed. Which I'm sure is not a great build, but you know, it's not terrible either, I guess. I think. I hope. I don't know. What is bloody kitchen knife? I'm hoping you're typing typing the perks now because I was I was waiting on that <laughs> but no pressure where am I level 10 oh wait I did prestige him once let's see fire up bamboozle play with your food and the new Reska's vault okay so I definitely don't have the Reska's one let's see bamboozle do I have that I do not. Fire up. Do I have that? I do not. Play with your food. I do have that one. I do have that one. <laughs> and then, yeah, so I don't have any of those perks, clearly. That's a bummer. Hey, chat, I'm missing a lot of, I'm missing a lot of killers. Look, I, I don't have all of these. Like, I, I don't have a lot of these killers, so then I can't get their perks as well. It makes you vault windows 90% quicker. It's insane. Combine that with unlimited tier 3 evil and it's GG easy. Wait, which is the unlimited tier 3? Oh, is that like a... That's like a... Um, like something you take with you, like an offering or like an add-on? Yeah, that would... that That is very evil, but very cool as well. Wait, I'm going to take a screenshot of that. I can remember that build once I do. I mean, I'm sure I need to buy more killers, I think, maybe, to get that. Um, yeah, let's go back to, uh, where are you, Legion? Wait, I also have the Artist. The Artist. The Unrio. I used to play Nemesis quite a bit as well. I used to play this one too, the Executioner, but I don't know why I stopped. Maybe because I thought it was kind of difficult as well. Apparently Legion is easy. I don't know why why they're considered easy, but apparently they are. Panic to bed. No worries, Miles. No worries. Thanks so much for stopping by. Lovely to see you as always. I hope you know that. Thanks for being here. Have a good night, sleepies. See you again some other time. All right, also, I'm going to take a quick break again, chat. Um, and then we're going to do uh, at least one more killer game. And then maybe we're going to play some Survivor with um, with Rexy. If, if, if y'all are okay with that. Um, so don't go anywhere, chat. I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to mute the game. Give you guys some music to listen to. Um, and then once I come back, we're going to do at least one more killer game. And then we'll see how we feel after that. Uh, if we're going to switch to Survivor or if we won't. Vili, if you are here, if you want to play some Survivor, then that might be more incentive for me to actually switch because then we'll have more people to play with. Um, not tr not forcing you or anything, so so don't be like, don't take it as me being like, oh, I have to play. But if you want to, then, you know, there's three of us, which is better than two of us. Um, so yeah, anyway, chat, I'm, I'm going to be right back. Enjoy some Plinko while I'm gone. Um, and then I'll see you in a couple of minutes when I return. Be right back. Also, there will be an ad. So if you're not a subscriber, there will be an ad of two minutes. Just so you, so you know. Um, be right back.
Hello. Hello, hello. Um, well, that's one way to come back from a, uh, from a bathroom break. Heck. And here I was, here I was, thinking that things would have been fixed. Um, yeah, I got another, I got another blue screen, but I, I didn't notice it because I was gone, obviously, so I didn't necessarily notice that anything happened until I just walked back into the room and I saw it. So I have no idea how long that, how long ago that was. Um, so yeah, I, I googled the, um, I googled the, uh, the specific one that I got because it was an APC index mismatch, apparently, which I don't know what that is, but apparently people can do say that it could be the memory. One second. Hey Google, stop. Okay, my my uh, my 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 device, my smart home device. I'm not gonna name it because then it's gonna think I I talked to it again. Thought that I was talking to it again. Let's mem test a new memory tomorrow. Yes, let's let's do that. <laughs> um. Heck, I really don't hope that it's something with the with like my motherboard because that's gonna be more tricky to fix. I guess I don't think that's gonna be as easy as, you know, just buying a new one, plugging everything. I mean, well, I guess technically it might be as easy as buying a new one and plugging everything in, but yeah. Um, let's indeed do that tomorrow. Uh, but I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. Um. I'm just I'm just starting everything up again because um, things were sort of broken again. Um, all right. Heck, I'm so annoyed. I, I really thought that I fixed it. I was I was like certain that I would have I would have fixed it, but I guess I guess no. I guess no. All right, um, let me boot up Steam again.
Steam, Steam, Steam. I also always hate it when it happens like stream wise because you know you obviously you know you lose a couple of viewers you lose all the hosts that you had stuff like that so like stream wise is also very annoying I, I still wish that Twitch would um increase the disconnection protection to like I don't know like five minutes maybe even more than that like w I don't see what the issue is for them to do that because it's currently it's I think it currently is like 90 seconds so that is what like three not even three minutes Wait, 90 seconds? Is it is it th that long? Wait, Twitch disconnect protection. Yeah, it's oh wait, it's only 90 seconds. I thought I, I always thought it was three minutes. So it's only like a minute and a half. That's never enough to like you know reboot your PC if you have to. Um Yeah. 90 seconds is way too short. I always thought it was longer. Um, TDT. All right. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the host. I haven't started up streaming about yet, so that's actually a good call to do that. Um, but thank you for hosting. I appreciate that. Um, let me get streamer bot going as well. I always hate those. Uh, wait, let me actually double check the um, the tool that I had for. I think it's just for a small internet outage, not for when computers crash, etc. Yeah, I guess that might be true. But I'm also like, you know, why not? Yeah, same. I was just looking at the um, the crash law, the blue screen checker thingy, blue screen viewer, and it's the same process that died again that has kept doing that all the time. Um, that was the same one that crashed again now. It is all the time the, the bug check string is, it, that, that one is def different the entire time though. This time it was APC index mismatch. Which I kind of, kind of think is annoying that the same process or like the same thing keeps crashing. But then the, like the, the sort of like the, the error code is different all the time. It's kind of annoying. And the stupid thing is also that like last week I did like last week I did three streams like long ones with like, you know, DVD and Spider-Man, like other games in it as well. Um, and like I didn't have any crashes, like nothing at all. It all went just like, you know, just fine. Um, And then now, all of a sudden, out of the blue, out of the blue screen, it happens again. <laughs> okay, that's not funny because it's not funny. Okay, anyway, enough about that. Enough about that. Sorry if I'm getting annoyed or if I sound annoyed because it's kind of that I am a little bit annoyed. Tiri 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 tiri. Oh, I like this song. This is a good song. Let's put that on my songs that I like. Sally, thank you for the host. I appreciate that. Also, I, I need to remember that I need to make a new memory test uh, USB drive. Because for some reason, memory test also did something weird. I, I talked about that. I, I, at least I think I talked about that. I don't know. But like, for some reason, I noticed that um, I couldn't do the mem test twice in a row. I don't know why. But for some reason, I only could it like do it like once. And then the next time I didn't boot again. So I had to go back into Windows, make a new bootable USB drive. Um... Dead by daylight. <laughs> that voice is so dumb. <laughs> I think it's so stupid. <laughs> it's like, it's like, Dead by daylight. Well, it's not even like that. It's even like, sort of like, like more grungy, I guess. But it's so stupid. 
Friend, yeah, right? Yeah. I don't know why that is. But it did mean that it took me slightly longer to, um... Um... It took me a little bit longer to actually do, like, all the testing, because I did a test and I had to go into Windows, make the new... Make a new USB bootable drive, go back into... You know, like, reboot again, do the test, go back into Windows, so... Yeah, it took a little bit longer. I still want to do one more killer game, though, before we might switch it up to Survivor, so... Um, sh well, should I? I kind of want to, yeah, I kind of want to, because I was kind of enjoying playing as Legion, so I want to do that. Mm -mm -mm. It would be so funny if I would be teamed up against Rex. Which I think the chances of that are like super slim. Even if you like queue up at the same time, I don't think it's going to happen. Would be so funny though. Me is in a game. Hi, caps lock. <laughs> also, seven U is in a game. How about like one true six U? Oh, what is that? The last mask? Oh, the red forest. Wait, is the red forest the map that I don't like? No, that's the um. What is it? We don't talk about him. Oh yeah, that makes sense. That's fair. Oh, which is that map? I think it's like the temple or something. I don't think it's the map that I don't like. I hope. We'll see. The one thing that I just never understand though is like, how can things like, you know, like your memory or your motherboard or something like that, how can that suddenly break, you know, like, I get it if you, for instance, like, I, with memory, I get it if you, like, take it out, put it back in, take it out, put it back in. Like, if you keep switching it up and, like, you know, taking it out because then maybe the connectors get damaged or something like that. I totally get that. But, like, if it's just in there, I don't necessarily understand how it suddenly breaks all of a sudden or, like, does something weird. Then again, I guess, you know, it's also being... Oh, it's a different map. Okay, good. Um, You know, I, I guess it also is being used by, like, you know, processes and stuff, so I guess that also kind of makes sense, maybe. Basically electricity, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess that makes sense. Okay, so I need to do that 50 more times. Wow, Killer Shack! Pallet dropping that instantly. Okay, that's a bold move. I think. Oh, dropping another pallet, like pre-dropping it. Okay, another sort of bold move. I guess that's one way to play. Things aren't designed to last anymore. They're only designed to work X amount of time. Yeah, the, the one thing that I'm really worried about now, even though I know there's not necessarily any cause for that yet, I think. But, like, the one thing that I'm really worried about now is that it might be my motherboard. Because, like I said, that's going to be both more expensive to fix. But also, um, you know, not as easy. I mean, well, not necessarily, like, not easy, but, like, it's not, like, you know, fixing memory or changing my memory was easy. I could just, you know, take out the old ones, stick in the new one. But okay, let's not get ahead of myself. Because I noticed that I am. I'm like, you know, going into sort of doomsday thinking, I guess. Let's try not to do that. How do I get down here? There's a hole in the floor somewhere. I don't know where it is, though. I keep falling in it when I play Survivor. Where is that hole in the ground? Oh, here it is. Oh! 
Why does everyone pre-drop? Where does memory modules new are used? What are were those new are used? I believe they were new. At least he said it. He said they were new. Um, unopened. Like some of them, most of them were even unopened in the box. So I assume they were all new. Wait, did he did he unhook himself? Oh, good for you. Maybe I should have respected that. You have two. Okay, you have two more. Wait, two more memory modules. You mean? Well, three actually. Then, um, because you know there were like three of the other ones of my original ones that were totally fine. Go to this one first because it's closer. Hello! Gotcha! Oh, they got him off the hook. Nice. Okay, let's go back though. Let's see if I can still catch them in the act. Oh crap, they went upstairs the other way, in the, uh, this way. Come here, you. Come here. Come here to me. Yeah, there's no pallets anymore because you already dropped those. At least I think that was you. I don't know for sure, but I think it was you. You dropped them already, so there's no pellets anymore. Oh, thank you for dropping down here. Perfect. So I can take you to the basement. So kind of you. Oh, she went into a uh, second phase. First hook for her. Uh, this gen is already almost back to uh, to the beginning. Oh, it's Bill, the one that I hooked before. I still don't fully understand like the the point of this uh, of the frenzy. I still don't fully understand what it does and why I should use it or not because. It does hurt them, but it doesn't, like, hurt them, like, really bad. Kind of want to take her to the basement. Not sure if that's a good idea, though. I don't think I can make it. Oh, she's dead. Bye. Oh, crap, I should have known. I should have known she was going to do that. Oh. Was there another hook down here or should I take her to the basement as well? Not sure. I don't think there was another hook down here, so I guess I should take her to the... Oh wait, there's actually one here. Because I don't think I would be able to make it all the way to the basement. That I, then again, it was right there, so I could have maybe made it, but probably not. I don't think I would have made it in time.
Yeah, a lot of these kills, I can hear her yelling from inside here, which is kind of funny. A lot of these kills, or a lot of these hooks were all like inside. Okay, someone is definitely not saving her. Oh, I mean, maybe someone else is, but like they're doing a gen right there. I doubt they were going to try and save her. It's Bill again. Doing a slow vault. Oh, I thought he was going to be in there. Heck. Right, they got her out just in time. Good for them. Oh, they healed her up as well. Might still be downstairs then. If I can find that hole that I can drop into, which... Is right there. Yeah, I think they left already. Yeah, they probably did. Probably left... Again, the one in Killer Shack. Oh! Got him. Oh, wait, no, it's not. It, it, well, is it Killer Shack? I don't know. It might be. I'm not sure if this is going to be his death hook or not. It might be his death hook, but I'm not entirely sure. It is, it is. Death hook for him. Okay. Two kills so far. Three gens to go. Not a too bad, I think. Oh. Didn't know there was a pallet there. Should have seen that coming, I guess. You're going to drop this one? She is not, actually. You're going to win this? Come on, drop it. Hey, that's, I keep doing this when I when I slash them. Come on, stop for a second so I can hit you. Ah, oh, she wanted to drop the pallet, but she was too late. Because of you, Rex, I'm always afraid that people are gonna have that perk where they, you know, they can drop pellets when you walk past them. It never happened though, but because of you, I always fear that that's gonna happen when they fall near a pellet. Oh, she's dead as well. Only one more. Okay, so either I think she's either gonna get hatch, or I'm lucky. Good. I think she's gonna get the hatch. I don't know why, but I have a feeling she's gonna get the hatch. If she does, at least we got three kills, which I'm. Oh, ooh, we got scratch marks here. Which I'm still kind of happy with. Three kills. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I guess she's not going to get the hatch. Clearly. The doors are pretty far apart, though. So, oh, hello, scratch marks. Hello. Should I let her go, chat? Should I let her go? Should I let her go? I don't know. Should I? What should I do? Nah, I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't want to let you go. 
<laughs> kill <laughs> and attack. Throw her around. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I could have let her go. I didn't want to. Maybe I should have. I don't know. Okay, that was a fun match. That was a fun match. Oh, two more pips, which brings us to bronze three. Nice. One second. Oh, I just now saw your message, Martin, that, um, wait, what happened? Like, I, I just now saw your message. I, I had my phone on my charger, so I didn't see it yet. But, like, what happened? Did I just freeze or, like, did something weird happen before I, like, before the, uh, the, the disconnection screen showed up? All right, let's see if uh, no, they just oh, okay. So it just showed up the screen. Okay, let's see if Rex is um is in a match or not. Oh, he's actually not. I was wondering if it's your PC, the internet, or just OBS. Yeah, no, it was my PC. It was definitely my PC, unfortunately. Look at that, it's a wild pub Rex has joined the game. Vili is still in the match, I waited for you. Ah, oh, that is so sweet. So Vili is still in the match, so I think uh, he's not going to join just yet. Um, And I also can't invite him like that, so... Unlike a pup named Vili. <laughs> Aw. Should we wait for Vili though? I'm not sure, like, it, it, there's no way in telling how long his match is going to last still. Red Speeds, how are you doing? Welcome in. Hello, hello. Sure, we, we, you want to wait? Okay, let's wait for Vili then, I guess. Let's hope he didn't just, he didn't just go into a match. I can't type today. It's okay. It's okay. Coming? No, take it. Okay, take your time. Or should I say, oh, whoa. I feel that I should switch up my build of Dwight as well. I always have the same build. I always have decisive. Wait, which one did you guys say that I should switch out for decisive? Are you, you guys said something yesterday that I should switch something out for decisive. What was it? Over... Let's see. Prove thyself. Renewal. Resilience. Maybe I don't have, I don't think I have it then. We'll make it. No, I don't think I'll have it. So I think it's from a killer that I don't have then, I guess. I forgot. Oh, there's Vili. Oh, I see Rex is also in my waiting room, so let's not wait him any longer. Um... Let's join my voice yet myself first. Um. Oh wait, Choco Babe also wants to play. Do you have one space? I'm doing show low queue since three hours and it sucks. All right, hang on. Hmm. Wait, are they going to join now, though, or... Let's see. How do I get back... How do I get back to my chat window in Steam? Oh, wait, wait, let's first drag Rex in, because I, I, kept, I keep forgetting. Um... Hello? Hello? 
Hello. There he is. Hello, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still unmuted. Wait, we have an open space. I thought we were full. Told him no. Yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> Sugar Babe asked me and I was like, I think we're full. <laughs> oh, okay. Now it's just you full. and me and, and, well, no one else. Oh, well. I came in like a vexing ball. Wow. Yay. That's me. How do I get back to my chat again? I never... I... There. Oops. Huh? <laughs> oh, did you send a message or... Me? No. Oh, okay. Oh, he's in a match though. <laughs> yeah, I saw. So I'm, I'm not sure if it's going to take oh. like a long time or not. Uh, yeah, I, well, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think he just started. <laughs> but I might be wrong. Oh, wait, he's typing a message. Okay, let's wait for okay. what the message is. Okay. okay. And now we stop typing. Oh no, and he's typing again. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Can't wait. Unleash the Rexy, hell yeah. That's me. <laughs> oh man, I'm so annoyed by my PC being an ass. Mm. Yeah. So I got I, I got like new it. memory today. Uh -huh. So I hope that would fix everything, and then it yeah. clearly didn't. Ruh -roh. Ruh -roh. I just sent him a message. I see you're in a match. So we'll start ours and then you can join after that question mark. Oh. But how are you? I'm good. <laughs> Uh, had a lovely day. How were you okay. doing? I had a uh, kind of a busy day as well. Oh. But was it a lovely day? Um, yeah, kinda. <laughs> nice. Just gonna ask, your RAM belongs together. Is it in the alternating slot? I mean, I have four of the same sticks. Ah, oh, okay. Um, I'm still on the match, but we'll join you after. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I have four of the same sticks in Detroit, so... Um, they're not like alternating or anything like that. You have 64 gigabytes of RAM? Or 32? 32. 32, okay. 4 times 8. Yeah. Do, do, do. A match? <laughs> oh crap, I can't change my challenge anymore. Nope. No challenge here, officer. <laughs> Wait, no. the killer left? Bye. Bye. <laughs> they saw Sexy Dwight and they were like, nope. Nope. Not today. <laughs> oh, by the way, while you were playing killer, I played one survivor match. My first one for the day. Okay. Um, And it was on RPD. <laughs> okay. Um, Against a twin. Um... And all the survivors just like they were just hiding all the time. So I started to just run around and shine my flashlight at them. <laughs> <laughs> and then the killer uh, started following me, and then you know, <laughs> I just you were pointed dead. out where everyone is. <laughs> oh, you pointed out where everyone is? <laughs> they were just hiding. Did he let you go in the end? Uh, I found Hatch, but I think they wanted me dead. <laughs> okay. I mean, you yeah. were very helpful. I mean, they should have just True. let you go. Yeah. Also, like, uh, I don't know how, but they died with like 5,000 points. <laughs> that means they didn't do nothing. <laughs> yeah. They didn't do anything. <laughs> I just got annoyed by it, so I just shined my flash eyes at them. Yeah, look at them. Here they are. <laughs> See, they're doing nothing, killer. Look. <laughs> yeah, I did the only gen the entire match. <laughs> I hated that for me. And it shouldn't matter just when they're from different manufacturers, the ones that belong together need to be in one and three and two. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's why I always try to go, oh, well, always. Like, uh, it's not as if I have, yes. you know, six different types of RAM already, but like, I always try <laughs> to take like four uh, of the same ones. Yeah. Like, same okay. clock speed and everything, same, same okay. size. Hi. Hello. It's a stretch. How do you know that? Oh, because uh, of the thingy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> and that's a Vili. Hi, Vili. Oh. Hey. 
no, no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> well, whoopsie. That was my shortest chase ever. <laughs> First match doesn't count, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> doesn't count. <laughs> Crap, he's still here. But also, I thought you were always supposed to use spot number one and three or two and four depending on the main board because of the lanes. Yeah, I think that is that is indeed true. Yeah, even if the, the, the ram like matches. I'm not gonna work with this side anymore. No, no. <laughs> there we go. Funnily enough, for some time I had 20 gigabytes of RAM, which is a weird number to have. Is it? Wait, weird how? number? Yeah. How do we have 20? <laughs> four? Eight? Four? No. <laughs> eight, eight, four, I guess. That, that's, not how, that's not how it works. <laughs> that's not how it's supposed to be. No. How dare you? Here. <laughs> <laughs> The ones that I have now, I got them from a Twitter friend for free because he had them lying around. So he was like, you want them? If you want them, they're yours. Oh, wow. So that was really kind of, of him. Yeah, a different brand though, but I mean, I figured that shouldn't necessarily be an issue. Yeah, as long as you only, only use them, it's fine, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Two times eight and two times two before I had four times two. Oh, no. Oh, God, I did. <laughs> this is going horribly. <laughs> <laughs> Same hook. <laughs> but yeah, I only have two 16 gigabyte sticks, so I have the full speed. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Apparently that's important if you have a um, AMD Risen CPU. <laughs> Oh wait, what are you, is that a thing? Because they like high um, high clock speeds on RAM, and if I would put in more RAM sticks, it would be slower. It would be two thousand seven hundred six hundred six hundred instead of the thirty two hundred I have right now. But can't you just put it in like XMP mode? It's still slower, I think, because it uses up more lanes, right? I think that's how it works. Oh yeah, I mean, could be. I mean, I have mine. On XMP and I still get 3200. Oh, okay. Maybe that's your problem. <laughs> because I'm not sure that's how it's supposed to work. <laughs> hmm. I'm not sure though. Unhooking. Running. <laughs> but the XMP is also important, that's true. Does anyone in, in chat know that? Like, if I have my RAM on XMP and have it like 3200 oh. speed because of that, is could that be like an issue? Because I have four sticks instead of two? I mean, I might be wrong. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I literally know nothing of yeah. all of this. I just know that it used to be a problem, but maybe it's no longer a problem. That could be. Yeah. Things change, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, things get better sometimes. Or worse. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't mind turning off the XMP, but I'm not sure, like... It feels like things are going to be, like, super slow, which, of course, is not necessarily, yeah. I guess, how that works. I don't think you're going to even notice it, <laughs> to be honest, unless you copy like extremely large files, I guess. I'm going to go hook. I don't think I'm going to make it. Ah, oh, no, we're good, will you? We're good. Easy unhook. See, easy unhook. Oh, wow, that was very close. <laughs> Easy. <I> don't, <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> Next one. 
the random jumped over the uh, <laughs> through the window and then instantly went back again. Mm. Like, nope. You really, really used a flashbang on me. <laughs> Thank you, Benny. <laughs> Billy's being rude to me. <laughs> Why? He dropped a flashbang in front of me and blinded me. Oh, wow. <laughs> While I was healing him. How dare. How dare. <laughs> I'm Up, sure Sparky, hello. It. How are you doing? Welcome Sparky, on in. Hello. Hello, hi. Hi, Jordi. Hi. <laughs> have I mentioned that I did have some drinks tonight? I, I think I saw a message in your in in the in-game chat just now. Yeah. Shh, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> so define some. Um, I think three. Oh, and that's not so bad. One of them was a um, Red Bull vodka. So <laughs> that makes I mean... it kind of worse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. Is it is it really that bad? No, I'm a punching alcoholic. I'm fine. <laughs> no, I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding. That's not that bad. Oh, that second phase, huh? Can you still walk a straight line? In DVD, yes. <laughs> In real life? Same, yes. Yeah. I never get totally wasted. Can you like touch your nose with a... Oh, jeez. Yes, but I don't think that's an actual test, is it? <laughs> I was going to say, can you touch your nose with a straight arm? Well, I'd have to bend it. <laughs> okay, to see, it. they're not totally drunk if you're like already thinking about that. See, there you go. I think that is like a, a thing that the police might do. Like, can you touch your nose with a straight arm and then if you try it, then you're like, then you're like super drunk. Hmm. Can you boop your nose? Yeah, I can still boop my own nose. Look at that. <laughs> I'm Chase. I am dead. That's bad. <laughs> Oh, there he is, okay. I think this is my first time that I met, met, get, went to gold yet. Gold? Oh, emblem thingy. Oh. Yeah. Did you get gold? Yeah, I'm gold. Oh, you, you got gold iridescent. Four. Ah, okay. Okay, now I know what you mean. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Lovely. I don't even know what rank I am right now. <laughs> Take her, not me. No, no. I hate this. There's nothing here. I know that. Yep, you can sit. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> yes. Wait, where's the killer though? I don't see him. Right there. <laughs> right the, there, there he is. Oh, maybe it's a bug again, but you can't see the color. Yeah, no, I, yeah, no, you're floating in air now. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> it's just a cheat, don't worry about it. <laughs> but now I can see him. Ah, there you go. Maybe when it's dark or like nighttime, I can't see the killer when you're, uh, I think when you're dead. Bug, to be <laughs> I mean, this game has no bugs. No, so. no, no, it's completely, completely yeah. bug free. Yeah, totally. What do you mean, bugs? Who is she? <sighs> He's coming, Billy. That's hard. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> oh. Well, god damn it. Oh, random. Uh oh. Random and chase. Oh. I was looking. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Oh, you remember, um, 
Pub Snap, Mike Pass, who we've done the the pub cast with a long time ago. Of course. Um, I met him last Saturday. <gasps> yeah, I heard about it. <laughs> I've seen it on Twitter. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, how was it? Yeah, it was fun. Oh, he loved you. It was a pretty good, uh, pretty cute picture. I think. Oh, with picture, with right? the four of us, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wasn't there also another picture that he took of you? Why am I stupid? Um, I haven't. I mean, he took several <laughs> pictures, like with oh, his okay. camera, but I haven't seen them yet, so I'm not sure. I don't think he posted them yet. Okay. Then I got confused. Okay. <laughs> Alright, Vinny, get out. You can, you can do, do it. it. Come on, Vinny. <laughs> Isn't Pop Snap the loving list? Yeah, he's really he's really nice. Oh. I mean, I, I knew that, of course, before already, but mm -hmm. now we got to meet him in real life. No. Just as Rex, who is yeah. just as lovely online as he is in real life. Well, lies, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you were acting when, when we met, but... I'm always acting. <laughs> <laughs> life is my stage. <laughs> oh, she's going to be dead, so Villa can just leave. Yeah. Time to leave before Blood Warden. Oh, he's waiting for Blood Warden. Nice. Don't forget to use your flashbang, Willy. Come on, use it. Good boy. <laughs> Hell yeah. And then having the camera facing the wrong way and leaving, you know, the other <laughs> side. <laughs> Walking back. And that's called a French exit. <laughs> <laughs> or something like that, I don't know. <laughs> lovely. By the way, Giz, speaking of lovely pups, you you were definitely on that list as well. Oh well. Oh well. So many good boys. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, bye, killer. <laughs> I always wait if they say something back yeah. and then like not. Okay, then bye. They never do. They never do. And I always say GG when I play killer and then nobody says anything back. Like, I mean, I'm sorry if I killed you, but you can still say something <laughs> nice. Yeah, sometimes they say GG. Sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes they do. Not often, though. Yeah. True. I had twice tonight that someone disconnected just as I was about to like kill them mm -hmm. lovely and I was like you know you're gonna be dead anyway why not just wait those yeah. 30 extra seconds yeah they couldn't they couldn't do it Jordi. because now you have to wait five minutes five minutes yeah <laughs> they probably stopped playing <laughs> yeah <laughs> they got too angry they said no 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 <laughs> By the way, did you switch your RAM today or yesterday? No, today. Oh, okay, and <laughs> and blue screen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, no. I wanted to do it tomorrow because I was like, yeah. I, you know, I wanted to have some time, but then I was yeah. like, no, it's gonna take me literally ten minutes, mm. so I can just do it today. And then the stream would be a good test. Well, I guess it was. It was. <laughs> <laughs> now you know it's not working. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe the solution would also be to just reinstall Windows, but I don't want to do that because then I have to install like all my tools again. And yeah. Ugh. Also, I had the problem after I reinstalled my PC. So. <laughs> oh. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> That, that's not going to help, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> what else did you do today, Jordi? I went for a bike ride on my road bike. <gasps> also saw that, I think, on Twitter. <laughs> was it today that you posted it? I think that did was you, today. Did you see that on Twitter? I don't know. I think. Instagram, Twitter? Ma yeah, I, I think I posted a... Yeah, I, I, did, I did post an Instagram story. That is true. Hey, 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 there you go. Then it was Instagram. 
It's the West Coast Weasel right there. Yeah, he is. And he's on me. And he missed. And just like my Dwight, I geared up in my yes. sexy spandex <laughs> and went out for a bike ride. I didn't have a pizza box though. <laughs> oh. I'm down. <laughs> Maybe I should take off no middle. <laughs> <laughs> you think? Maybe. Maybe. Alright, everyone is really far away. Okay, then. <laughs> Just so you all know. But also, Daddy Vescos is staying really close to me. Okay. Also. Awesome. Like pro proxy camping. Yeah, I can see him. Yeah. Oh, I oh. met up with Blackie and a friend today. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was really nice. We ended up using um, Google like coin flip thingy <laughs> to decide what we we're going to do. Because we couldn't decide if we just oh. should stay inside and then, you know, order some food. <laughs> Bonk. And chill, or if you should go to like a bar restaurant thingy. Yeah, yeah. And Google said we're gonna stay, stay at my place, so we did. Okay. <laughs> um, and we just got some food of a restaurant here. Oh, and. Uh, <laughs> Alright. So, you know how weed is still illegal in Germany? <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, that one friend of mine, he has a disability, so he's allowed to, to smoke weed. Um, like, legally allowed. Um, and <laughs> he did it on the way to the restaurant. Oh and wait, you stayed inside. Looks. Yeah, we only got the food at the restaurant that's really close by, so we walked there. And, oh, yeah. okay. I thought that you had it like delivered to your home. And no, they don't deliver. Sadly. Okay. I wish they did. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So he did smoke weed on the way there, and it got some interesting looks. <laughs> huh. It wasn't subtle at all. No. <laughs> And it wasn't like a joint or anything, it was like a vaporizer, e-cigarette kind of deal. Oh, but how did like they know it had weed in it then? It looked like a giant bong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, okay, that, that probably yeah. gives it away. That was kind of funny to see that. My first experience with that. And I said, funny. <laughs> All right, who's gonna go for, for Jordan? Someone get that pepper pizza? Yes. I wouldn't necessarily oh, mind the pizza, pizza I guess. At least yeah, the box. At least, yeah, at least the box. <laughs> also, I think if you carry a pizza like that, it's gonna be ruined. Hi. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, completely ruined. <laughs> You're gonna have all your toppings on one side of the box. Hmm, <laughs> yeah. just how I like it. <laughs> also, you need to find yourself some X body spray. Oh. Oh. That's wait. Oh, hello. Hey. Oh. That's bad. Now my game crashes. Oh. Why does everything crash today? I don't know. Oh, no. It's gonna work just fine. <laughs> just reopen it. It's gonna be fine. <sighs> don't worry about it. It is. Let's see. The thing that like I have to crash log, it does say kernel 32. And I like my blue screens also are from the kernel thing. Hmm. Kernel Sanders. Come on, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> what is that? Oh, heck, I'm not sure if I want to try again or if I'm just going to leave it at that and just be like, going to go to sleep sad. Aww. Cr cry in my bed. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. You can't let Colonel Sanders do that to you. That's no, no, no. I hate technology. Come on, he's dead for like 40 years. We're fine. <laughs> <laughs> he can't hurt us. Why can't Windows just be in the cloud and then have everything in the cloud and then as soon as you <laughs> reinstall it, everything just downloads back? You mean like Apple? <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, does Apple do that? If you have the, the cloud storage option, yes. If you don't, no. <laughs> yeah, but then all your programs, you still need to install them again, I guess. Yeah, it does make sense to, um, you know, 
save programs that you just can't download again. They're just yeah. going to be downloaded automatically from the App Store. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> they just take up a lot of space. Yeah, Windows just be like Apple. <laughs> I think Windows is free now, right? What I mean, I can up change? upgrade for free, so... There you go. See? I still so haven't done that, though. It keeps bugging me for Same. to do that. You know why? I don't trust Microsoft. <laughs> yeah, I, I just don't, like, you know... I mean, if I wouldn't stream, I would have updated, like, instantly, but... Oh, I wouldn't. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I wouldn't. Do you always update to a new macOS instantly? Always, first day. Okay. <laughs> and I always regret it. No. <laughs> no, it's fine. There are also, like, a lot of hot fixes. Usually there's an update after a day. You yeah. Know. But I don't think it's like, like it's nothing major usually, so it always just kind of works. <laughs> oh, now but I'm yeah, locked back... out of matchmaking again, of course. Oh, we'll wait. No worry about it. Are you in a <laughs> lobby? Wait, did the game, did you guys like die uh, or? I, no, 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 it's loading. Wait. Game is loading. Let's see if I can what join you. I can join your party. I can join Billy's party. Okay, I'll do that. Let's see, what is the game loading? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, what are we doing here? Oh wait, Vili is alone in the lobby? No, I mean... Wait, is it, is it load? Oh, am I in a game? Wait. <laughs> How? <laughs> I'm in a game. How? <laughs> How am I in a game? <laughs> what happened? I don't know. Let's see, how long is that ban? Oh, two minutes, so I can't disconnect. I'm gonna up the timer to five minutes if I do that. Okay. I'm gonna die real quick. Let's see. Oh, Rex is struggling. I'm on head and field. Don't worry about it. Billy <laughs> with the with the with the emote. But how did I how did I get in a match this quickly? What happened? What? <laughs> I'm just gonna try to find the killer real quick. BRB. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. You want an easy kill? Come get me. <laughs> My teammates are gonna hate me. Oh, someone else is in chase? No. <laughs> no, get me. Where is that? <laughs> I hate it here. Amy, rock there coming we in. Go. Oh, it's a ghost face. There we go. Hook me, please. Oh, he's running away. Sir, I have no meter. You're not, wanna, you're not gonna leave me on the floor, sir. He's leaving. <laughs> well. <laughs> Let's see what's gonna happen first. Your matchmaking ban or me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, my, my ban is only 39 seconds, so. Oh, well, well then. If you can die in 30 seconds, that's gonna be. Uh... I've, I've just gotten pick up. Okay. okay. I'm not gonna wiggle. Let's mute the game, it's really loud. Do, do, do. What about a new flag today? Oh, nice! The gender queer flag. Hey. Lovely. I think I have 18 flags in total in that redeem thingy, but it kind of sometimes lands on the same ones over and over, even though it's completely random. How oh dare. Like like last week it landed on the bear flag, and I don't think I've seen that. I've seen that maybe once before. Hey, I just 4%ed off the awesome. hooks. Oh, really? See, now it works. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> now it works when we don't want it to. Thank you for the three month resub. Not me forgetting I have a prime sub. That's your thanks so much for your prime sub for three months. Hey. That is so sweet. Thank you, thank you. Not me forgetting I have a prime sub. That's okay. Although you should never forget about our Lord and Savior Twitch Prime. <laughs> our Lord and Savior Jeffrey Bezos. <laughs> yeah. Did I you mean hear if you think about his yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, no, I was gonna say if you're not using it on me, you just use it on someone, you know, take Jeffrey Bezos' free money. Right? He's giving you like five bucks for free. Every month. True. But did you hear the thing about his new yacht thing? I did, yeah, because it's the, it, there's like a little Dutch <laughs> thing uh, thing with it. Oh, I'm so good. I'm so glad. That, like, do you know the story about it? Kinda, but you can go ahead. <laughs> okay, so Jeffrey, for those of you in chat who don't know, Jeff Bezos bought like a new super yacht that is like you know a gazillion dollars. But he had it made in the Netherlands, 
and it was in the port of Rotterdam, I believe, or like in the city of Rotterdam. And it, the 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 shipping yard or like the, wherever they make boats, um, mm -hmm. they had to. The yard was so big that they couldn't transport it to sea um, because there was like a bridge in the way, like a very old bridge yeah. that was like a monument, I guess, something like that. So it was like a monumental old bridge. So yeah. Jeff Bezos thought, well, we'll just dismantle the bridge, get the yard through it. And then we'll put the bridge back together. And then the entire city was like, no, we're not going to do that because it's a very old bridge. So like all the citizens of the city were like, no, let's not do that. And then luckily <laughs> the mayor or whoever, I don't know who decides about that, but like someone high up decided like, yeah, we're not going to do that. So now yeah. Jeff Bezos's yacht is sitting in a dock <laughs> in Rotterdam and it can't go anywhere because it's too big to actually go to open sea. <laughs> Which is lovely. <laughs> yeah. Which is what we always wanted. Yeah, so, you know, karma is a bitch. <laughs> was it already built? Yeah, it was. Yeah, no, I think yeah. it's like completely finished and everything. Yes. I think they're called dry docks. Yeah, yeah where the boat is being built, maybe? I don't know. Isn't it also like a shipyard? Maybe? I'm just chasing the killer at this point. Maybe fly it over the bridge. I mean, doesn't Amazon have like a ton of drones? Can't they just oh. use all those drones? Lift the ship? I think it's, it might be a bit too heavy. <laughs> just a tiny bit. Maybe contact DJI and see if they can make like a specialty drone just to lift it. This killer's not hitting me. I don't know why. You can use oh, it as a boat hotel me. there. No, take your time. It's fine. Use it as a boat hotel there instead. That's what they did with uh, in Dubai, actually. There was like a, oh. a, a British um, cruise ship called like the Queen Elizabeth II or like Queen Mary II, something like that. Oh. Uh, and there was like a TV show about that where they had like the entire ship uh, transported to Dubai. And now it's there as like a hotel that is um, like, you know, it was a cruise ship and now it's a hotel. That's kind of weird. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of yeah funny, I guess, because, you know, there's like lots of rooms on a cruise ship anyway. Yeah. It just doesn't, you know, boat anymore. What? How do you call that? Sa <laughs> how do you call that? Sail? No, no because it's boating. not a sail, but yeah, no more boating. <laughs> <laughs> no boating here, officer. Just put the yacht back into Lego box and rebuild it when you have space. Yeah. There you go. Nice boat to house yeah, refugees. That would be like that would be a good idea though. Like having all like a lot of refugees on that boat instead of like in camps. Somewhere, use Ospreys instead of little drones, but that's not funny enough. <laughs> like, aren't, aren't Ospreys those like military helicopters with like two propellers on either side? Oh, why is he not hooking me? <laughs> I'm trying so hard to die over here. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm, I'm not doing any gens, I'm just running after the killer. <laughs> All the other survivors must hate you. Like, what is this guy doing? I'm just unhooking. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's kind of funny because Jeffrey Bezos is probably like, I'm, you know who I am? You know, like going all Karen. Like, I'm, I'm Jeff, Jeff Bezos. Bezos. You know Bezos. how much money I have? And then I'm the city Jeremiah of Rotterdam. Bezos. Yeah, the city of Rotterdam was like, nope, not going to happen. Yeah. How about no? I should have done that in my Karen voice. I think. I think. <laughs> this is a good Karen voice. Excuse me. Do you know who I am? Do you have <laughs> any idea who I am? Obviously, he doesn't. I'm Jeffrey Bezos. God, this ghost face. <laughs> I'm getting angry. <laughs> <laughs> just kill me. I'm just trying to catch up to him. Not trying to make you feel bad, I'm literally just kidding, but by this time it would have been quicker if you just disconnected. Yep. <laughs> I know. But if I do it now, it's gonna yeah. be worse. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I thought about that long and hard. Okay, he dumped me right next to a hook. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. He's yes. doing it. Yes, alright, no one unhook me. I just have to fail two skill checks and I'll be dead. Be <laughs> going to get food and then back to listening. No worries, Amy. Get some food. Also, hi, Amy. <laughs> Not sure if I'm still alive when you get back, but we'll see. <laughs> You'll be. All right, first skill check went brr. There's someone running to me. Please give me a second skill check. Please, please, please. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. 
I'm on hogs, you hoo. I'm safe. If only there was an in game chat. There is an in game chat. Yeah, but like in the actual, like, you know, that you could type something out like, please don't unhook me, I wanna die. Yeah. I'm not sure if Vili is listening in as well on, 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 because, you know, they might be like, why is this taking so long? Vili is always listening, judging. Yeah, true. <laughs> All right, I'm getting hooked. I'm getting hooked. Don't you dare do anything to don't break that hook. Do not do it. <laughs> All right, there we go. Ah, <sighs> I'm dead. <laughs> Yay. Finally. Okay, I get the Vili squint, so I'm sure that is <laughs> all the proof that I need. Yes. He loves to do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Rotterdam, I just discovered a piece of history from that area. A framed newspaper page from the 50s with fronts celebrating the unveiling of a tech set art piece. In the back still have the articles visible. Nice. Oh. When I was there a long time ago, visiting a, a friend of mine who lives there, um, I discovered of the um, the the, th the history thing called the Fire Line, which I thought was actually very interesting as well. Uh, which apparently is also in the city of Nijmegen, and I saw that recently there as well. Um, so basically, what what the Fire Line is, is it's like the little icons on the streets, and it's basically indicating where in the World War II, like the entire city burned down. So like it was, I don't know exactly what, but like you can see like up until this point is where the, when the fire, where the fire came to. Uh, and it goes through like the entire city, I believe, which is kind of interesting. Yeah. Rex, have you seen your play hours recently and now you realize you're hooked? Ah, uh, but um, <laughs> what? <laughs> that you said that you're hooked. Yeah, how dare. But you have like, what, gazillion hours on this game? Oh yeah. Too many. I think I'm, I'm finally gonna break 200 game. soon. Yay. Yay, still Lovely. rookie numbers, I know, but you know. Lovely stuff. I don't even know how many do I have. Oh god. Well. About 3,000 more hours and you have the same as I have. Oh yay. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. So let's 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 quickly do like a bit of math. Mm -hmm. Let's see, three thousand oh, divided by twenty four. I don't want to know. So I I only have to I would have to play one hundred and twenty five days. Oh my god! So straight without like uh, I, I uh, no sleep. Uh, and then I'll uh, and then I'll have that those same numbers. <laughs> easy. And I just don't don't play for that time. Easy. So let's oh, say God. I stream. Let's say I start streaming this game full time. Mm -hmm. Let's say I do four hours a stream. Let's say five. That's going to be easier. So that's fifteen hours a week. Mm -hmm. so I would have to do two hundred streams, and then I would also have three hundred three thousand hours. Easy. So th two hundred streams. Well, easy. Starting. So starting now. today. <laughs> <laughs> No more just chatting, no more other games. We're going to do only this game. And only the main menu. Yes. No, no actual gameplay. It's a doctor. Oh, it's on me. And I still have no mirror because I'm dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget, Rex would continue with it X hours a week. I mean, Rex yep. would have to stop playing so I can catch up. Yes. So you I stop playing, happen. I do 200 streams, and then you can, you can play it again. But that will never happen. <laughs> <laughs> How sad would you, would you be if mm -hmm. a Dead by Daylight 2 would be announced? You would have to Why start... You would have, well, you would have to start all over again with those numbers. Well, that's that's good if they if they, if they fix everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with that. There are currently um, map spawning bugs where really unfair maps can spawn, <laughs> which is a problem. Like maps that only have four pallets in total. Oh. <laughs> we don't love that. But most of the bugs is basically um, survival sided. <laughs> So more stuff spawns than should spawn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, he's coming back. Goodbye. 
How about you take that hit? <laughs> is he coming? No. I think he is. Maybe. He'd never do that to me. He's absolutely doing oh, that he's to me. Here. Oh god, he Aww. got that! <laughs> oh, GG, easy. You still have that perk where, you know, I if do. he... Okay. <laughs> Otherwise, I was gonna drop it for you. Nah, but also it's killer check pellets. Oh crap, he's not, not wasted. He's not picking, ah! picking you up. Maybe I can pick myself up then. That'd be lovely. Yeah, let me, let me take him. Oh, I think he's coming back. Uh, uh, yeah, sure he is. I thought maybe I could take him for a trip. Yep, someone else is in chase, I'm gonna get up. Bye. <laughs> I saved Killer Tech Pellet, yay. I think Willy's in chase. Oh, Willy has no middle, yay. <laughs> Let's go, Willy. <laughs> Why do you have to take it off after this game, huh? <laughs> Because of you guys, though, I also now, whenever I play Killer, I always pay attention to if others have that thing as well. The, the, uh, the no the icon. That's good. Just never leave them on the ground. Never yeah. do it. <laughs> Did I just see pizza? What we're going to get? Well, yeah, Dwight is delivering a pizza. I'm not sure if he's going to get anywhere, though, because <laughs> we're stuck trying to survive. But, you know, if we do, then somebody is going to get some pizza. Let's say that I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Aren't you always hungry? Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> but especially right now. <laughs> I only had two meals today. That's not oh. enough. <laughs> oh. oh boy. Right. O only two. Only two. Ah! I did so many things today. Plop. Let's find a gem, Billy. Ah! Oh crap, I, I have that thing where it looks like he's like right on top of me, yeah. which he isn't. Yeah. Someone has to step out of it. <laughs> well, I can't because he's still chasing me. Oh, well, that's a problem. <laughs> Oh, oh crap, I didn't know you guys were there. Running straight to the two no mirrors, I see. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Wait, where's your thing? Close to where you guys were. Okay, there you go. Uh oh. Oh, I'm in trouble. Nope, I'm good. <laughs> Hungry for what though? Pizza. <laughs> wow. Duh. What do you guys think of Rex? Right. <laughs> oh. Devour soap. Better find that totem. Oh, jeez. Ah! Heck. Surprise. Oh, you're right there. Oh, God. Besides this trunk. Okay, if... Where's the totem? Let's see. Rex is a bit overrated. Excuse me. Excuse moi Wow, rude. <laughs> How dare. Da, 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 da. <laughs> we are talking about German pub icon Pubrex here, though. <laughs> right, hello. Known from twitch.tv forward slash Pubrex. <laughs> I basically work for Jeffrey Bezos, so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he pays you, so. Yeah. Sort of. It was personal account most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, nothing. <laughs> Bye, Toto. Oh, hi, Doctor. Okay, I'm in chase. This is gonna be a bad thing to do. It sure is. 
Yay. Hate taking. Okay, he's just gonna lose me, sir. He's just gonna lose me. Nope, he didn't. <laughs> they never listen. Excuse me, we were healing and now you do your, your yelling thing. <laughs> Sir? Yeah, excuse me. <laughs> I'm still Wait, really where'd, where'd you go? Building. Where'd you go? Oh, here you are. Hi Crab guys, is right man. here. <laughs> He's going for Billy. As if I can ever diss the piss pup. Wow. <laughs> I hate it here. <laughs> God damn it. Listen, we don't judge Rex for things that he may or may not be into, okay? <laughs> PSA. <laughs> I'm on the hook. Oh jeez, he's right here. Thanks, game, for alerting me. So someone's in chase right here. I should leave. <laughs> nah, I'm fine. <laughs> I should leave. Nah. See? I'm fine. I survived. I didn't even get hit by that. Hey. Were you affected by Oblivious? I don't know, I might have been. I have no idea. If I was. Oblivious, I barely even know her. I mean, I did hear the terror radius once he hit me, so I'm not sure if that is, like, a thing. I may or may not have not paid attention. Oh, that... that, that. Oh, okay. yeah, he was just standing there. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was a fake doctor. <laughs> he Are you gonna go? Oh, he's guarding me right now. Wow. He likes you. Kick the gym. You can pick up there. Let's all die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's all get up here. Yeah, why not? Maybe I can bait him down. Cheers. Nope, I can't. I was going to do the right next to him. Is he still there? Do you know that? Yep. Oh, yeah. And I'm literally doing the general right in front of him. He missed. No. Is up to me. Who? Oh. Who put that wall there? Who put that wall right there? <laughs> Who did that? Who is responsible? <laughs> Damn it! Really unhooking. Oh no, you're dead! Yay! Finally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that was last game. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, I just tried to die. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I learned something recently that is useless to me. So here I share a Dutch date is the American way of saying we're going to split the bill. A Dutch what? date. <laughs> Wait, I feel that I've heard that before. Yeah, because we Dutch are apparently very stingy. Oh. Yeah, I feel I feel that I've I might have heard that before. Well that's fun. <laughs> I just heard of a um a ladies menu or a women's menu from the US. Oh. Which I don't think they do anymore, but it used to be like a menu that's exactly the same as a normal one, but without the prices on it, because ah. the man pays anyway, so Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not sure how I feel about that. 
bad. Yeah. That's bad. <laughs> No, 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 no. Oh, there's also another thing which is Dutch, which is um, a Dutch oven. Yes. Which I'm also not sure why it's called that. Because all the Dutch people are so hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. You go Dutch. Oh, yeah, going Dutch when the bill comes. Yeah, yeah, that's indeed also when you split it. Sounds kinky. <laughs> I'm going Dutch. Oh, whoa. would you like to go Dutch tonight, babe? <laughs> oh, I thought you never ask. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> no, Villy is dead. Hey, there's a totem here. Oh, there's a killer there. Bye. Bye. Do we have any gens that we can still do that aren't like next to the killer? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe in main building. Oh wait, that's one here. Oh no, that's already done. Never mind. I don't know. Also, oh, oh, he's in main building. Okay. I mean, I think you're about to be the last survivor anyway. <laughs> Oh, am so, I? Yeah, it looks like it. It's I mean, 2am, so that was my last match. You're oh, yes. running into... Da, 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 da. Later for you, <laughs> indeed. Yes. No worries, Vili. Thanks so much for playing. Yay. Sorry that we had to wait in, in lobbies for a little yeah. bit. Sorry. <laughs> but I hope you still enjoyed it. Hey, come on, Hatch. Spawn right there. Right here. Hatch, hatch, hatch. No. Time to run. Towards main building. I guess. Maybe not. <laughs> Kilo shack? <laughs> that over there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, for a second I thought I was here, but that was just some mm. smoke. Nope. Well, free for all. Let's go. <laughs> it's DBD. How does one enjoy it? Really? You're right. <laughs> Aww. <Everyone> found it. <laughs> and it's not you. <laughs> Oh, run, run, run. He gets a notification. Run. <laughs> he knows where you are. <laughs> you know what? I don't think I don't think he's going to let you go. You think? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Three, two, one. Oh, oh no. <laughs> of course, there's no more pellets here anymore. Nope. There's no pilot in Killer Shack. Oh, never mind. Oh, that's a fake pilot, right? Never mind. At least I get some points for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but he didn't use it, but he uh, used them with the Never mind. Hey, there's another Look one here. That. Points. Ah! <laughs> Not that it did anything, but still. Yeah. You got points. There you go. Now you can open it. Ah! Well, now you can. Oh, <laughs> Me back with food. Nice, Amy. Welcome back. And we're still alive. What am I going to eat? Hmm. I might just make myself like a pizza or something. <laughs> a pizza? Yeah. Good on you. I mean, you could also make like a sandwich. I could, but pizza. <laughs> A nice pizza in the Dutch oven. <laughs> oh, wow. Is that called for anal? 
<laughs> Wait, no, Dutch oven, you don't know what that you is? Know, I know, I know. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm not gonna say GG, I'm just gonna leave. Oh my god, gasp. <laughs> the killer will never recover from that. I know. <laughs> oh wait, the lobby just disappeared. Oh wait, because it was yeah. Billy's lobby, I guess. Oh, okay. <laughs> Rude. Rude, yeah. Let me join your party, there we go. Oh. Poutine and hot dogs? Ooh. That sounds really nice. What is poutine? So that's a Canadian thing. So it's basically French fries with gravy and cheese curds, oh. which is like cheese curds are sort of like, it's not shredded cheese, but it's a little bit thicker, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> I just googled it. No. Oh, you don't like it? Oh, no. I, I mean, I've had it in New York. It was actually surprisingly mm -hmm. nice. It just looks like soggy fries, and I don't like soggy fries. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Maybe if I could dip it, then I would like it, but don't put it on the fries, and then just leave it there for 10 minutes. No, 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 no. Uh -huh. Dipping? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Should, you shouldn't Google a um, an, an cup salon. I don't know how to spell that. <laughs> I know. Wait, let me let me type it in chat. G A P S A L O N, cup salon. There so you that's go. like yeah. Well, I mean, you did oh, pronounce close. it. Yeah. K A P S A L O N. Yeah. It looks like a salad. Let's see what is it. Um, it's really good. I mean, you can have terrible ones, but usually, if you have a good one, it's really good. I am unsure what I'm looking at. Uh, okay, so it's basically fries, like, salad. it's like a layer of french fries. Yeah. Then like kebab on top of that, like donut yeah. kebab. Yeah. And then like, you know, some salad. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. And then cheese on top of that. And then like oh, yeah. uh, garlic sauce. Oh yeah, we have that. We have that. I know that. <laughs> it basically translates as a french fry barbershop. Oh. A cup salon is a barbershop. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here's an image that says... A capsule on a day keeps the doctor away. I don't believe that. <laughs> I don't believe that. I think it's quite the opposite. Do not tell I pumice. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what do not tell is. It's that. Oh, okay. Like, okay. It's not on top of each other, but next to each other. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Because again, don't mess with my french fries. <laughs> <laughs> Stop putting shit on them. <laughs> you put salt on them, and that's it. <laughs> So you don't like a Dutch feature special? I would like it. Which I is think the salad is gonna be make the, the French fries wet and that makes me sad inside, but other than that I like it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But we also have a donor box, which is everything like that was contained in like a box. Oh yeah. Thing. Like the, the thing you would get like Chinese noodles in. <laughs> oh okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Kind of the same thing, I guess. I never had a cup salon. How can you never had one? Oh, someone has to leave the country. How if you not fed me this disappointed? <laughs> Listen, you already got a mac croquette, okay? I mean, I can't give you all the Dutch delicacies in one day. Same. Yay. <laughs> Which is just it means you have to come back someday. It was my plan all along. Uh -huh. Well, pride next year. <laughs> <laughs> Mother's dwelling. Oh, it's either Wesker or a nemesis. A nemi daddy or a rescue daddy. Well, I'm about to find out. My coquette was bay, to be fair, right? I think it's definitely a Wesker because I don't hear like the uh, yeah killer music. Oh yeah, it, it, I think it's a rescue as well. Es ist okay, Tago, Rex. 
hat nur eine sehr ausgeprägte richtige Meinung. Oh, da kommt ein Komma rein. Ja? <lacht> Ausgeprägte Komma, richtige Meinung. Anyway. <lacht> oh, I am coming back, don't worry. That's a fridge right there. Yeah. <lacht> Did I feel worried or? Yes. <lacht> Always yes. Yes. Zonk, Zonk, got bonk. <laughs> uh, Rex gets annoyed, me, scary, scared at angry German tone. <laughs> Hell yeah, I still got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the guy has jolt, we know that much. Oh wait, they hooked someone. It's not child, it's uh, some sort of score truck thing. Da, da, da. Let me unhook real quick. Hi, Elodie. Here we go. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> I took Chase off of you. You of all people should know that I'm not capable of writing anything. I confuse myself. Also remember Perk Redeem from yesterday, case in point. I do. I do remember that. <laughs> I got so confused. <laughs> oh, that's a uh, uh, tree OP help. Oh, I'm good. Never mind. I will return and we shall have a ball and the Pepper Adventure of Fun too. Uh, that sounds hey. sounds like a good idea. Me likes. <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> also, I thought about going to Folsom next week in Berlin. Oh? But there are no hotel rooms available anymore. Yeah. Way too late for that, so nope. <laughs> yeah, a it's friend a of mine said, and talked about that a couple of months ago, and I was like, yeah, I mean, it would be fun to go. Then it was like, yeah, but there's no hotels anymore. And yeah. I was like, okay. Yeah, I mean, never, I... Ne <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I was just going to say, never mind then. <laughs> yeah. Um, I do have some pups on, like, Instagram that I could ask, you know, like, hey. Oh, yeah. Do you have, like, a, a free sofa or something? But... I'm too old for that. <laughs> I'm 27. You need to have your own space. Yeah. If I sleep on a sofa, I will have back pain. <laughs> <laughs> what is the, if it's a very comfortable sofa? Well, it never is. <laughs> it never is. Our one Donatella or Trifecha Cup Salon. I mean, it's, you can make it very easily yeah. yourself if you can just buy donor like from like a freezer or something like that. But it's 1 a.m. <laughs> yeah, okay, true, but like, you know, like tomorrow or sometime yeah. this week. But I want it now. <laughs> Just go to a uh, Rewe or a Aldi or a Lidl. Mm -hmm. Get yourself some donor. <laughs> yes. Oh, Wait, oh, one e Edeka. Uh -huh. If you want to spend a bit more, yes. <laughs> Those were all the German supermarkets that I know, so. Yeah, there's also Penny. <laughs> there are so many. I don't know if Mark Kauf is still a thing. Maybe they have disappeared. I don't know. Oh, is I haven't seen one in a while. Yep. I, I remember when going to Germany, there was like this giant store that was the Galeria Kaufhof. Yeah, that's true. That's also a supermarket. Yep. Which mm -hmm. I thought was a cool name. Kaufhof. Galeria Kaufhof. Come on, Kaufhof. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow I already forgot about all that and be hungry and sad for no reason. Okay, then go to your Yay. phone, set a reminder for tomorrow at like 2 p.m. Yeah. And then, you know, make the reminder say something like, go and buy Döner. And then you're like, wait, why? And then you remember <laughs> us and then you, you remember again. Yeah. There you go. That's how you do that. How oh, random is do that? We... Yeah. Bye. Bye. Um... I do have a, a donor place like right where I live, but I never go there. Oh. 
Because I hate the process of ordering a donor. Oh wait, why? It. They always judge me, Jordi. <laughs> they, they judge you? <laughs> they judge me, I know. Why? They, because your order is, is weird? Well, I... Okay. <laughs> the thing is, I don't like 85% of the ingredients of a donor. So that's a problem. Ah, okay. So what I get is basically bread with meat. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. And they hate me for it. <laughs> and I know it. <laughs> But I like it. Well, that's fair and valid. But I, right? I, I, yeah, I see their point, maybe. I just, like, especially don't like the sauce because it, it just always tastes like too, too much like garlic for me. Well, that's because it's garlic sauce. Yeah, but like the entire <laughs> thing only tastes like garlic, so I can just eat a fucking piece of garlic. <laughs> no. <laughs> I may or may not be a bit weird when it comes to food. <laughs> oh, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Nice. I mean, I eat my McDonald's cheeseburger with nothing but um, buns, meat, cheese, and mustard. That's it. <laughs> Wait, what else is on there? Or like a, like a slice of tomato and like a pickle and maybe an onion? Oh, no, no, no. The cheeseburger has pickle, onion and ketchup. Okay. As well. And I'm like, no, no, no. But then again, you know, like, do you really miss that one single pickle? No, I hate it. Not really, so. <laughs> I hate warm pickles so much. I eat them cold, but I don't like them warm at all. Okay, do you eat pickles like just like, you know, a pickle? Uh, I, I used to, but I like when I lived back home. <laughs> okay. Because my mother would always buy them, and I would, would just like eat them casually. Cause, yeah, because that's one thing that I don't necessarily understand. Like oh. people being like, "I want a snack." Oh, I just grab a pickle. Ah! Yeah, that's not a snack. <laughs> it's not a snack for me. I would eat it like for for quote unquote dinner because like a lot of the time we don't eat warm dinner in Germany. You know? Oh, you don't? <laughs> no, 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 it's not like mostly just. You know, it depends, I guess, but usually it's uh, bread <laughs> with different kind of sausages and stuff like that. Um, and you usually get like some um, pickles with that. And I like that. Huh. Interesting. But yeah. But yeah, if you go out to a restaurant, it's it's going to be a warm meal. Don't worry about it. <laughs> You're not going to get bread and pickles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So you also get donut box pommes only with meat because there are nice cocktail yes. sauces. Yes, only that. So pommes, Eight is that basically judged. like <laughs> french fries or is that just... Yes. Okay. Yes. I don't know where it comes from the word to be honest. Maybe it's because... Uh, what is... I think it's French. French. Pomme de terre. I pomme think pomme like de terre, that. yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's where we got the word pommes from. I don't know. I don't know. It kind of sounds like it. It could be. Yeah, sounds sort of like a reasonable explanation. I'm still mad at the pommes in uh, Legoland. Legoland. <laughs> Have you ever had the um, french fries in Legoland? I've never been to Legoland, so no. Well, you didn't miss out. <laughs> <laughs> french fries, basic. <laughs> nah, but they, they are shaped like Lego bricks. Oh. So they are way too thick and they don't really cook like that well, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I, I just, I didn't live, you know, I didn't live for them. Have you ever had them in Belgium? No. With Belgium mayonnaise? No. You should. If you ever go to Belgium, then definitely get some fries with Belgian mayonnaise. Yeah. Unless you don't like mayonnaise with your fries, like American I do, people do. I do, I do. I'm not super big on ketchup, to be honest. No, and that's like in the US, there were like, we were like, when we bought like French fries at like a fast food place. Yeah. It was so hard to get some mayonnaise. Oh. We specifically, when like there was one store that actually had like, you know, bang, little, little tiny bags of mayonnaise. Oh. We took like a lot of those with us so that we ever went somewhere else, we could just <laughs> use one of those. <laughs> Cheated the system. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you say no mayo? Mm -mm. Apparently, Americans find it really weird to have mayonnaise with your french fries. Because mayonnaise goes on a sandwich. No, it doesn't. How dare 
Peltas Abendbrot, which is easy because Germans always have bread somewhere and eat in different toppings, so it's easy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So cold dinner, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. American salad sauce and fries, but mayo belongs on healthy. Yeah, right? Yeah, like mayo belongs on a salad oh, or a oh, sandwich oh. or... No, 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 no. Did I ever eat a sandwich with mayo on it? I don't think I ever did. <laughs> I mean, it, it can be nice if you have like a sandwich with, I don't know, like some kind of meats and mm. like lettuce really? and maybe tomato and then a little bit of mayonnaise. It can be nice. I don't think like I, I don't think I know the combination of meat and mayonnaise yet. I don't think that's in my in my head. <laughs> oh. Wow, we're learning so much tonight. Right. Does that does that go together? <laughs> meat and mayonnaise, yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I get like you know a hamburger with mayonnaise. I don't really, but I just never noticed. <laughs> or a meat meatball with mayonnaise. No, definitely not. Like, I think I had like meatballs four times in my life. <laughs> or you know, I mean, it's not necessarily the best, but like a chicken breast with mayonnaise. Uh, no. <laughs> if you want, like it's it's not necessarily my go-to choice, but like it could work. It works. I worry. <laughs> I like chicken breasts, so I really like chicken. It's delicious. Yeah, chicken is good. Yeah. I had Belgian fries before. Their mayo leans more towards the sour side, which complements the fries so well. Yeah, right? Mm. Belgian mayonnaise is so good. There's always carry a bottle of mayonnaise when you go to the USA. Yeah, when you check into the plane, it's just like, excuse me, sir, why do you have a bottle of mayonnaise? And like, how many ounces is that? Yeah, don't worry about that. Don't worry about it. It's not liquid. It's gooey. I know an American who puts mayo on her fries and people genuinely judge her for that. Apparently, Yeah, like, we also had to take like our, like some mayonnaise from like, uh, what was it? Like the burger place that had amazing fries. Shake, Shake Shack. Because they had it nowhere else. <laughs> I mean, I sliced a bun in half, made some grilled cheese, mixed curry ketchup and mayo, and then had an easy warm oven board. Easy. Yeah, mixing mayonnaise with curry ketchup is also pretty good. Really? Or as you Germans like to call it, <laughs> curry gewürz. Krikovitz? Or not, uh, that, that, that's what on, is on the box or like on the bottles over here. Burr? <laughs> okay. But that's weird. <laughs> like, I think it's basically like spicy ketchup. I guess, sort but, of. But Krikovitz just means curry seasoning. <laughs> <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's like curry with seasoning. Maybe something like that. Well, it's ketchup to seasoning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> It's fine. McDonald's love chicken and mayo. I'm like, why? It's not that weird, I guess. Listen, as long as you don't put the mayo on your McFlurry. I'm fine oh, with it. why would you do that? <laughs> it's also white. Okay, how, how do you feel about dipping it's, french fries in your milkshake? It's okay, but it's cold, so I don't like it. Okay. That's the main issue. That's fair. Yeah. I mean, there are french fries with chocolate sauce. <laughs> I don't love that, but it's French it fries is. with chocolate sauce? Yeah, warm chocolate sauce. It's okay. It's I mean, I, I guess I can see it. Like, you it wouldn't will. be my first choice, but I, I guess I can see it. Yeah, your belly will be upset with you, though. <laughs> yeah, and the, yeah, I, I, I bet. Could be like, what the hell is this? <laughs> We have a brand. What am I supposed to do? Hela Gewürz Ketchup, which has curry in it, but also other spices. Yeah, I mean the one that I talked about is also from Hela. Wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys after this match. I can see your Hela. <laughs> <laughs> if they haven't done that as a commercial, they need to hire me. <laughs> right now. Yeah. I want to I want money for that idea. Oh wait, I can spray myself, heck. Oh whoa. Oh whoa. <laughs> I'm a I dipper, not always, but that. yes. <laughs> I mean, I think I've done it once, like the uh, the mayo or the uh, the French fries dipping in like a milkshake. Mm -hmm. And I keep saying it, chat. I keep saying it. Milkshake with bacon bits. Milkshake with bacon bits. Never had it. 
Oh, if we have a five, I'm not sure if you have five guys where you live. Uh, we have one, but it's like quite far away. Okay. I mean, not that far, like half an hour with the train. Okay, well, it's totally worth it if you ever go there. They have amazing burgers regardless of, you know, anything else. So, like, it's totally mm. worth it for their burgers. But if you want to get a nice dessert, get a milkshake with bacon bits. Lovely. They literally chop up, like, tiny pieces of bacon and they sprinkle that in your milkshake. <laughs> See, it's getting harder and harder to cut down on the meat <laughs> consumption. <laughs> It's in everything now. <laughs> Milkshakes. <laughs> oh, hi Nia. Bye Nia. I'm curious to try fries with chocolate sauce. I mean, I kind of am, but also no. But also <laughs> yes. Yeah. Nope. How about no? <laughs> you know what's good with a chocolate sauce? A churro. Oh yes. That's good. I had that in a, a Mexican restaurant recently. But not our doggo churro, Chad, just like an actual churro. <laughs> the one you're supposed to eat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Creamy, heavy milk cream and salty full bacon go well together. <laughs> right, yeah, and also like the sweetness of the milkshake and like the saltiness of the bacon complements each other very good as well. Wait, what is, what is that line from Community? Um... This chore tastes great in my real mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky line. Oh no, I'm dead. Oh, did you watch community? I, I'm sure I asked it before. <laughs> I, I have, but it's, it's been a while, so. I did enjoy it, but I didn't necessarily like love it, so I don't ne know all the quotes and everything. That's fine, that's fine. Mm -hmm. I loved it. <laughs> that keeps missing me. Never mind. He did hit that one. <laughs> what about this? I'll take one for the team and try it out. Wait, the, the chocolate and fries or the milkshake with bacon bits? <laughs> both. Or both, yeah. yeah. I mean, that could also work. <laughs> On that note, people that squirt their sauces all over the fries exudes Exude such chaotic neutral vibes. Okay, but listen, listen, we have a thing in the Netherlands. <laughs> there you go, told you, told you. <laughs> we have a thing in the Netherlands, which is a frietje special, which is basically fry, special fries, I guess. Which is just like a layer of french fries, and then squirt like mayonnaise over that, and then squirt curry over that, and then sprinkle it with onions. Put it on the fucking side. <laughs> no, but then it's not the same. <laughs> like, especially with the onions, you need to sprinkle them on top. I will scream until they put, until they put it on the side. <laughs> and unlike some people in our country will have you believe, a Fritje Special is not made with ketchup. Oh, controversy. Yes. Betrayal. If you go to the north, like if you order it in Amsterdam, they will probably ask you, would you like it with ketchup or with curry? And it's like, no, never ketchup. And you slap them in the face and say, no. Yeah. No ketchup. <laughs> No ketchup ever. What did you just <laughs> ask me? <laughs> How dare you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of dying over here. <laughs> if eating bizarre food combos had the same swagger that drinking or taking drugs hit, I'd be more badass than Jimi Hendrix. Listen, I don't necessarily <laughs> think, but maybe that's just me. I don't think that if you're like, I'm doing drugs, I, I don't think more highly of you. No. Or like, I, I drink alcohol, I don't necessarily think like, oh wow, this guy is so cool, I want to be like no. him. No. Or like, I also, smoke. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So you have excess money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is he gonna finally kill me? Nope. They don't do bacon milkshakes here. Wait, not in, in Five Guys? I'm not sure if you have Five Guys in the UK, but I'm sure you do. Uh, they must do bacon milkshake. It's like it's like their thing. Well, UK has stricter food rules. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Maybe, you know, it's just not safe. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't sound safe. <laughs> the problem with that is since not all fries are uniform, you can easily eat it with only a fork and you will get your fingers dirtier than necessary. Okay, listen, oh, listen, yeah. but I yeah. never eat my <sighs> fries with my fingers. 
Unless I have to because, because a fork is not provided, but I always eat my fries with a fork and Peter hates me for that. It's finger food, just like pizza. Okay, I sometimes also cut my pizza. Wow. Into <laughs> triangle shapes so you can just eat them with your fingers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing else, right? <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah, let's, there let's, yeah, of course. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if I'm in a, like, restaurant that's a bit more fancy, then I'm also going to cut my pizza. I'm not going to, you know, use my I know when I'm, when I'm eating it at home, like, it depends on how, like, sometimes it's fine to eat it with, you know, to just slice it and eat it with the fingers, but I usually just cut it up. Because I don't like to get my fingers dirty. That's fair. But what I don't like about that is, um, when you're, like, halfway through, your pizza is cold. <laughs> I mean, That's then you just like need to it. then you just need to cut quicker. But I can't. <laughs> I'm a slow cutter. <laughs> I might have given myself a heart attack. I got the zoomy, so I decided to switch lamps in my apartment. Of course, as one does at like what is it, 2 p.m. something like that. Mm -hmm. But I'm too short, so I sta stapled books on top. Oh wait, you you put books. Stable. You put books on top of the highest step on my ladder and didn't think of physics, and you know books are slippery. Wait, what did you do? How can you not think of physics? Well, someone didn't believe in them, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I hope you're fine, Sally. I hope you're not too yeah. badly hurt. Yeah. Don't try to idolize people who strut around with their vices, but at the same time, I feel so weird at any time my BFF talks about her very sordid past with substances. It's really weird. I mean, I kind of get that. Like, I sometimes feel very boring when I hear people go like, oh, I just had, you know, I just got laid by five different guys. And I'm like, here, oh, okay. <laughs> well, good for you. And I, I'm like very boring, I feel. <laughs> Which I know yeah. is also not true, but you know. No, no, no. But I kind of feel you that some people are like, well, I just got so wasted. And then you feel very sort of. It's not a competition. No, 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 no. Yeah, well, yeah, that also. That, yeah. that is also true. Yeah, also, like, you always have to think, do I want to do that or, I'm just, or am I just, you know, jealous, quote unquote? Yeah. <laughs> like, is that a thing I would have done if someone didn't bring it up? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's actually very fair and very valid. And usually the answer is no. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to sleep with five different guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be exhausted. <laughs> I can't remember five names. <laughs> From now on, it's going to be dude one through five. <laughs> dude one, you were okay. Dude two, you were average at best. Dude Ooh. number five, however. <laughs> You're in the grand finale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I was actually talking about that with Peter just now, how sometimes I feel... Like, I, I'm very bad. Like, one terrible thing that I do is de definitely compare myself to others. Yep. And... It, it's never, it's never, it's like never a good idea to do that. Nope. Never. And I because always feel... There's always someone. Yeah. yeah, there's always someone that is, quote unquote, well, not necessarily better, but like... That's yeah. More stuff. <laughs> yeah. I can get, I can sometimes get very like depressed over things like that, thinking about, oh, this person does that and they're way younger than me. Oh, yeah. I, Look I, at I, how I've wasted so much of my life doing, you know, not that thing. Yeah. But again, there's always someone. Yeah. Always. I know a 20 year old who, you know, <clears throat> can fit, <clears throat> you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bigger things in, in places that I could ever dream of. And I'm like, am, am I not good enough? Nope. Yeah. I don't, I don't even want that. <laughs> no. Yeah, and that's the like, thing. Like, sometimes I'm quote unquote jealous of people and I'm like, yeah, but would I indeed, like you said, would I have wanted to do that if someone yeah. else didn't bring it up? Yeah. This match is never going to end, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, wait, oh, no, it's totally fine. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm enjoying just chatting and, and watching you. Oh. Try to survive. He, he always knows where I am. <laughs> always. Oh wait, do you think he is? Oh yeah. <laughs> like he, he came running directly to me three times now. <laughs> mm. 
pretty sus. <laughs> I don't I don't see any usernames in chat that I'm like, oh yeah, I don't recognize them. Okay. But he could be not logged in, of yeah. course. Yeah. I see one. Pop Rex. <laughs> Must be them. <laughs> <laughs> Ban them. <laughs> I'm alright, I caught myself when I slipped, so I only got scared. Oh yeah, I get that, Sally. Well, happy to hear that you're doing okay, though. And don't do things like that anymore. Yeah, don't do that. We only use letters, and that's it. Yeah. Bizarre combo that my ex won't shut up about that I had. Vanilla cheesecake and salami meat slices sandwich? No, 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 no. There is the limit. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, that's a no. As a younger sibling, I always got mocked for not drinking or whatever because, well, I was literally a kid with teenage siblings. I think I might have well. carried that with me. Hmm. Yeah, like I was I was feeling like tonight again, and I, I, I feel that sometimes recently more often, I guess. Very much like, you know, with my burnout and everything, have, being at home for like two years now, hmm. I always feel very much like I wasted two years of my life. Like, I have this sort of notion that I should have done... Oh, they got a key. Nice. Okay. Like, I should have done so many more things in the time that I've been at home. Whereas at the same well, time, you know, the thing that I was trying to focus on was getting my mental health back yeah. in order. And Yeah. But I don't think about that. I'm like, oh, well, I could have gone to the gym and I could have gone to the gym every single day and I would have been so buff right now. And because I, I had all that time. Open. I yeah, could have made, no. like, a gazillion YouTube videos and I would have been, like, you know, like Mr. Beast right now. But that's not... No. <laughs> that's not the point. <laughs> I know. But my brain <laughs> tells me otherwise. It's like, you had oh. all this time and you didn't utilize it. You did. They're getting better. Yeah, I know, but that's not... He's trying to get better. It's also better. That, yeah, that's not, you know, the... the yeah. Something that I, I deem useful, I guess. Yeah. No. Oh. I'm sorry, I hope I didn't make it very depressing. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like but all I have the same thing after, yeah. Oh, no, no, go ahead. Like, all of a sudden it was very quiet. Um, no, I have the same thoughts after I, like, finish a bigger project. I'm always like, well, now what? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm like, well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But no, you're doing good. Yeah. Period. <laughs> All right. I think that was my last game, though. Okay. Thank you for okay. playing, even though it was a bit hectic. No, no, no. It was great. Thanks for having me. Of course. As <laughs> always. <laughs> I'm sorry that I cheated on you by playing killer games without telling you. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I love it. Okay, cool. All right. You All have right. a good rest of your evening. Enjoy your yes. pizza. Yes, I will. <laughs> okay. All right. Talk to you later. Yeah, bye bye. Bye. All right. Um, let's see. My foster mom called me today and basically berated me for being home almost a year on sick leave for my burnout. I'm glad I'm not alone taking my time getting better. Yeah, like, but and that's definitely like the thing, you know, that, um, like Peter tells me that all the time where when I say something like, oh, I feel so bad that I didn't use like, like, I, the way that I feel, and I know it's not necessarily true or, like, it's the way that I should feel, but, like, the way that I sometimes feel is that I've been... I basically had all the time in the world for two years. Like, I didn't have a job, I didn't have, to, like, homework, I didn't have anything that I had to do, so I had all the time in the world for two years, and I didn't use it to, you know, go to the gym every single day or go for a run every single day so, I, you know, my body would be in a place where I would like it to be, or I didn't use it to grow my YouTube channel, you know, way bigger than it currently is, or I didn't use it to learn a massive new skill, like I, I always wanted to learn Japanese, like I didn't use it to do that. Uh, and then Peter tells me like, yeah, but listen, you spend so much time focusing on yourself and, you know, getting over like your burnout and your depression and like all those kind of things. Um, and that is very valid and that's very true, but I still, I can't shake that feeling of like, you know, I wasted two years doing quote-unquote nothing other than like working on my mental health um but i also could have used by doing something else that i also wanted to do um so yeah it's it's it, i i know that i shouldn't think like that but it's it's just kind of hard sometimes i guess so yoshi thanks so much for the games that was close thanks for the matches yeah that was close i didn't know you had a key that was actually very lucky for you but thank you for joining i hope you had fun
Um, when you can do the things like that, then you can also just go to work, I think. Yeah, that's, that's in, I guess, very true. Like, if you just have, like, all the time to do all those... Like, I mean, not necessarily true per se, because, you know, I mean, people that are at home with a burnout, they also sometimes want to go for a run every day because that's how they clear their head and that's how their mental health gets better. But I see your point. I see your point. Um... The regret and the FOMO is always there, but we are still young and have enough time. And that's also like my thing is that I feel like I'm very old, like I'm 33 at the moment. And I'm like, I always feel that I'm like super old because I see all these people on Twitter doing like all those kind of things that I still want to do myself. That like they, they have like closets full of like, you know, gear and they have like so many experiences. They've seen so many countries in their life already. They have like all these other things that I'm like, I want to do those things myself as well. And they're like, you know, in their 20s, in their like early 20s sometimes. And here I am in my early 30s and I haven't done those things or I don't have those things that I want to have. Um, and that's kind of like what I was trying to say earlier, how it's very easy to compare yourself to others, but it doesn't get you anywhere. Like it doesn't get you like it, it like comparing yourself to others doesn't give you those things. Like I can compare myself to, you know, someone else. And be like, oh man, they have this thing, and they have that thing, and they have this experience, and they have that experience. And it doesn't gonna give me those experiences either, you know? Um, but it is very easy to sort of bring yourself down because of that. Which I hate. And it's, it's definitely like a quality that I hate about, or quality, quote unquote, like a thing that I hate about myself, that I do that sometimes so often, and then I'm very easy to, um, like, look at those things and then, you know, feel bad about that. Because yeah, it's it's not gonna you know it's not gonna really do anything. It's not gonna help you uh, uh, at all. Um, I honestly must say that I'm so glad to hear you say that because I have those exact same feelings and I have so much guilt about it. Right? Yeah. And like, even though I know that I shouldn't have those feelings, I know that I shouldn't feel bad or I shouldn't feel like guilty about that. I still sort of do because, you know, I'm I'm not happy with you know the way like like my body is. I feel that I'm way too big. Um, so like if I, I, I tell myself like if I could have gone for like a run every other day or like every single day, then I would have lost probably so much weight in the two years that I had. Um, but I didn't because, you know, also COVID happened. So there were like lockdowns and everything, which obviously didn't help either. Um, so yeah. Mental health is a huge thing to battle and overcome. Therefore you did things. My burnout recovery was living in Pokemon every day. Yeah. And like... That is totally fine. Like everyone deals with those things on their own way. Like I said, some people, they just want to watch TV the entire day. Some people, they just want to lay in bed the entire day. Some people want to go outside and do things outside the entire day. And that's all fine. You know, like you, people deal with overcoming like depression or burnouts or, you know, mental health, stuff like that. They all deal with that their own way. And that's all valid. Um, Obviously. Social media ain't helping with mental health. Who would have thought? Yeah, and that's definitely the thing. Um, like, also remember that social media isn't sewing your real life, but a filtered version of people's lives. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's exactly the thing. Like, people show um, the things that they want to show. And, like, obviously, they don't show the thing like, oh, man, I had such a bad day today because this went wrong and that went wrong. You know, they don't talk about that. They only talk about, look at me, I bought yet another thing. Like, on the one hand, you see them buying, and of course, this is not for everyone. This is not kind of like, you know, generalizing stuff a little bit. But, you know, on the one hand, you see, like, I bought, like, five pieces of gear that are super expensive. And then on the other hand, you see, yeah, I have massive credit card debt because, you know, I bought those things even though I can't afford them. But you don't see that. You only see them buying, you know, things that are super expensive. But you don't see the other side, which is them maybe being in, like, crippling debt because they shouldn't have bought those things. Um, or like, you know, maybe them working, you know, like 50 hours a week just to be able to afford those things. Um, so yeah, it's definitely like social media is definitely like a, like I always say, it's a blessing and a curse. Like I love social media because I've met so many great people because of social media. But at the same time, it's also not really helping with like, you know, my and, and many other people's mental health, I guess, because of indeed those things. Um... So yeah, you always see, you only indeed always see like the filter things that people want you to see and not the things that they don't want you to see or like the stories behind that. Um, 
And that is, again, what I was saying earlier with like, you know, me comparing myself to like other people and where they are in their life. That is not really helping because, you know, I only see, oh, they bought this again and they bought, they spend like another, you know, gazillion dollars on a new PC or on, you know, new gear or on a holiday or on a new, the latest iPhone or, you know, whatever. I only see that. I don't see the thing that goes b before that. Like, you know, like I said, maybe they spend... 50, 50 hours a week working or maybe they spend all their time that they have available on doing like freelance work or anything like that they don't have any time to do any fun stuff you don't see that i don't know i hope i'm very I, I hope i'm sort of making sense like sometimes talking about these things helps me sort of process them as well myself so i hope i'm sort of making sense um I know a guy in his 80s who had broken his hip because he was dancing wildly and falling off the sidewalk in the process. It's all in the mind. Braggers. Yuck. How oh, braggers. I was like, wait, what did he say? <laughs> Yuck. Like I was having a proper ugly cry session earlier today because I didn't have the energy to cook food after I went to the store to buy food. And I felt so guilty for still eat for being still there, even though I've been home for almost a year. Yeah, and, and like I said, like... Especially, you know, like you said earlier that you were also dealing with like burnout. Burnout can take such a long time. Like people don't realize that. Like a lot of people, they they are easy to judge. Like, wow, you're at home for like a year and you're still not feeling better. Wow, that is weird. You know, people are easy to say that, but like they, they everyone takes their own time to deal with that. And, you know, it might not be fixed or like better at all. But, you know, it definitely can take a lot, like a very long time to get over something like that because you spend such a long time getting to that point and like, you know, sort of getting like, you know, there's I'm not sure if there's like a like an English saying of, uh, like the, of this as well, but there's like a Dutch saying that is basically like you have a bucket with water and then the bucket keeps on filling and keeps on filling until there's like one drop that makes it overflow. But you spend so much time filling that bucket that that last drop, you know, that was too much, but you have so much time already working towards that moment that it's not just like, oh, in a week, boom, I'm feeling better again. Oh, yeah. We're not machines, so your feelings are valid. Just remember that you also deserve to strive for happiness and when you are happy, that is right. Yeah, exactly. Don't look backwards, look forward. You wish you would have gone for a run before, do it tomorrow. You could have learned the language, make a plan to start it next month or so. Yeah, and that's like a thing that I notice now as well, that I always feel bad. Like, I always look back. Um, and like, for instance, I'm very happy that I went for my bike ride this morning because, you know, I, I that's something that I easily could have said, like, yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that um, because, you know, many reasons. But I decided to go and it felt really good. Also, comparing yourself with others is really a fallacy since nobody lived the life you had. So it's not comparable. Yeah, that's also true. That is also true. Uh, and like I said, you know, there's always, you only see and only know the things that people tell you about, but you don't know the things that um, they don't tell you about. And things that are, might also go on in their head, you know, you don't know about that because they don't tell you that. So everything might seem okay, while in reality, it might not be completely okay. The straw that broke the camel's back analogy. Oh, I don't think I've ever heard of that, but uh, yeah, it might be the same. Like, you know, stacking things on top of a camel and then, like, there's one little thing that breaks it. Yeah. Oh, Jordi, you just made my day. You have no idea how much that made me feel better. I feel like you just lifted so much weight off my shoulders. Oh, really? Heck, that, that means a lot. I'm very happy to hear that, Sally. I honestly am, because sometimes I feel really bad that I'm, like, going on these sort of mental health rants, I guess. Um, Because I'm like, nobody wants to hear how my brain works, I guess. Um... But actually hearing that, you know, I, I someone, well, you in this case, but like someone was found it helpful and someone made it feel better that I just, you know, say these things. That actually is very nice to hear because, yeah, like, I don't want to say we're all in this together because, you know, obviously not everyone is dealing with like a burnout or anything. But at the same time, you know, like we're all sort of dealing with our own little things. Everyone is dealing with their own little things, um, however big they might be. Um... And I guess, you know, like if we can just all give each other like a hug, like a virtual hug, that that is, you know, that can very much help as well. And I guess talking about things can also really help. 
at least for me, like uh, for me, it always helps when I talk about these things out loud because then I hear them say, I hear myself say them. And that sometimes helps to sort of shift my perspective on things a little bit, if that makes sense. I don't feel so low now. Heck, I'm very happy to hear that. Um, I'm very happy to hear that. Um, chat here, have a virtual hug. Yeah, yeah, well, we have a, uh, Martin just did a group hug, so that totally works um, as well. So yeah, I don't know how we got to this rant all of a sudden, but yeah, I'm, I'm glad that we were able to, um, I'm glad that we were able to sort of uh, talk about these things a little bit. I'm happy. I am happy. So. Let's see who we have that is live. Because I was, I was ending this game so I could go and get some sleep. Um, and then, um, well, we got distracted by some mental health log. But that's okay too, that's okay too. Sometimes that's very important. Now I'm going to bed to you next week. No worries, Martin. Thanks so much for stopping by. It was good to have you. Sleep well. And we'll see you again some other time. All right. All right, I think I know who we're going to raid, but they're still under... Wait, let me quickly listen in. Maybe they're already talking during their starting soon screen. Maybe not. I'm sure they're starting soon, soon though. <laughs> starting soon, soon though. <laughs> uh, so I think we're going to raid them anyway, because they are a hacking sweet bean. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to do that. Um... I wasn't that bark and play because I might be experiencing early signs of burnout as well. So y'all are far from alone. Yeah, and like if and and I think a very important thing for that is like recognizing that, especially when you are like early on it, and then trying to, if you can, trying to act on that already. Because what I did with my with my current situation, I, I recognized the signs because I had them before when I had like, you know, not really a burnout, but like a very sort of mild burnout, if you will. Um, I recognized the same signs. I was like, okay, this is going to happen. And I could feel it. Like, I could feel it build up as well. I was like, okay, this is getting worse. I know this is going to happen. But I didn't see a way out of it. I was kind of like, I can't just, like, quit my job. I can't change things. So I just kind of kept going. Even though I knew that it was going to happen, I kept going. Because I just didn't see, like, a way out, basically. Um, so if you recognize the signs and you have a way out... Definitely take that because the, the longer you keep going, the worse it's going to get and the harder it's going to get to sort of get out of that and get back to like, you know, quote unquote normal again, which I'm probably I, I'm sure I don't have to say that, but I, I guess I did so anyway. Like for me, I got burned out from working a certain famous plastic brick company. I didn't know how bad it was that I was burned until the end during the end part months before I finally left. It took me a year to persuade myself. To think about getting a new job, then COVID showed up and that basically cured me in the lockdown. Yeah. Yeah. Like sometimes you don't know how bad things are until it's already too late. Like I said, I'm, at my last job, I definitely recognized things sort of early on. Um, but I didn't see a way out, so I just kept on going and that was definitely not a good idea. But, you know, like I said, I didn't see a way out. I didn't see like how I could get out of this situation other than quitting my job which wasn't an option so yeah i just had i just kept it going there's a campaign now about checking in when signs of burnout might arise oh i haven't seen that yet but i think that's definitely a good i think a good idea because i think um um it, it's definitely one of those things that people don't easily talk about like it's it's sort of like taboo i guess to talk about that um People don't easily talk about something like that. So I think if there's like a campaign to do that, that's definitely a good thing. A point being, time is time. You'll heal when you heal. Exactly. Yeah, that's also what like my point to Sally. Um, when she was feeling like, you know, down for being home for a certain amount of time. Like, you know, it's that's not how it works. You can't just say like, it's not like with, like, you know, when you have like a broken leg or like a broken arm or something like that. You know, the doctors can say it's going to take three to eight weeks or like six to eight weeks. I have no idea, but like, you know, they can say that it's going to take a certain amount of time. With mental health, there's no such thing. You can't say like, well, you have a depression, do this and that, take some medication and then it's going to be over in, you know, five to 10 weeks. You know, that's not how it works. You know, for some people, it's going to be 10 weeks. For some people, it's going to be 15 weeks. For some people, it's going to be an entire year. 
And so for some people, it's going to be longer than that, you know? Um, so there's no way of like sort of, there's no sort of like guide or like a way of saying how long something is going to take. You know, you're going to, it's going to be fixed when you feel better. However long that's going to take. Um, and like for me, you know, I feel a lot better than I did two years ago. Definitely like a lot better, but I still have my moments when I feel like complete shit. Like, you know, for instance, like tonight before I started my stream, I felt pretty bad as well, but I, I streamed anyway. And, you know, it wasn't as bad as it was like a couple of weeks ago. But I still have those moments where I feel terrible. Um, and just like nothing can make those feelings go away. Um, so, yeah. Um, anyway, chat. Anyway, I think I'm going to go and, and, and end it there because otherwise I'm going to keep talking for like another hour and I am getting tired and I don't want to go wake up tomorrow, you know, at like noon. So we are going to raid out. Uh, we're going to raid out to the lovely Hurry Slowly. They are a hacking sweet bean. They're playing some Beat Saber right now. Um, so yeah, definitely show them some love. They, they've played games with us before. They were part of the Among Us uh, crew a couple of weeks ago as well. Um, so definitely show them some love. They're really, uh, they're really hacking sweet beans. Um, so with that said, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Thanks for Pebrex and uh, Vili and Soyoshi for playing games with me tonight. Um, and thank you all for, for stopping by. I'm going to do some more testing tomorrow, I guess, with my PC. I'm really bummed out and really annoyed with the state of that currently. So um, yeah, we're going to see if I can find some things that might still be going on. Um, and then, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how we're going to fix that. I have no idea, but we'll we'll see. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciated it. Um, I'm sorry for all the tech issues that we had. Um, but hopefully uh, things will be better soon. For now, though, chat, as always, I'm going to link you guys to my Twitter and my Discord channel. Uh, links to those, both of those are in chat right there. Um, you can follow me there. You can hang out with other members of the community. You can find out what I do in my day um when i post that so um yeah definitely check that out if you don't do that already lastly here's our raid message uh, this is a delicious raid as always if you are a subscriber to the channel you can use the one at the top with our emotes if you are not a subscriber you can use the one below that and then of course feel free to substitute those emotes for your own or your favorite streamers emotes instead uh, i'm gonna be back here again on wednesday uh, i didn't make a schedule this week but i am gonna be back here again on wednesday um, which is going to be at 8 p.m. Central European Time, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard, 11 a.m. Pacific. We might do a retro Wednesday. I kind of like that idea. So maybe we're going to do just that. So we're going to play uh, maybe some Lemmings. We're going to play maybe some, um, I don't know, maybe some Wolfenstein. That would be fun too, perhaps. I don't know, but we're going to play some retro games. I think that's fun. Um, and maybe we're going to end it with some DVD. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But I, we're definitely going to play Lemmings on Wednesday. I think that could be fun. I have no idea how much, how long I will find it fun though. So we'll see. Uh, I'm not going to give any guarantees that we're going to play that the entire evening, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. For now though, chat, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. It means so much to me that you also listen to me vent and listen to me rant on about like, you know, my mental health and stuff like that. So thank you for allowing me a place where I can talk about these things. And um, I'm, I'm glad that it helps some of you as well. That really means a lot to me that it's not only helpful for me but also to you guys so thank you um as always the last thing that i'll say is that my name is mr delicious you have all been extremely delicious yourselves as well take care have a good one and i'll see you on wednesday for now love your faces bye bye <laughs>